for Golden State on the front line, Andrew Wiggins, second-year man Eric Paschal, and the rookie second pick of the draft, James Wiseman, will start at the guards. Kelly Oubre, Steph Curry back from uh, the surgery on his left hand. For the Nets up front, Kevin Durant, who's back from that Achilles injury, Joe Harris, DeAndre Jordan in the backcourt, Spencer Dinwiddie, and Kyrie Irving. Curry on the crossover, met on a, a double team and draws the foul. Last year, the Warriors were 25, where they last in the NBA in the first quarter and shooting 25 or, or averaging about 25 points a game. They need to get some quick, easy buckets, get some guys on the move so that they can stop that. Beautiful pass by Oubre to set it up for Curry. Jared Allen who checked in gets it to the corner Harris with that beautiful stroke I, I tell you what I played with Kyle Corver played with Peja Stojakovic played with Chris Mullen Wish I would have played with Curry, <laughs> but when you play with shooters I tell you what no better feeling than to just pump them up and to be a cheerleader Shut up pass them the ball tell them to shoot it each time build their confidence just under four to go in this first quarter oh. Baseball is short, but it's put down beautifully Love the energy by Oubre. He, he just missed the dunk on his last man, and you want that type of energy. You're on the road. There are no fans. This is when you got to be a baller yourself. And look what happens next. He gets the stuff because he infuses the steal. That it energy. is Oubre. Marquise Chris with his first bucket. Marquise Chris with the bucket. The Nets, 14 for 24, shooting 58% in the first. Here's Curry. Yes. So Steph Curry knocks down a three. Levert spinning his way, lost it. Curry with the steal, fires from center court. He comes up short. Oubre met by Harris. Nets getting their starting five back in. Here's Curry for three. Steph Curry able to hit on his second from downtown. And Weissman able to put it down. So for the rookie, his second field goal. Curry showing he's a great finisher in this game. Played with uh, Chucky Brown, Jim Jackson, and, uh, and, and a big fella. And I tell you what, they all had with them. And that's professionalism. You're not on 15 teams because you don't, no one wants you. You're on 15 teams because a lot of teams need you to be in that locker room. There's the steal. It's a three on two for the Warriors. Wiseman got bottled up and fouled. And we're just five minutes into the third. Curry is off. Curry with the rebound. There's Wiggins for three. Harris got it to the corner. Durant. Toscano Anderson takes all the way. That's that'll be a goal ten. Dinwiddie played by Wiggins. Dinwiddie got the step, went right around Wiggins. It's going to be so fun watching this Brooklyn team this year. I know it's their first game of the season. Beautiful pass and layup. But this is the reason why. This offense should never get stagnant. And we are only 72 days away from the Lakers winning the NBA championship. Wow. It has been a very quick turnaround. Curry banks it home. Nice pass inside from Curry. That counts on the foul. Kevon Looney with the bucket. He'll head to the line. Just under three minutes remaining in this third quarter. Here we are starting lineups delivered by Taco Bell. Golden State without Clay Thompson will miss his second straight year due to injury. Draymond Green is out too, but he's day-to-day, -day, so it'll be Curry, Kelly Oubre playing just his second game as a member of the Warriors. Andrew Wiggins, who came over in a trade with Minnesota last year. The rookie, James Wiseman, just 19 years old in the middle. Well, when you talk about Holiday, you're talking 6'3", six, 6'4", six, great upper body strength, a proven scorer, came from the Pelicans as their second even scorer. 
Wow, there's Wiseman down the lane, getting the dish and stuffing it. Yeah, 122-121, Boston won that game. Meanwhile, the Warriors got trounced by Brooklyn. How about Eric Pascal hanging and stuffing it? Curry and Wiggins right now just one for seven in this game. As the three drops. Holiday's pass inside. Wilson trying to get a handle on it. Batted out by Chris. And Michael Mulder, who's on the court, second-year player out of Kentucky. Curry's three, not there, but he will shoot three. Holiday fouled him beyond the arc. There's Curry still looking for his first field goal. He'll go to the line again. Three for three so far at the strike, but 0 for 4 from the floor. Forbes with a pull-up jumper. It's good. He's got five points off the bench here in the quarter. Yeah, the defensive man just, uh, you know, stepped back and, and never recovered himself. Curry with a pull-up, his first field goal of the game. Yeah, those five straight NBA Finals, the most since Boston went for a decade straight from 1957 to 1966. Curry drains a three, his first triple of the game, and just a second basket. Damian Lee switches home a three-pointer. He had 27 in opening night against Boston. He's got 21 here tonight as Curry gets to the rim. Puts that one home. Three close. seconds to go. Curry from deep. Knocks it down with a second to go. There you go. And here's Curry your trap. Pass. Pascal puts it home. Beautiful pass by, by Curry. Next on ABC, it's the Nets and Celtics. That should be fun. Then it's the Lakers, Mavs, Luka against LeBron and AD and the defending NBA champs. Clippers Denver to follow on ESPN as Steph Curry connects now 17 points for him. Here's Portis who does have some range. He couldn't get that one to fall. Remember we said now, can Golden State take care of the defensive boards from now to the end of this game? And that's what I like right there. Curry went all the way back, took the rebound, dribbled it into the floor. If you're not going to pick him up, of course he's going to shoot. The Warriors are rolling two. The Bucks get their first win of the season. Blowing out the Warriors, 138-99. On the penetration, Wiggins taking the contact and the chance at a three-point play. Curry a little back cut. White forces the oh. pass. Oh, hello, Kelly Oubre. Oh, man. Elevation in traffic. Wow. Curry's been facilitating very well in the first couple of games. There is another chance for an assist. Toscano Anderson with the two. Here is Curry leaning in. Tough shot and good finish. First points. Eight on the clock for Curry. The step back over Kobe White. That is smooth and hard to defend. Well, again, good defense, but better offense yep. by Steph Curry. Curry watched by Temple, firing away, and there is career three-pointer, 2,500 for Steph Curry. He joins Ray Allen and Reggie Miller as the only three players in NBA history to hit that mark, and he's tied the game. Curry putting the moves on Temple, and the reverse Ooh. comes home. Steph Curry. I tell you what, boy, he is a, his, his ball handling is, is just amazing. Yep, now Levine matched up with Curry. Williams with that shade. Now marketing coming over to help out as well. Got to account for him. Wiggins, though, can shoot it, and he gets the three off the Curry feed. Well, Steph Curry's got five assists here in the first half. Curry. State, nine of 18. Oof, man. Clean to the rim. It just doesn't look like he's in a hurry. No. Just, you know, it's like, there, well, I think I'm going to go left. I think I'm going to go right behind the back. Nice flip to Wiseman. Ooh. Hello. Wow. Right-handed hammer on the feed from Curry. Boy, he got out of that roll quick. Yes. You see that screen right there? See Wiseman with the screen? He pops Kobe, and that enables him to go on a 2-1-1. One, one. Bulls have scored nine of the last 11 points. Curry with the strip, and he was last to touch. Wiggins, nice kick. Curry, there's his second three of the game. He's got a near 60 free throw streak going going back to last season and he just stripped Sadoransky. Well the Bulls right now just got to take their time offensively. They're kind of getting they're playing fast because of this smaller lineup. Oh Curry the moves the shot but it was short. Curry all oh, white got caught. But a hesitation because you gotta you gotta honor he can shoot from anywhere. But a four and a half second difference here. Here's Hutchison. Out to Porter. He's got the space. And he's got oh, a three. automatic. 
his second of the game. Bulls are 8 of 14 this quarter from three. Look at Curry. So oh. inspirational, man. Way downtown. One second left. Kobe launches it. And that will go wide right. Ooh, Curry saved it. Got back up. Fired it away and knocked it oh, down. Oh, I thought that was like a trick right there. He just, I think he fell down on purpose just to get himself some space. <laughs> Steph Curry. Ooh. Okay, so they're going to call that a three. I think they should look at that because it looked like his foot was on the line. Either way, he knocks it down to make it a six-point game. Levine tapped it, but Wiggins got it ahead to Curry. Temple running with him. And go. <laughs> I mean, I, I would say it's a good foul. Steph Curry's a great free throw shooter. Either way, that's, that's a tough spot to be in. six for Garrett Temple. He's out. Carter handing it to Levine. Dumped down back to Carter. He was met by Lee, and that will be a foul sending Carter to the free throw line. Carter splits a pair. They did change the Curry three to a two. So this is the score as it stands, 123-118. Curry, that's a three, and he oh. knocks it down. It's a two-point game with two minutes to play. Wow, that was a big shot. That time he said, I'm getting behind the line. Zadaransky, White, Carter, Levine, and Porter. The five out there in the closing minutes. Levine, step back three. Porter, the offensive rebound. Big rebound. Out to White. He'll fire a tray. And Wiggins has and the board. Really didn't need that shot right mm -hmm. there. Pull it back out. This is the talent. You're growing as a young team. Pull the ball back out. Run your pick and roll. It's been killing Golden State. Wiggins to Oubre. Ice cold all year so far. Levine clears the rebound for the Bulls. He's 0 for 6. Here's Porter. Smart move. He'll take it back out and reset to Kobe White. And now Levine. Levine to the rim. Off target. Carter another rebound. Out to Porter for 3. Knocks oh, it down. Automatic. Give me the hot sauce. The veteran with a clutch tray. Curry back the other way. Leading in, counted oh, wow. and a foul. Steph Curry. Wow, you talking about body control from a little guy. Watch Steph Curry right here. Gets in there, boom, contact, and gets the shot up off the glass. Steph Curry trying to keep Golden State connected. Bulls lead by three late. And then again, now you're making it a one-possession game, and now you've got to run your offense. Yep. You can't take any quick shots to give them some time. Levine met by Oubre. Through the defense, could not finish it. Curry's oh, got man. it. Woo. Two-point game, seven-second different shot in game clock. Curry hesitates the kick. Wiggins on the drive to the rim. Unable to finish. Follow and go. Tip try. No. And it's Looney oh. to put it back in to tie the game with 16.9 to go. Levine running it right. Pulls up. And connects. Wow. Big-time players make big-time plays. Adam. Inbound from Lee. Can't get to Wiggins. Can't get to Curry. Throws oh, in to right Looney. Open. Here's Lee. Three for the lead. Good! Oh, my goodness. Damian Lee. Wow. One of the most unlikely. Final seconds. Sadoransky for the win. No wow. good. Golden State comes on the road wow. and stuns the Bulls with one of the most unlikely wow. players on the floor at that moment. Wow. That was a big time shot. I told you, Steve Kerr was going to go for the win. Steph Curry came, he came open. They didn't see him. They, they fell to the five seconds. You see, he almost threw the ball. Lee almost threw the ball in. And that's a that's a play right there that we used to run for Scottie Pippen sure. to come off the top of that screen right there. Not for the three, but to turn the corner and go in and get a bucket for us. But you see right there, Lee, Lee almost turned it over because he was trying to get the ball to Steph Curry. Yep. And he almost came over. Now watch. There's our shot right there, but Steph Curry was guarded, and he almost turned the ball over coming back in bounds. Wow. A great shooting night for Damian Lee. He ends up hitting four of five three-point shots, but couldn't get it to Curry, couldn't get it to Wiggins, so Damian Lee, the fourth-year man out of Louisville, ends up with a game-winning three-pointer. Fourth and final game of the seasoning opening road trip in Detroit in Motown as the Warriors coming off the buzzer beater against the Bulls take on the Pistons. Pistons 0-3 losing last night in Atlanta. They're looking for win number one. Steph Curry with Kelly Oubre Jr., Andrew Wiggins, James Wiseman, and Juan Toscano Anderson, the starters for the Dubs. And Curry begins the game perfectly lasering in the jumper. Steph Curry, beautiful wing jumper. 
It's that split action the Warriors love. Pascal working inside. I like the shot fake. And then the screen for Steph to go with Steph. Steph's always going to make the right decision. So unselfish. Steph Curry almost automatic from way downtown. Pascal down the lane. Ooh. Pascal hammering that. And Plumley wanted no parts of him. Beautiful <laughs> delivery by Steph. The two defenders staying with Steph again. Oubre attacking. <gasps> <laughs> with a lefty hammer. Uh, well, the Warriors just oh, want to dunk a few times goodness. in a row. That'd be great. And again, Steph, two defenders go with him, and Kelly Oubre just shifting, moving mm. around the three-point line. And <laughs> Jackson jumped, and that was a bad decision because Kelly Oubre is coming in there super hard. Incredible. Curry weaving through the entire roster, and he will draw the blocking foul. And Steph will shoot two. His first free throws of the night. Plumley nifty pass, better defense by Juan, and a beautiful delivery by Steph, Killian Hayes. Steph was like, he was screaming there. He's like, ah, I got to see man and ball. He's focused on the ball. His man stuck behind him. On Toscano Anderson for three. That is his first shot of the game, and but he, he drops in the triple. I guess he's okay. Shot clock at 11. Steph comes around. Nice screen by Wiggins. Beautiful screen. That's that's how they work together. That's how you look for Steph. Andrew Wiggins stepped in there, set that screen. Steph loves it. He's having a good time. Plumley, kind of a warm-up jumper, but that's why you let him shoot that. It's not his game. Curry, transition three. That is his game. You don't want to let him shoot that. Juan Toscano Anderson saving to Curry. They're alert on the weak side, making it look clogged. And then back. Juan running the floor, reversing it up and in. Oh, my goodness. Both sides of the ball. Defense turns into offense. On the weak side, they're so alert. They're making everything tough for Detroit. All moving around, trying to set it up for Steph again. Little one-foot runner. Oh. Beautiful. High. He makes it look easy. High teardrop. You know how tough that shot is? Two defenders were around him, contesting. Made it look easy. Curry. Yeah. Steph has been so good tonight. That one looked perfect. He knew that was going as soon as it left his hand. Curry three. They've really freed up Steph with some good looking triple. That's just their normal split action. Throw it in the post. We've seen that for years. That is a Warriors staple. Steph's man got screened. He's coming off there. Super quick trigger. They got the ultimate closer in Curry. Steph with the three. Oh. Yes, sir. Curry with the largest lead of the night for the Dubs. Eric Rose partially blocked. Oubre with the rebound. Evaluate, use clock. Curry three, and he's fouled, and that'll be three free throws. Eric Rose sold out to him. He's like, I know who's out there. I know who's shooting this, and I got to get there. And Curry, give me that. With a nice steal. As the Warriors win it, and they'll come home from the road trip, Two and two, and after shooting 40% in Chicago, they shoot 50% tonight. Go two and two as Curry goes with 31. I'm watching Draymond's minutes because I think it's going to be burst of five or six minutes at a time. Yeah, he'll get his win back. Steph Curry behind Wiseman. Go. Just hide behind the big kid and let the greatest shooter in the world do what he does. The Warriors shooting in this first quarter has been ugly. Wow. And wow. McCollum dropping that in. I mean, you have the Warriors one of six on threes, and the Blazers are seven of eight. Yeah, just working out a pick and roll. And there Steph continues to attack. Switch this thing up. The threes aren't falling. Let's get to the rim. So the Blazers not only hitting seven threes, but have been to the line seven times. Phenomenal offensive quarter, but made worse by the fact that the Warriors are missing repeatedly, and they're missing open shots. And Bazemore nice. cashes in an open three. Steph's Hezzy set that up. C.J. McCollum misfiring that rebound. Everybody boxed out and hit the ground. That's when you know everyone is boxed out. Bazemore hit one. Bazemore's hit two. Hey, Bazemore has come in ready to play. Curry, oh, 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 change of direction, oh, 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 flipping up and in. And as Cantor, please pick up that piece of athletic equipment that's laying in the lane. I mean, there is such a preoccupation with the three right now in the NBA. Like, two passes will get you a dunk against most teams. Exactly. A lot of bigs are shooting threes now, trying to expand their game. That's oh, smart. Curry. Okay. <laughs> okay. If Lillard says, you reach, and I want to go to the line, Steph says, if you reach, I'll just toss it in. 
Derek Jones Jr. is just trying to make sure he doesn't give him any airspace. How about a little spin move? He knew Derek Jones Jr. was just in recovery mode. He's like, I got to get back out there. That's too good of a move. He lost me. Let me get back in front of this dude. And Curry's like, oh, gotcha. <laughs> Shot fake, jump right back into you. And one. So creative with the handle. So now Draymond comes in with Pascal. This is where Steve Kerr is still experimenting with combinations. Oh. Dray Draymond's first game of the year. And McCollum, that great pairing. Dropping in for Cantor. Great yeah. hands by Draymond. Draymond got there. Helped the helper. Wiseman went to help. Draymond was there for him. And then look for that Curry guy yeah. in transition. Steph hitting that three. Draymond, that's the one thing with the awareness <laughs> is that only Looney, Draymond, and Curry have played together. Steph dragging. There it is. Yes. Wiseman for the dunk. That can be part of the Warrior offense. Oh, yeah. Everybody following Steph on the drive baseline. Just a little shovel pass. He's got two defenders around him. Wiseman was ready. He's more attacking. Steph, tougher shot in the corner, and he makes it. <laughs> the easy one, no. The tough one, yes. Well, that's one thing about Steph. If he misses one shot, he is not bashful. He is going to shoot it again because shooters shoot. That is. And Curry hitting the wing three. That is a clinic on how to move without the ball. He faked like he was about to go over those screens. Free throw line extended. Bounced back, immediately got separation. His defender is in recovery mode. Shot fake, escape dribble, monster without the ball. And Steph being ridden by Lillard the whole time. He put it in again. No. He has hit two circus shot runners for an opportunity for another three-point play. Speaking of getting in your bag, are you kidding me? And this is against Damian Lillard, Oakland's own, behind the back. And Damian Lillard. Moved his feet. He wasn't lost, but you wonder after why the behind the back, Steph had him on his side and just used that to his advantage. Used his body momentum against him. Leaned on him a little bit. Just threw it up there, knowing that Dame would run into him. Neither one of them guard each other very much, by the way. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there's probably a reason for that. Yeah. And Steph continues the free throw streak. 76 straight made free throws for Curry. And nice block. As Wiggins still engaged defensively. Wiseman fell there, and that's not good. He is still down. And this is not a good scene right now as Wiseman is grabbing that left ankle. James Wiseman hit the deck and now trying to get up. 3.21 left in the game, and Wiseman's walking off the court, which hopefully is a good sign. Blazers took control in the first quarter. And kind of cruised, and everything you learned in game one, well, the same two teams play on Sunday, and the immediate news of the off day will be Wiseman and the sprained ankle, and you just hope that it's more of a garden variety sprained ankle and nothing more serious, and obviously we'll figure that out in the next day or so after he's evaluated here tonight. Eric Jones Jr. acquired from Miami as a free agent. Hounding Curry on the relocate and Steph with the deep two. Curry around Covington, past Nurkic, lay it up and in. It's too many moves, you just can't stay in front of that. Warriors stay with the same five starters. And Steph Curry oh. hitting the wing jumper. Yes, you Drop can it see in it. that three. You can see Steph is on one tonight. Oh, Curry, a little split. Smart. Step through and Steph with the layup. And so Steph Curry, beautiful beginning. Curry right down the lane. How about that? That is how you expose Cantor. High, high pick and roll. Looking for Steph. Good screen by Bazemore. Three on the way. Perfect. I'm Set the screen, move the ball, and get that kid the ball. I love that so much. Ken Bazemore, unselfish, had the post up, gave it up to set a screen for Steph. Good decision. The skip pass to Carmelo. Good hustle by Looney. Made it anyway. Blazers play beat the clock. That's great defense, though. And then Steph off a made three, reversing it up and in. Oh, Curry, what a first quarter. They are going at Cantor's life in pick and rolls. Wiseman slipping and hammering. You want to put everybody on Curry? Oh, he'll find people. Wiseman saved the turnover. Steph cut back door. Little floater. Steph Curry's got 23. Teardrop me. Steph 
He reloaded, went around <laughs> McCollum and made that three. And listen, you can either jump into him and get to the free throw line, or you can just avoid him altogether and knock down the three ball. That's impressive. Curry hiding behind Looney, weaving through traffic down the lane. Lefty finish. Steph is doing everything. There is a different energy to this man's game. He is scoring from everywhere. Steph thought about the three, Dying. leaned into Nurkic, and he will draw the foul. Well, Curry, that slacker, missed a free throw after making 80 in a row. You know we how did it too early, man? We, how unusual is 80 in a row? Dirk Nowitzki, 2010. That's the last time someone in the league had won 80 or longer. We mentioned Michael Williams, 97 was the NBA record. He's just lethal from the line. He's so meticulous, works on every part of his game. He spends a lot of time at the free throw line by himself. 31, 31 in the first half for Curry. Draymond three. Short. It's a pass it's to a pass. Steph. It's a pass. We'll call it the pass. Great the look. <laughs> the field goal and the foul. Didn't I just say Draymond has great vision? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> look at the pass. Look, look, I see you. Yeah, goggles. Well, if you great watch pass, Draymond. Watch a lot of NBA basketball. It's amazing. Air balls go to the offense. I don't know why it is, but it happens more often than not. So the three-point play completed. Steph's got 37. Curry for three. Oh. Lasers at home. Steph has the new building high of 40. No one has ever hit 40 in the very early infancy of Chase Center history. Curry little floater. He's got 42. <laughs> that teardrop is just so frustrating for Biggs. Floater right over the top of him. Cantor could do nothing about it. Steph, oh. step back three. Yes, Yo. sir. Oh, oh, oh. 45 for Curry. Oh, my goodness. The dribble combinations. Separation created easily. Ricochet to Steph. He just catches and launches a three. <laughs> like that. He's got 48. Gary Trent Jr. staying on top of Steph. Working with Wiseman. Little leaner push shot. He's got 50. Seven point lead in the ball. Curry down the lane. Curry took the bump and he'll get to the line. Make it 52 for Steph. He's such a competitor. Killer Make. instinct. Wants Make. to win so badly. Curry down the lane. And Curry will go to the line with an opportunity to equal his career best. He's got 54 to equal his career high, and the lead is 10. Steph's got Gary Trent Jr. on him. Hides behind a Draymond screen. Open Wiggins corner three is perfect. Gary Trent Jr. trying to stay with Curry, and Steph will go to the line here. As Curry has a new career high, double nickel at 55. Do you realize how hard it is to have a game like this with all the focus on you, all the attention he's going to draw? Everybody knows you're the main focal point for the defense. So 56 for Steph, a new career best. That boy is a monster. Oubre, hey. what a catch and finish. Just caught him sleeping. Lillard and McCollum went for 54, but Steph went for 56 by himself. <laughs> Curry from Stop. deep. 59! <laughs> Why not? His what else <laughs> does this man have to do to prove to you that he is the greatest shooter that's ever lived? Man, Steph just... Steph is running into the front court. Draymond <laughs> finds him another it. three. Oh. Got it! 62! <laughs> 62! And he actually surpasses his buddy Clay Thompson. No. Clay had that 60 spot against Indy. Run Steph through the mix one more time. He spins and finishes. De'Aaron Fox thought he was going to go out to the three point line. He just turned and went to the rim. Good offense. Such a great finisher. But he healed with Wiggins playing good attention to him. This time he'll drive it and have it knocked away. Throw ahead to Ubre. He will glide in to finish that. Just have the vision from Steph. The defense turns into offense. Steph threw it ahead quick. Split action. Steph, his three is perfect. <laughs> he even took his time. He was so wide open. It's a great screen from Draymond Green. Curry step back triple. Steph's got another three. Attack the big on the pick and roll switch. Steph on the kick out. Eric Pascal catch and shoot. He drops in a three. Okay. Making the threes tonight. Harrison Barnes catch and shoot three. Rimming, rimming, and then finally batted away to Curry. Steph on De'Aaron Fox, Draymond back to Steph, a little give and go. Oldest playing basketball as he lays it in. Of course, they're working together. Locked in on the same page. 
Draymond's always looking for his boy. Curry down the lane, and he beat Bagley. And he had show the muscles off a little bit. Yeah, that's a good flex. Appropriate. And Curry's got 18 now as he hits the three. They just left him. They just fell asleep. You can't fall asleep on Steph. He's too lethal out there. Steph and Wiseman. He throws it back to him. Oh, I can't wait to watch this. Down the road, this is going to be so much fun. He could have shot that too, but he's so unselfish. Just wanted to get his big man into it. Steve Kerr rookied Wiseman in the postgame oh, locker room. Yeah, that was room. funny. Oh, yeah, he said, James, you know, you got your first double-double. I'd like to give you the game ball. And Wiseman put his hands out and he said, or we could give it to Steph with 62. Yeah. And Curry with another three, and he's got 21. Because Steph, is, Steph is doing stuff like that. He's on the same thing. He's still on it. Curry's got the whole Kings roster around him. Oubre, catch it, shoot three. Two for 30 coming in. Two for four tonight. Step around. And Wiseman just sends Harrison Barnes shot away. And because Draymond was in the right place, that allowed James Wiseman to get over there. Wiggins catch and shoot. Beautiful three. The defense. block and then the triple. Yep, the defense leading to offense. And Harrison Barnes, Fox missing that runner. And the Warriors need to restart their offense a little bit. Kelly Oubre, he looked down at the line. He's made three threes. Oh, he's blowing kisses, too, at the Kings bench. That is savage. I love it. These are all different groupings. Bazemore, Draymond, Steph with Oubre and Looney. Flip it up and in. Draw the foul and Curry to the line again. Steph is just a high IQ scorer. He's built for this. He's good taking punishment. His defender is just top blocking him. Trying to make sure he gets out there and doesn't let him get a three ball. Glenn Robinson the third played with Steph. He should know better. Oubre had to pick up the dribble. Curry cut without the ball. Behind the back to Looney to lay it up and in. That's one for the highlight reel. Steph just moved without the ball again. It's not just to make plays for himself. Making plays for his teammates. Put a little sauce on it. What about the reaction? Did he go goggles? He's like, oh my goodness, I'm just a monster. I can't even believe myself. Oh, Curry. Oh, boy. Oh, oh Steph God. with the three. Corey oh. Joseph just shook his head. Put him in the blender. It's a video game. James Wiseman knows it. Matchup tonight between a couple of contenders in the Western Conference. The Los Angeles Clippers trying to exercise the ghost of their calamitous collapse last summer in the bubble. And the Golden State Warriors reinventing themselves but riding the magnificent transcendence of one of the greatest to ever do it, Steph Curry, one of the hottest players in the NBA, the reigning Western Conference Player of the Week. And speaking of hot starts, Paul George back in the lineup tonight for the Los Angeles Clippers. Nicholas Batum, his uh, contribution mark without Marcus Morris in the lineup has been pretty important for the Clippers so far as Curry gets his first bucket. First time mistake made by the Clippers defending Curry allowed them to get an easy one. Frustrating thing if you're Ty Lue. I can get him going. And Ibaka shoots an air ball. Well, I expected to wear that mask a few more games. Lee from deep. Got it. And Damian Lee cuts the lead to six. Well, he's a good player. Plays with energy, defends, not afraid to take and make shots. Step on the dribble, got it back from Draymond. Beverly getting physical with him, launching the three. Butter! And Steph looks over at Steve Kerr and says, I had it the whole time. I've been there. Don't worry, coach. But Ibaka inside, missed the dunk. Good contest by the Warriors and the foul on Los Angeles. Good contest. You got to finish that. I mean, you're being pretty nice, partner. Good job by the Warriors getting back in there, but you have to finish that. Okay. Wiseman did get a hand up, though. <laughs> hey, listen, I'll just try to be nice. Curry, nice with it. Hits the mid-range jump shot. Curry doing a nice job on defense. They got a four on two. Step inside, Oubre with the flush. And the Warriors taking a one-point lead. Steph searching for his shot and knocks it in. Awesome job keeping that dribble alive. What about the other day? This went viral. Steph made... 105 consecutive threes, Mark Jackson. I mean, that's really stuck on automatic. I'm not surprised. I witnessed it every single day. The guy is an incredible shooter, the best we've seen. 
That goes on for about five minutes. I mean, you talk about repping something and grooving your shot. And what makes him the best we've seen is not just doing it that way. He can now go 105 times off a down screen or off a pick and roll. It doesn't matter, or off the dribble. The variety of ways in which he is consistent with shooting the basketball is something we've never seen. One of the best ever do it. Curry with the assist there. Marcus Morris backing down Lee. And he lost the handle. Warriors got numbers three on two. Baysmore to Lee. Good closeout by Beverly defensively. Pushing Lee into the front row. Step with a nice dime. Draymond inside with the finish and one. Count it. Steph rejects the screen, gets the contact, and will go to the free throw line for two. Steph in the front court, picked up by Morris. Got to the basket with the left and finished. The second time we see him go away from the screen. So the help is out of the picture. Spectacular move and finished by Curry. Wiseman sets the screen for Curry. Got it back, great basketball. That's just a tremendous read by Steph Curry. He has made the right decision. Not frustrated about the way he's defending. A double team makes the right play and puts Wiseman in position to finish. He's got five assists tonight. Los Angeles Clippers win it 108 to 101. Paul George with 21 points, 11 rebounds, a season high for him. And nine for nine from the field. Kawhi Leonard also with 21 points. Steph Curry, meanwhile, just 13 for the Golden State Warriors in defeat. It's the Los Angeles Clippers and the Golden State Warriors as NBA Friday presented by State Farm continues from the Chase Center here on the waterfront in San Francisco. Steph Curry, every time he takes to the court, folks, something combustible or incendiary points-wise can definitely happen. This is what our vantage point looks like. It's 2021 and it's a new NBA season. Steph Curry knocks down his first field goal attempt from deep. Ibaka inside, Curry with the steal. Warriors looking to push to the tempo here, Steph. Wiseman, the roll man, boy, extending for the bucket. Curry with a catch and shoot three. He knocks it in. Pat Beverly immediately slaps himself upset, realizing he made a mistake. It's his responsibility to stay connected, and Steph Curry steps in rhythm off the great screen. Curry probing underneath. Out to Wiggins from deep, and he knocks it in. Andrew Wiggins with his first field goal. Just Steph Curry knocks out a shot. Curry with nine points here in the first quarter on three of five. As Mulder takes the baseline three and knocks it in. Leonard out front, Paul George has had the hot hand. Guarded by Mulder, a little two-man game with Ibaka. And the Warriors get the turnover. Lee in transition to Pascal. Curry wide open. Great ball fake and made it count. Curry with another three. Four of five from downtown tonight. You saw the wall they formed on Curry, and Green made, made them pay. Curry over the midcourt line, 12 points. Blows by Beverly and tells Ibaka, too late. Steph Curry has the basketball. That's three guys defending him. Wow. They're basically saying, give the ball up. We're not going to overreact to anybody else making plays. But the one thing I will say is Draymond Green had an open layup, and he had Steph Curry behind him wide open. That was a back court by Steph Curry. Got away with it. Felt whistle foul when he went behind his back. He went behind his back, and his feet were across the front court, and the move put him back in the back court. He's up to 6, 17 points now. Curry's taken 12 shots, Mark. Is that enough? You want him to take more shots, but then you look and you say, okay, well, could he have forced it as Kawhi knocks out a shot? Yes, but give him credit. 
he's not trying to do too much. I, I believe he's ultimately thinking he's not playing for right now. He's playing to build these guys because he's going to be Steph Curry. Yeah. It's the others that's going to make this team a, a championship all playoff team. They sure Curry did. They sure did. Molden on the break, count it, and the foul. And Molden will go to the free throw line trying to complete the three-point play. Golden State hanging in. The dribble handoff to Curry. Nice look inside. Looney off a great dime by Molden. Worse with the step back short. And here's Curry in transition. Working against Leonard and got the layup to go. Steph Curry up to 25 in the game. Morris missing. And Curry quickly the other way. Pulls up from deep. Got it! Splash Steph Curry. And it's a nine-point game. Those are the type of plays when he's at his best. You have no response for defensively. He's 7 of 10 from deep. Curry into the paint. Waltzes down the lane with the left hand. And the meter's running for Steph Curry. He's got 30. Lou Will off the mark. Loose ball. Warriors control. They got a little bit of time. Bazemore out to Curry. Catch and shoot. Got it! Smoke from Steph to end the third quarter. They cut the lead to six points. What a rapid flurry of scoring from Steph Curry. And this is exactly what Draymond Green was talking about, reading and reacting, finding Steph Curry. Runs the floor, Kent Bezma turns, finds him in rhythm, do that dance, Kata. <laughs> Steph Curry happened in that third quarter for the Warriors, Mark Jackson. Well, defending him is not a 12-minute thing or a 24-minute thing. It's a 48-minute thing, and you got to defend him all throughout the court. They allowed him to get loose, and he's making them pay the price. Stellar job in the third. All right, Malika, Steph with the ball, ISO it against Zubats. Steph finds the open man, Lee all alone in the corner. Got it! And here come Golden State. They ended the quarter on an 18-2 run. And now a couple of quick buckets. Are you just going to ignore that left-handed cross-court pass from Steph Curry? You mean the one off the dribble? Unbelievable. <laughs> Pascal strong to the bucket. And it's tied at 89. And with Curry on the sideline, Pascal's got to be aggressive. Not just as a scorer, he's surrounded by guys that can knock down shots now on the floor. He's got to be a playmaker also. Off the drag screen, Pascal pick and pop. Got it! And the Warriors lead it by three. They were down by 20 points at one point. Pascal against Zubats. Put his body into him and got it to go. And you know what that shows me? The guy made a bad play on the previous possession. He's a winner. He's a guy that plays with extreme confidence, makes the right play, and continues to keep his foot on the gas pedal. Bazemore, an open three look. Got it. And Bazemore pointing to the heavens. And timeout. Warriors up by six. Curry guarded by Ibaka. Steph on the drive by Wild. Top shot! Circus time, Steph Curry. Yeah, that's why I'm up with the Clippers. I'm not allowing them to play one-on-one. -on -one. Even though Ibaka's on him, I'm sending Pat Beverly. Force him to get rid of the basketball. It's his time right now offensively. He's got 35. Curry snakes around the screen. Three guys go to him in green. Looks like a layup drill. They left green alone. Leonard gets it back. Fires the long one off the mark and rebounded by Wanamaker to Curry. Six-point lead. Wiggins on George. Andrew Wiggins trying to put this one on ice. Timeout, Clippers. That's just not Steph Curry. Look at the bench. Everybody's up. They're cheering. They're clapping. They're smiling. I've been a part of teams <laughs> where guys are pouting. It's not enough to win. I want to win being involved. I want to win being on the floor. That's not really winning. Beginning of a, a reshaped and revamped Warriors. Looking for a good result here. Off the turnover, Draymond Green with it. And in the safe hands, the productive, prolific hands of Steph Curry. 
in his bag, deep, like the fries are at the bottom. Steph Curry with another one. They have eviscerated the Clippers here in the fourth quarter. Another transcendent performance here by Curry Mark. Says to Paul George, allow me to have this dance. That's a big time move. And in my opinion, it is rated PG. <laughs> That's not fair. <laughs> and there's a strange and unique element about what's happening here. The probably 50 people that are watching in the Chase Center here tonight are all up on their feet. Curry with a season high nine three pointers. 13 to 24 from the field. Now the Golden State Warriors are going to take home a dub here tonight. Baysmore, one of the catalysts defensively in the second half. As was that guy at the offensive end. Mutual respect. He and Pat Beverly. A picture of competition right there. And the Golden State Warriors might have found something tonight with the way that they have to play moving forward, Mark Jackson. Obviously, we're going to miss shots, we're going to make shots, but when you play with that type of effort, intensity, and defend the right way and play unselfish, you stumble on the things. And if I'm Steve Kerr, I'm preaching it to the team. This is something to build on. You don't get seven-game homestands very often in the NBA. The Warriors are 4-2. and two. Tonight is the seventh and final game. The Pacers are a beast from the east. This should be a fun one. Sumner and the pass back. And Curry was there to steal. Step on the push. Ooh. Step on the hesitation. Step on the kick out. Fine step. Oh, Oubre is going to give it to Wiggins to lay it up and in. There we go. Defense turns it off and Steph just kept coming. That pick and roll defense. Again, he got screen, keep coming, get the steal, work on the other side. Steph got a little contact there. And there's the field goal and the free throw line. He's going to keep attacking. And the missed free throws aren't going to happen almost ever. So he drops that one in. Steph taking a lot of contact there. And that one won't stay down. He got his own rebound. Oh, oh, flex on him. Go ahead, flex on him. He wanted to. It was a quick flex. <laughs> yeah, he saw this. Draymond saw it. They were smiling, but the mask he blocked the spot. Rogan again, and it's Wiggins again. Andrew Wiggins has been a defensive revelation. Even if you think you've beaten him, he's so long. Tough to get it up there. Steph down the lane. Kick out to Wiggins. Corner three on the way. Andrew Wiggins is doing everything. On both ends. Ten for Wiggins. Ten for Oubre. And this game was tied at 32. And the Warriors reassert themselves. They're picking up Steph early. Three guys on Curry there. Oh, man. He wanted contact and he got it. He had two defenders around him the whole time. Draymond, beautiful screen. Skip pass to Oubre. Did he catch and wow. shoot or did he dribble into that three? That was a catch and shoot <laughs> created by one Stephen Curry. Draymond, good screen. And Curry drops in the three. And Draymond recognized how Sabonis was playing him. He wasn't close enough to him, so he's like, let me just give my boy a handoff. He's going to have a jumper coming off of it. Wiseman just off iron. He had the good elbow shot. That's off of Wiggins' foot. And Curry, show and go, sets up Draymond. Nicely done. Wiggins is getting blocks. He's kicking balls. It's incredible the work he's doing defensively. And Kavan, offensive rebound off the Oubre miss. Curry relocate three and dropped it in. Credit Looney for the extra possession. It's going to start falling at some point, and that's what the Pacers know. That's why they're sticking with him, but they lost him there for a quick second. Steph split three defenders and still made the floater. Yes, that time Steph set the screen, made his defender help. He popped, shot fake on the long closeout, get in there, shoot that floater. How many times have I said floater tonight? Steph looking Ooh. for airspace. His three is good. <laughs> he pressed the juke button. He went video game mode. The double behind the back crossover. Just lost his defender. Raymond handing off to Steph, trying to set a screen. Sabonis, two guys jump at him. Shot clock at three. 
Damian Lee wing three yep. big shot huge Steph double team kick it to Draymond one more for Damian Lee you know he's ready he's got 12 in the game tying things at 85 Sumner out of the corner rebound what a tap by Draymond scattered floor Damian Lee to a trailing Draymond Mulder corner three got oh. it such a great decision from Draymond just taking advantage of the fact that Sabonis is on the ground Curry step back jumper oh, good so four minutes of crunch time Curry behind the back behind the oh, back boy. again between oh, the legs floats goodness. it up and out <laughs> everything but the basket that actually wasn't bad defense defense from Sabonis both teams have played great D tonight and Holiday he got around Steph and there's that one where you Gapping almost dare holiday to shoot that three. Yeah, don't close all the way out to him there. We'll skip pass to Turner Launching the three. I tell you what. No oh. miles Turner. He must make threes against Just the Warriors. Yeah, his percentages would not indicate three of five But he's been amazing and then D Lee missing the three the 49% shooter misses Holiday driving, Holiday flipping it up and in. And this is now Indiana's largest lead of the night. Draymond down the lane, and Brogdon grabbed him. And that'll be free throws. After review, the Indiana coaches' challenge is successful. It is not a defensive foul on Brogdon. They get their timeout back. We're going to jump the ball, center circle, any two. Clear and conclusive that he hits the ball twice. And Turner, he was trying to get it between Holiday and Sabonis. And he does get it to Sabonis. Aaron Holiday to use that Sabonis screen. Instead, it's a skip pass to his brother. And there is the three point shooting Holiday. They're making all the big shots. Big screen by Draymond, oh, but that'll man. be called an offensive foul. They've been calling that the whole game. Aaron Holiday driving. Oh. Kind of a wild shot. Sabonis, look what I found. Just size. Because Draymond had to leave. And you get a small defender trying to box out Sabonis. He's like, I'm not letting that happen. Oh. Draymond lost the handle. Oubre oh, with the man. shot clock at 11. It didn't matter. Justin Holiday the steal. Holiday missed the dunk, but we'll pick up the foul. And Kalana, this can be one of those games where sometimes you lose and sometimes you're beaten. The Warriors are beaten tonight. They're beaten. Yeah. Welcome everyone to Denver, Colorado, in a matchup in the Western Conference with the NBA tonight on TNT, presented by State Farm. Tonight, it's the Golden State Warriors and the Denver Nuggets. Away we go. The Golden State Warriors, 2-2 two and two on the road, coming off the loss at home to Indiana by nine a couple nights ago. Curry, three, puts it up and down. So let me take out my calculator. That's now 19. <laughs> He's 19 away from catching me. All right. Here we go again with a little turnover and picked up by Steph Curry. A quick five for him. Wow. Hold on. I'm going to my calculator. 18. 18. <laughs> Was that a three I got or my two? Abacus out. Don't worry. <laughs> Here's a drive inside. Curry crashes. Still gets it to go as Steph Curry continues to eat him up. He has started four of four with nine. Oubre outside for a triple. Outside three. Barton with a rebound by Kent Bazemore in his second stint with the Golden State Warriors. Curry three. Steph Curry cans another triple. Curry had 12 while he was out there. Back out now. Another three. Good and fouled. Nice shot. Curry got the tray. He'll go to the line. And that my abacus now says he's 17 away. And Kevin, this is the eighth time that he has been fouled on a three-point field goal this season. By far the most in the NBA this season as he counts it off. And Jamal making a move in a cross court and it's thrown away. And here comes Curry, two on one. Wiggins. Curry gets the assist. He has his second. And his second steal. Difference of five seconds. Game clock and shot clock. Barton tries to knife his way in for two. Picked up by Wiggins, trying to beat the clock the other way. Step at the other end with an easy layup. And two more on the board for him. He's got 18. Oh my goodness. Oh, takes uh -oh. it in. What a, what a beautiful jam by Wiseman. 
Woo! Wow! You, you now you understand, Kev, why <laughs> they are so high on this young man and why he's going to be part of the cornerstone of this Warriors future. Look where he takes off from. I mean, Woo! that is beautiful extension here by the rookie. James Wiseman, only three college games. Not a lot of experience. Number two overall pick with the beautiful finish. Well, who else other than Curry is going to be able to score the basketball consistently? Wide open three here for Curry. Wow. Timeout, Curry. The sharpshooter with 21, four threes. Every chamber is filled. So Curry making his march. He's going to hit the legendary Miller and eventually, of course, he'll surpass, we think, uh, Ray Allen in the not-too-distant future. Reggie, you, you, this is an art form for you. This is such a a, 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 a thing of, of constant repetition of shooting. I'm sure you and Steph have had conversations. You can see what's happened over the last couple games. Struggling coming into tonight and not struggling is Jokic, who just wheels his way in for two more. He's got nine. But the, the, have you had a nice conversation with Steph on shooting the, 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 the way that you become what you've both become? Well, you know, you talk about it, our form. To me, it's, it's a science. It's, it's all the little things, very meticulous and the hard work that people do not see. You know, we saw that video of him making, what, 105 straight threes yes. from the corner for, what, five and a half minutes. It's those little things that are a glimpse into his life on why he is the greatest three-point shooter this game has ever seen. And uh, we've had conversations because I am in awe of the talents that he has, just the same way I was, I'm in awe of Ray Allen. I was in the building when Ray passed me in Boston. It's one of those moments I'll always remember. And I'm hope I, I'm, you know, we have uh, Golden State on Monday as well. He's not going to get 16 unless he goes crazy between now and there. But I want to be in the building when he, he surpasses me as well. Meanwhile, Jokic tries to squirt one inside and can't. And now you've got a three on two and Weissman gets a beautiful feed from Curry. And that's one of the other parts of his game that you admire so much. He, he just came up with his fourth assist tonight and got Wiseman in stride. Jokic not that much older, and he goes inside. Knocked away, beautiful rejection from the weak side. I believe Whoa, that was Wiggins who had, I believe that was Wiggins as Curry to the hole with the potential and one. Wiggins coming off of five rejections in his last game out versus the Pacers. Three. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what a shot by oh, Curry. Oh, my goodness. Oh, what is that? 35 footer? Oh, oh, oh. Long shot by Curry. No. Kavon Looney got it. Here comes Lee weaving, feeding to Curry. 15 footer on the fly for Steph Curry. He's got 29. There's a nice gliding move inside here for Steph Curry with 31. A game high 31 for Steph. Curry works by Barton, that little floater, Reg. He works on that shot. Every pregame we see him, he's always working on it. It was perfect right there. He's got 33. Curry, oh, what a shot by Curry. 35 for Steph. And Denver is going to go to 6-6, six and six, even their record, 3-4 and four at home. And the Warriors are going to drop to 6-6 six and six and go to 2-3 and three on the road. And we will see... The Golden State Warriors Monday night in Los Angeles against the world champion Lakers. It was supposed to play tomorrow night. That game's been postponed because of COVID issues and protocol by the Phoenix Suns. Curry tonight was spectacular. 35 points, five threes, 35 points and 23 shots in 37 minutes. Balanced scoring for Denver. Jokic had the triple double with 23. 17 apiece from Barton and Murray. 15 from Green off the bench and nine rebounds. Boy, what a couple of great games we have already had. Now we're set up for the nightcap of our triple header on MLK Day, downtown Los Angeles. Welcome from Staples Center. And in our third game, it's the Golden State Warriors and the Los Angeles Lakers, the reigning world champs. Quick release by Stephen Curry, and he is in the scorebook. Here's Gasol. Turnaround, no good. 
Right now, the Warriors 24th in offensive rating is Oubre. Fires it down. Good ball movement. Curry sets him up beautifully. Wiggins with the layup inside. And now Curry lets it go from long range. That one's true. Good call, Reggie. Shooter shoot, and Stephen Curry finally gets loose for his first made three of the night from long range. Lakers Warriors, third game of our triple header. It's the NBA on TNT, and it's presented by State Farm. LeBron catches it deep and scores it coming off that turnover by the Warriors. Wiseman travel. And the Caruso, as he has been known here in L.A., a little push shot from Curry. Stephen Curry. Mm -hmm. One game. Warriors bench help get them back in it in the second quarter. Here's Wiggins again, got the hot hand. Splash down. Yo, see the ball. Hey, listen. Come here. I told you, if you're over anyone before I'm hit you, you can catch that ball right there and make play. I didn't see it. But you didn't see it. That's my point. Always see the ball. Because I got you in open space against Marcus Saul. I like that. You see me? Come on. I like that. I think that's you. This is exactly why James Wiseman in two to three years will be ahead of the curve. When you've got a former Defensive Player of the Year, a three-time champion like Draymond Green in your ear every day, at every game, every practice, on bus rides, plane rides, it's only going to make you better. I absolutely love the coaching up there by Draymond Green. I've seen it every night. As Looney hits a three, boy, the three-pointers are falling now. Wiggins backing down Schroeder. Schroeder hits the deck, and Wiggins gets rid of it. Curry for three. Oh, splash down for Stephen Curry. And here come the Warriors. How about that? And a technical foul, either on the bench or on Frank Vogel. For the Lakers. Warriors, Warriors are up and loud off their bench as the whistle blows. And I do want to mention the talked about the Sports Legacy Awards, National Civil Rights Museum, and mentioned Kenny the Jet Smith and Ray Allen, but Eka Ogumake, former WNBA MVP of the LA Sparks, also one of the award recipients as well for the Sports Legacy Awards. Congratulations to Neca as well. Stephen Curry quickly answers, two-point game, Reggie, with the Lakers on top and the ball. Curry drawing a crowd. Curry gets himself free, knocks it down. A long two from Stephen Curry. Curry starting to heat up here now, up to 14 points. Much more active. Excuse me, make that 16. Here goes Kuzma, gives it up. Ball movement late in the clock. And LeBron shuffled his feet. And LeBron James barking at Contavious Caldwell Pope to take the shot. Boy, I wish I played with LeBron. He wouldn't have to beg me to take a shot. <laughs> Something <laughs> Reggie Miller's never heard. Here's Curry on the take. Fouled. Golden State with a scrappy second unit have been able to claw their way back. Curry, a deadly free throw shooter, knocks it down, and here we go. Two possession game. Warriors right with him every step. Now Schroeder on the take, little floater. And got a foul, no basket. That's going the other way. That's going to be an offensive foul. Stephen Curry, perfect six for six from the foul line. And he calmly knocks down two right there. Two point game. Laker ball. And Oubre got a hand on that, and it's off of Schroeder. Kelly Oubre forces the turnover. Warriors ball down a pair. Two point game. Warriors with great defense. Oubre now, Oubre scores. After causing the turnover, Oubre ties the game. He's got a season high, 23 points tonight. Davis can't get it to go. Looney clears. Now the Warriors can take the lead. Warriors have not led. Green on a rim run, scores the layup, and Golden.
Golden State on top. I will see who's got the finishing kick here tonight. All the way across court. Everybody gets in touch. Right back in the hands of LeBron. And he traveled. Turnover, Lakers. Let's see if LeBron shuffled the beat. Yep, good call there by the official. Lakers have four turnovers in the last two minutes. There's Green again. Oh, Green slipped, but able to score. Wow. Kept his pivot. Draymond Green scores. And the Warriors are up four. That's a spot miss badly. Oh, Davis with the rebound and the follow. Big bucket for L.A. as Anthony Davis cleans it up. Long range three from Curry. Oh, he's got it. Stephen Curry puts the Warriors up five as we approach one minute. LeBron backing his way in. And that's going to be a foul on the floor. Lakers have missed ten consecutive field goals. Until that dunk by Davis, free throws from LeBron James, three-point game. And now you leave Curry wide open again. Missed it this time. James with a rebound. Doors open for the Lakers. Down three, 30 seconds to go, and a whistle. Oh, he missed the first. That was his first miss tonight. Schroeder had made his first seven. He's got 24 points. Second free throw is good. And a timeout. Steve Kerr and the Warriors want to talk it over. 30 seconds left. Missed free throw by Schroeder. Makes the Warriors could make it a two-possession game here. Two-point game right now. Curry goes. Curry lays it up. No good. Lakers have a chance. They're down two. Shot clock is off. LeBron James finds Schroeder. Looking for Davis. Damian Lee fronts him. A scramble now. Caruso and the clock. It's a timeout. I beg your pardon. Boy, the clock was close at 1.7. Vogel gets a timeout. Caruso puts it in. LeBron James. This is for the win. No good. And the Golden State Warriors hang on. A tremendous comeback for the Warriors. They win it 115-113. What a ball game. And the Warriors have the Oakland Forever court and jerseys all in honor of Madam Vice President Kamala Harris. Oh, these uniforms I, look I, so good, man. I, I watched a young Kalena Azubuki wear these. Oh, my goodness. These are so fire. Keldon Johnson's getting all he can eat, and the Warriors don't mind because he's 0 for 3. And Draymond keeps helping recover and contesting it well. Dropping into Wiseman. Perfect. And laying it up and in and drawing the foul. That's going to be there if they keep playing Steph that way and send two defenders after him off of his pick and rolls. Keldon Johnson floating it up and out. And Kevon Looney with the rebound. Nothing is easy for the Spurs right now on that side. Oh, Ooh. Steph! Show and go into the rim! So sad. He should get more than two points for that basket. He should. That's how pretty that was. We're going to see that all over the highlight reels. Curry for three. And how about four? They'll draw a foul with an opportunity for the four-point play. That's just the Warriors staple. That's split action. Oubre going to launch that three. Oh. If he starts to hit that, teams are going to be in real trouble. Patty Mills and Curry. That's a fun matchup there. Steph. Oh my goodness. With the three. Oh. Already it's running back. He knew it was down. The, the Kelly Oubre Steph pick and roll. I don't think we've seen that. And it's working well the last two possessions. Wiseman and Steph. Now Wiseman's the roller. Wiggins on the skip pass. Yeah. And dropped in the three. Look, the vision by Curry. Yeah, he's looking at Lonnie Walker on that weak side. He was on the block trying to take away the roll. Two defenders stay with Steph again. And you talked about his vision. He can make any pass. If it's a pocket pass, he can make it. If it's a skip pass, he's making that too. Oh, Steph oh, off the window. Wait, I'm falling down. I think I'll just throw it up and in. I'm so skilled. How pretty was that? Draymond directing traffic. Curry's got it now. Down the lane. Curry again on another lane. He just the fact that Wanamaker stepped in to try to set a screen for Steph as he's running towards him. That gave Steph the angle of the basket. His defender's behind him. He can get all the way in to help his late. Curry, he'll launch from deep. Oh, my. Steph Curry has got it on automatic tonight. DeMar DeRozan just wasn't close enough. He should know better. 17 for Steph on 6 of 7. Oh, Curry was going to pull back. Left to Wiseman. Oh, 
get ready to watch that the next couple years. His catch radius is everywhere. Two defenders come to him. Wiseman's defender goes to Steph. Throw it up. I need every angle of this. Steph loses it by Murray pretty easily. Aldridge has to come over. Just throw it up a little. No look. One for the highlight reel. Put some sauce on it. That's what's so good about getting downhill and drawing James Wiseman. Look where he is right now. The, the dunker spot. And he draws the foul because Curry found him again. If they put him at that dunker spot and Steph with his quickness and his handle can get downhill, get into the paint, it's Dunk City. Steph, step back three. Yes, sir. All kinds of separation against the rookie Vasil. 20 for Curry, four or five on threes. That's it. Little tic tac toe. Wiseman step. Draymond. Oh, that's good action again. And Draymond's defender went with Steph because he set the screen for him, rolled to the basket. It was there. Lonnie Walker trying to stay with Steph. He sets up Wiggins. Wiggins soaring in to finish. If you're unsure of box and one, you'll see a box, four defenders around the paint, and one guy face guarding, staying with Curry the whole time. And Steph beat it before they could even set it up. Yep. CTV. Speaking of a lot of oh, talent, Steph Curry's got 24 on 9 of 12 shooting. Steph. Oh, yeah, Ronnie Walker going left and right, and Curry flips it in. And you saw Lamarcus Aldridge stayed home that time. He saw Steph coming in there. He's like, if I come off of him, James Wiseman's going to get a lob. And Raymond again. Played the D. Shot short. Curry running with friends. Baseball corner three. Yes, sir. Knicks and Warriors starting lineups for the Knicks. Bullock, Randall, Robinson, Barrett, and Peyton. Golden State starters, Wiggins, Green, Wiseman, Oubre, and Curry. Knicks lead by two. Here's Curry, goes behind the back. Draymond Green from downtown. How sweet it is. That was uh, Curry's uh, with his razzle-dazzle behind the back. Green, the recipient. Warriors, a little discombobulated offense. We can shut down Curry. Just standing around, very stagnant. Curry gets the roll and the foul, so he went over eight minutes without scoring, and now Steph Curry will head to the line. And watch his sagacity on this play. There's nothing there. He's surrounded by Knicks. And, and right there, just spinning to get the contact and a fortuitous bounce, and he completes the old-fashioned three-point play. Knicks with an eight-point lead. Here's Curry, and the foul. Come on, Pete. I don't know, man. I watch this so much, it makes you sick to see guys fouling this guy from behind the arc. Steph Curry, who went over eight minutes without scoring, now has eight points for the Warriors. We've yet to get a pace to this game. The Warriors are trying. They have more of an up-tempo team. Curry from three now has 11, all in the last two minutes. And that little deja vu from the right elbow. Oh, look at that. Curry lays it in. Corner three lead. No good. Warriors keep it alive. Here's Curry from downtown. Mitchell Weissman doing a good job corralling that rebound. Curry the beneficiary. After his brother-in-law missed the first attempt, Damian Lee is married to Steph Curry's sister. Weissman banks it in. Weissman, a seven-footer, doing a good job that time with his length. So Pascal. Starts the second half for Golden State in green spot. Here's Weisman banks it in with the left hand. Look at the agility, mobility of the seven foot Weisman. Here's Pascal. He slams it down. It's third dunk of the game for Pascal. Curry into the paint. A one day road trip for the Dubs as they head to Salt Lake City and run into the hottest team in the NBA, the Utah Jazz. Have won seven in a row. They're the second best three point shooting team. They are a challenge. And for the Warriors, guarding the three mm. will be the story of the night, one way or the other. Oubre, a little pull up, and the Warriors are on the board. His defender went to help with Steph coming off. Steph hit it right back to him. And Kelly Oubre looking to drive. Like that mindset. Steph Curry moves one closer to Reggie Miller. 2,558, two away from Ty and Reggie. Curry, another one. 
Yeah. One away from Reggie Miller for second all time. Yeah, they're just taking advantage of the fact that Gobert doesn't want to come all the way out there. What do you call that? The Steve Kerr special? Yeah, that's Steve Kerr. Got Wiggins the freebie. Possession by possession. That's what the Warriors have to do here. Wiggins for three. Hey, the Warriors can hit a couple triples in response themselves. Yeah, Steph made that play. Steph was cutting back door. One foot, Nowitzki and Curry over Ingles. Ingles was not ready for that. Only in that decision-making spot. You know, Kavon has the highest field goal percentage of any player in the NBA. Steph on Gobert, he snuck it in. Ooh, that's how you gotta do it. You got a quick shot, you gotta be crafty and tricky. Steph's got a lot in his bag. Steph's got 10, Wiggins has 10. Shot clock is off. Multiple guys jump at Steph. Oubre gets the shot up. There you go. And that's a good way to finish the quarter. Yeah. Double team on Steph, flash to the middle. Be aggressive. Draymond Green, little push shot. Yeah. They stayed with Wiseman for the most part there. Derek Favors didn't want to guard him off of that pick and roll. Two go with Steph. He got your floater. Curry has tied Reggie Miller right there. There it is. 2,560 tied for second most all time. I think he knows it too. Oh, he's, he's aware. Mike Conley just wasn't ready to handle. Again, the degree of difficulty with Steph, when you were comparing to Reggie Miller and Ray Allen, he's shooting shots from half court. He's special. He's just a sniper. He's the best distance shooter in the history of the sport. Steph will use that Wiseman screen. Gobert's there to make sure he doesn't finish. Curry is now second all time. There he goes. With 2,500 and 61 and trails only Ray Allen in NBA history. He's just big time. Watch Steph give it up. As soon as he gives it up, he's sprinting to that corner. Conley's like, oh no, I've seen this before. <laughs> but it's too late. He's got such a quick release. Donovan Mitchell, off back iron. And Wiggins warding off Gobert. Steph somehow beat two defenders. Running with Wiseman, he'll lob it up. And nicely done. Yeah, he's just waiting for the right time to throw it. He had to draw that defender, make sure that defender committed, and then throw it up. Curry Conley, that's been a fun matchup, and Steph won it again. Conley's such a good defender, and he's thinking, wait a minute, I'm in great position. How, how did he score off me? Steph Curry continues to add threes. Steph's got 21 with the five made threes. Steph down the lane, yes. took the body bump, and flipped it up and in. Again, I, I keep saying it. He's not shying away from contact, and he has spent time in the weight room. I joke about it, but he's ready to take that physical punishment and finish through the contact. Splits the defense, and Derek Favors came over and tried to contest the layup, but Steph's so crafty, but lead with your body. Let your body take that punishment, and then you got the English. You can put on that ball, getting it up and in. Steph will be 33 in March. He's 32 right now. And that was the age Michael Jordan was when he came back from baseball. And then the Bulls won three more championships. Mm -hmm. So for Steph, the, the physical fitness and the regimen he puts himself through, uh, he's still going to be a factor for multiple years. And Chris Mullen said it on Warrior Pregame Live. You know, Clay Thompson, there's the best is yet to come even for Clay, too. Well, it was all Utah tonight. They continue their winning streak and move it to eight. And they're chasing the Lakers for best team in the West. 127-108, the final. Knicks and Warriors starting lineups for the Knicks. Bullock, Randall, Robinson, Barrett, and Peyton. Golden State starters, Wiggins, Green, Wiseman, Oubre, and Curry. Knicks lead by two. Here's Curry, goes behind the back. Raymond Green from downtown. How sweet it is. That was... Uh... Curry's uh, with his razzle dazzle behind the back, greeting the recipient. Warriors, a little discombobulated offensively. We can shut down Curry. They're standing around, very stagnant. Curry gets the roll and the foul, so he went over eight minutes without scoring, and now Steph Curry will head to the line. And watch his sagacity on this play. There's nothing there. He's surrounded by Knicks. And Right there, just spinning to get the contact and a fortuitous bounce, and he completes the old-fashioned three-point play. Next with an eight-point lead. Here's Curry, and the foul. Come on, Pete. I don't know, man, I watch this so much, it makes you sick to see guys fouling this guy from behind the arc. Steph Curry, who went over 
eight minutes without scoring, now has eight points for the Warriors. We've yet to get a pace to this game. The Warriors are trying. They are more of an up-tempo team. Curry from three now has 11, all in the last two minutes. And that little deja vu from the right elbow. Oh, look at that. Curry lays it in. Corner three lead, no good. Warriors keep it alive. Here's Curry from downtown. Mitchell Weissman doing a good job corralling that rebound. Curry the beneficiary. After his brother-in-law missed the first attempt, Damian Lee is married to Steph Curry's sister. Wiseman banks it in. Wiseman, a seven-footer, doing a good job that time with his length. So Pascal starts the second half for Golden State in green spot. Here's Wiseman, banks it in with the left hand. Look at the agility, mobility of the seven-foot Wiseman. Here's Pascal. He slams it down. His third dunk of the game for Pascal. Curry into the paint. Curry hits a three. It's been a struggle for Curry all evening. There's Curry from downtown. He's definitely the longest shooting player with the infinite range. So Curry, a little percolation here near the end of the game. Steph will be better, and we'll see if Minnesota will be better. They are struggling right now. Carl Anthony Towns still out. D'Angelo Russell out as well. So what we'll do is send you out to the West Coast right now. Helena Azabuki, Bob Fitzgerald, take it away. Helena mentioned it, the T-Wolves without D'Angelo, without Carl Anthony Towns beating New Orleans. Draymond riding in, flipping it in and drawing the foul. Nas Reed was there, but he was late and committed the infraction. And Steph's got his hand up. He made that play. Steph Curry for three. Go. Curry pulling within 400 of Ray Allen. Oh, wait. We're not going to start <laughs> counting that down yeah. just yet. A little early. A little, a little early. All right. Oubre looking for his own, but then finding Curry, <sighs> which is a quick way to pile up assists. Steph with the three. And this is exactly the beginning Steve Kerr would have wanted. Curry show and go. Here he comes. The relocate in the corner, oh. nearly falling out of bounds. And Steph fortunate there. <laughs> Shot clock at seven. All the ball handling wizardry with the left hand and the foul. Just do it yourself. Oh, switched hands, drew the contact, and you can count it. He's just so creative. I said here he comes because it was the Steph Curry give and go. They didn't get that. A little hesitation. And... Vanderbilt just couldn't keep up. It, he's just too good. He's just too shifty. He's too tricky, crafty. Steph, that is a warm-up <laughs> triple. <laughs> There's no way he's missing that. That was off a down screen from I'm telling you, you know what's going in. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Shot clock at 11. Curry going to work on Culver here. Can't guard him out there. Down to five. The little show and go. That's and kick it out to Wanamaker. He'll draw a foul hey. and he'll make it home. <laughs> and one. Yeah. We just saw a picture of Steph. Marquise, how much do you enjoy setting a screen for Steph, knowing that Man. a lot of times your defender is just going to go at him, you're going to get dunks and layups? Right. And I, I said it in, in a pregame uh, interview. That's a nice shot. Uh, in my pregame interview about my injury, I was saying they have to be selfishly unselfish. You know, <laughs> yep. like set so many screens that right. you're going to get yourself open, you know. Exactly. And I think that's that's the biggest thing for our bigs is just being like, okay, I'm setting this screen this time for him, knowing next time is for me. James Wiseman and Michael Mulder oh. in. If they leave Steph in, that's what Wiseman can do off a of miss. That's a mistake, leaving Steph open, and then no one puts a body on James Wiseman, a double whammy. Out of that timeout, if you're Steve Kerr, you tell Wiseman, go get every rebound. Vanderbilt missing, and Wiseman making sure. He was aggressive to that one. Go get every rebound. Oop. Steph will collect that dangerous pass, and then reload a three. Five quick for the dubs out of the timeout. Drove it hard left. Thought he was going to keep going, stopping a dime, step back. That's a ton of separation he created. Curry's got 19. Wiseman inside, and... Denied by Ed Davis. Curry, the quickest man to the ball. Steph inside. <laughs> he tricked him. Thought he was looking to pass. 21 for Curry as the Warriors rebuild the 13-point lead. Six and a half left. Wiggins, Looney, Steph, Draymond, and Wanamaker. 
And Curry three. There That's the way to settle things down. Yeah, he had gotten cold. He's starting hot as soon as he came back in. Nas Reed just went close enough on that ball screen. They run Nas Reed off the line. And then Curry comes up with a steal. That was good awareness by Wiggins. And oh Steph. Oh my goodness. Shot it from the Ferry building. Yeah. Drops in another three. Look at him talking to the bench. That's what I do. Yo, shoot it from the hash. How far is too far? Not a problem for the greatest distance shooter ever. Just left him. Oh, Steph. Oh, oh no. Oh. <laughs> Couple fakes oh, and then no. the bucket. Look, look, he just. It's too many moves. The brilliance no. of Curry on display. No human can stay in front of that. Easily oh. spilled. Ball on the deck. And Looney. Gets it, throw ahead to Wanamaker. Smart. Shoved so by smart. Edwards. Hey, oh, if he would have just laid that up and didn't do that, didn't slow down and let the defender run into him, Edwards would have blocked that one. Curry. He will back up and oh. put him away. Curry free. He tried to put Vanderbilt in the blender. The move wasn't even that good, but the jumper is so pure, the move doesn't have to be great. That's over length. Didn't get a ton of separation, but the quick release. This man's got all kinds of tricks. He's so good, so creative. Still switching everything. Almost everything. They give Wiseman the three, and he makes him pay. Yeah, there's some indecision. Nas Reed really didn't want to get out there. There was no switch. And they'll run that for James Wiseman. A little pin down for him, and he is not afraid to show his range. Wiseman, another three? Why not? <laughs> Why not? The same thing. Nas Reed doesn't want to get out there. They keep running that same play, a pin down for him. Damian Lee for three. Oh, no. How about four? Drops in the triple with an opportunity for a four-point play. Drew Wiggins hanging and finishing. Well, Rubio is denying him, and they just threw it over the top perfectly, and then the next defender had no chance. Beasley doesn't need a shot clock. Missing there. Curry with the rebound in motion. Wiggins in the middle of the break. Wiggins with the step around. Floats it up and in. That's tough. Rubio stepped up. And Wiggins just smoothly just sidestepped him. Are we going to have a half where Steph doesn't score? I'm going to say no. Raymond, pump fake, lay it up and in. Flex on it. The whole bench is flexing. Oubre has been the hottest warrior. He finds Steph. And Curry, there's the field goal. That's got to feel good. I predicted he would score. That was it. Oh, my goodness. Steph Curry. Dropping in a three. That's that split action of Koki was late switching out. Just switching everything. He weren't on point there, though. Curry for three. Steph had the one floater field goal in the first half. He's with two threes here. We all know he can get hot in a hurry. Jamie Lee, another three. So, D. Lee the bench right on cue he's got 10 on three or four shooting McLaughlin and Steph played the good team first 20 point lead of the night Curry the whisper three getting it back three on the way yes turn around two that was dirty oh my goodness this dude is ridiculous Steph Curry look at the trickery just a little shovel pass. McDaniels takes a quick break. You should have you should have kept it on Steph because he turned around, didn't even need to watch it. He knew it was going. Doesn't matter how Steph shoots. Supreme confidence. Oh, no, Steph. That's not fair. No, it's no, not no, fair. No, 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 no. <laughs> no one can stand it. It's too many moves. He went through his legs like 15 times. Known for incredible shooting, can you just appreciate the ball handling? Come on now. Just for a second. Juke button. Push it. All the between the legs. He went through his legs 15 times, and then it's the hard step to the left and the step back. That's filthy. He also doesn't have too much fun or celebrate. Get his teammates involved. Look at Nico Mannion in the background. He gave him a boom. <laughs> He's all about the booms. Here's Curry. Around the Oubre screen, his push shot is good. And so the Warriors, kind of an ugly one against the Knicks and the Jazz. They come home and do what you would hope they would. They take care of Minnesota twice.
And they win this one, 123-111. It is a beautiful night. Phoenix, Arizona, Thursday night, ready for the second of our doubleheader. The Golden State Warriors and the Phoenix Suns, both teams playing the second of back-to-backs. That is interesting. The Phoenix uh, play good defense. They're trying to improve their offensive efficiency. This Phoenix team, remember, is Curry. Fires a three home, his first make of the game. Stephen Curry continues to be must-see television. Read the playmaker, sets up Curry, and Stephen Curry has got the good stroke going early here tonight. He's made two threes already. Curry, now second all-time, three-pointers made on the chase from Ray Allen. In the corner, Wiggins set up by Curry. Another three ball is down for the Warriors. And here comes James Wiseman. Look, he didn't even play 150 minutes of college basketball, so therefore he's missed a lot. Just think about being a rookie. A beautiful pass right there. You're telling me he doesn't have skill, but just imagine being a rookie. You don't get uh, the training camp. You don't get to really work. He wasn't in the preseason at all, and, and you're learning on the fly. I love seeing the Suns' reaction on the bench as well. You can really tell a lot about a team by watching the bench and see how guys interact. You can tell they want to play well with each other, play well with each other. It looks like Steph found a new partner on the pick and roll, buddy, because uh, he's already thrown him a couple of oops, and Wiseman has repaid him with an assist to Steph of his own. Well, three-pointer is up and in for Kent Bazemore. It's Curry and Wiggins, they have done most of the damage for Golden State. Six of 12, Curry and Wiggins. The rest of the Warriors is one for 11. Man, and Curry gets loose for another three ball, his third of the night. Coming to the end of this first quarter, shot clock is off. Curry on the move, little step back two is good. And Stephen Curry with a 13 point first quarter. All right, let's take a look at the upcoming national television schedule tomorrow. Doubleheader on ESPN, Bucks Pelicans. Then you got the Mavericks against the Jazz, the hottest team in the NBA. Saturday on ABC, it's Lakers Celtics as the Warriors score out of that timeout. Curry knocks down a three. Curry with bridges on him and gets by him. Curry all the way in for the layup. Kept his dribble and blows right by an excellent defender in Mikhail Bridges. Here's Curry again. Got another one. Curry and the 11 0 run stops right there as Curry gets to the basket. Steph Curry's been the one man scoring. 27 now for Steph. He wanted a foul there, too. At Chase Center on a Saturday night, getting ready for the Pistons and the Warriors and wrapping up a week where the Warriors have an opportunity to go three and one. Wayne Ellington in the last seven games has made four or more threes in every single game. That's only been done by seven guys in NBA history. You know who's one of them? The guy who just made that three. You see that Andrew Wiggins screen? Just wiped out DeLon Wright. And his screen's defender, Jamie Grant, was nowhere to be found for Steph. Blake Griffin's got Steph on a switch. He knocked it away. Wiggins comes up with it. Foot race in and banking it home. I love how he slowed down, slowed his body down, then a mean Euro step. But again, the defense turns the offense. They caught Blake Griffin up off guard. Steph a little backdoor cut and banked oh, it home. It's and so good. He and Draymond, that eye contact. Yeah, he's a first screener in the stagger screen. His defender was top blocking him, so I'm going the other way. Wiggins inside Ooh, again. That's Andrew strong. Wiggins has nine right now to lead the dubs. That is strong. About a three-second game shot and shot clock. Steph. Oh, that's a lot of work. Yo, what does he not have in his repertoire? What was that shot? <laughs> Look at all these cuts. Steph, back to Pascal. Oh, I'll finish on the other side yeah. of the rim. He was looking around. He realized, oh, I, I can go the other side. But that's a, a couple split actions. Good ball movement from the Warriors. Ellington's going to keep launching and still misfiring. <laughs> the Azabuki Hex is on Wayne Ellington. <laughs> calling his shot. Uh. Steph Curry for three. Yes, sir. Just to move it without the ball. The skip pass, I think, was going to Steph. And Andrew Wiggins, i.e. Derek Jeter, cut it off and got it to him. Wiseman 
Spinning again and banking it home. See how much rhythm he has off of that? It's like an easy shot for him off that spin move. But two defenders went with Steph again. Final 100 seconds. And Curry from deep. The audacity. Look at him pointing to where he pulled up from. Everybody knows I can shoot. They're going to be close to me if I get close to the three-point line. I'm just going to pull it before they think. Look, that's where I shot it from. These guys are so young. I see a locker with James. And to know he's 19 and I'm about to be 31 in a couple weeks, I just feel like a real vet. And it's fun to pick his brain about, you know, who he grew up watching and um, what he expects his rookie year. Honestly, it was real tough uh, when it first happened. I mean, it was a lot to digest, you know, especially after rehabbing for so long uh, ACL injury and playing all summer, get, being so ready for the season to come. Oh, my goodness. Steph makes this. <laughs> <laughs> You've seen it before. I've seen that a lot. So Curry oh, rails man. in three. Dwayne Casey takes time. Clay Thompson's hanging out, and not surprisingly, uh, the Warrior three-point shooting got better ha. as soon as he sat down. Direct correlation right there. <laughs> Ooh, and Steph God. hits another three. And, and that's it's crazy your, how that's easy your, Steph makes that look. Yeah, they're that's not your, they're not up on his ball screen. Do you watch league pass and see? John Wall come back after his injury and KD come back and the okay, Marcus yeah. come back. They're all playing so well. That's got to give you great optimism. You just be back to being yourself. Oh, absolutely. I mean, it's definitely another mountain to climb. But when I see these other guys who are such high level athletes get back to that same level, it really inspires me to know that there's an end point to this. And it's just about the work I have to do. Um, it kills me, obviously, to not play and to watch. I really just genuinely love the game. I love showing up every day. I love shooting. I love everything about it. I love being free in my body, but right now it's not the case, so it's just going to take some time to be the player I was. Steph down the lane to flip it up and in. That's what we 20. call a saunter. How about the difference? The first four games where Draymond didn't play, and oh, then man. when Draymond came back, how organized Gosh. the team looked as Damian Lee hits Come that on, three. Lee. That was uh, it just shows you the value of what a high basketball IQ player can do for your team. Hey. Oh. Ooh. That's what we call barbecue chicken. Nothing you can do about that right there. <laughs> they're, they're, I haven't been on the recipient end of that too many times, but I've seen it, and it's just demoralizing. I'm waiting for you to say Sfi Mihaluk right now. Sfi Mihaluk with the long loaf, and now we got Steph taking it up the court. The long loaf? Yeah, that's my <laughs> the shortbread and long loaf. Come on, Rook. That is a great... That's old school basketball right there. I know Ron Adams is proud somewhere for that with that seal. Wait a minute. Long loaf and shortbread? I'm still laughing. Wait a minute. We may have to, yeah. to get those in. I like long that. Loaf. Hi, everyone, and welcome from San Francisco, California. Beautiful Chase Center on the San Francisco Bay. The Golden State Warriors getting ready to take on the Boston Celtics. You're watching the NBA on TNT. It's presented by State Farm, and we keep this East-West theme going on TNT Tuesday night. Boston starting their five-game road trip tonight. The Golden State Warriors, eight of their 11 wins have come right here at Chase Center. Golden State starting Curry and Oubre in the backcourt with Wiggins, Green, and Looney. And the shot is down to get our scoring started. So Wiseman not available. That means we'll probably see Golden State go small often. Might see a lot of Draymond Green at the five. Oubre with an answer on the other end. Meanwhile, for Boston, Jimmy, they're without Marcus Smart. That is a huge loss for the Celtics. Oubre, oh, fires mm. one down on Daniel Tice. Kelly Oubre, hello. Tice able to break up the lob attempt. Here's Curry gets it right back, and Stephen Curry drills a three. Curry leaves it for Draymond Green. He is a player that has not shot the ball well, Jimmy, this year. Hasn't really shot it much at all this season. He's averaging under five points per game. But he's doing a lot of that, Jim. He's rebounding, and he's passing, and he's playmaking, and he always brings great defense to the party as well. As Curry fires and hits his third three, and Brad Stevens wants a timeout. Well, no James Wiseman tonight, so they'll eventually play small with Green at the five and something they're comfortable doing. And it is a much different team, though. As Curry takes the contact, scores it, and one for Stephen Curry.
Curry got a second chance and did not miss that time. Stephen Curry, Jimmy, with four made threes already and 15 first quarter points. And the Golden State Warriors right now, B.A., nine assists, ten made baskets. Now that's 11 made baskets, but when the ball is moving freely like that across the court, it's tough to guard because the ball is going to move much faster than the defense can get back to a shooter. And right now, Golden State benefiting from that. Another easy layup and drive by Stephen Curry. Curry's got 17. Boston did rip off an 8-0 run in the middle of the first, but Golden State has answered. They're up nine. Stephen Curry back on the floor. You see the differential when he's sitting and when he is on. He had a 17-point first quarter. Minus 12 with him off and go ahead and add two more to the on the floor. So they're plus 11 with Curry on the floor and now the Warriors down a point after a furious Boston comeback. Ended up on a 17-3 run. That was blocked by Green. Curry pushes it ahead and there's Wiggins in transition. Oh, Stephen is just on fire to start this game. What a first half he is putting together. That's his fifth made three-pointer. He's got 22 points, five rebounds, and four assists already. Tatum with 17 points now, six rebounds. And nice steal there by Curry. Jump the lane. Curry with his head up, looking to make a play. Toscano Anderson with a three ball. Set up by Curry. Eight-point game. Here's Brown. Got it deep. Can't finish it. Curry with a rebound. In the corner. Bazemore. Oh, he's got another one. His second made three in this third quarter. Great hustle that time by Draymond Green. Curry. No luck. Toscano Anderson. Oh, get the friendly bounce. Looking for the foul. Gets it. Toscano Anderson. They lead back to Fort Curry. Quick release. <laughs> and it's cash. <laughs> Stephen Curry with his six made three, Jimmy. He's got 27 tonight. One of Steve Kerr's biggest concerns was rebounding. It has been throughout the year. As Curry fires another one, and another one splashes down for Stephen. 30 tonight for Curry. All right, way to fight, way to hang in. We'll get a bucket here and get a little momentum offensively. The ball's moving well. You guys are playing fine. We just got to get, uh, get a couple hoops and, and a stop and get some momentum, okay? Inside tracks with Warriors head coach Steve Kerr. See Curry scores the layup out of the timeout. Boston can't answer, but another offensive rebound. Make it two. Grant Williams with the finish. Here's Oubre inside. He was going for the dunk. Williams there to deny him, though, and went to the left hand. Oubre gets a lot of defenders. And Walker answers with a three. How about that? The defense on one end, Jim, and then Boston turns it into a three-pointer. Let's see if this, I'm about to say two for two, but another offensive rebound and a five. Wow. Draymond Green fouls him. Brown takes the contact and scores. And all of a sudden, the life just sucked right out of the Warriors here in this little window, Jimmy. And a steal to Scott Anderson. Curry's got it. Kimba Walker's on him. Numbers as Boston gets back. Now Wiggins finds Oubre. Excellent defense by Brown. What a play by Jalen Brown. Wants it on the other end. Oh, and Brown doing some damage. Oh, cock it back and throw it down, Brown. Kimba Walker. No, and Green taps it to Curry. Warriors have missed six of their last seven during this one. Curry, oh my goodness! What a finish by Stephen Curry! Somehow, and one for Curry. Brilliant. Skip pass to Grant Williams. He's hit a couple of threes the second half. Now lost the handle. Stephen Curry forces a turnover. Seven-point game. Curry draws the foul. He'll get three free throws as he got Williams in the air. The partner got to back, knocks all three down. Late clock here. Tice gets it. Oh, and a foul. Bazemore prior to the shot clock expiring. Kill a walker. Hot pass finds Brown. And there's Green with a rebound. Long pass up ahead. Running the floor. Wiggins. And he scores the layup. Warriors strike quickly in transition. 
be a foul on Golden State. No fouls to give for the Warriors. Tatum's got eight points here in this fourth quarter. 49 seconds left. The Warriors down five. Curry 4-3. No good. Out of bounds. Boston ball. It's still a two-possession game here. Big, can you get the stop you want? You really want to play defense. Force balls into an uncomfortable shot. You don't want to foul. I guess you, guess you do. <laughs> to stretch well, out Grant the game Williams. a little bit. Makes it a three possession game as Grant Williams. Now he's four for four from the line. Curry got to go quick. Finds a man open in the corner to Scott Anderson. And he hits a three. And the Warriors still with a little bit of life. And Grant Williams is fouled. Warriors do have a timeout. Missed them both. Green with a board. Golden State's got to go fast. Down four. Curry almost dribbled it out of bounds. Curry misses. Lee keeps it alive. The clock's going to run out, though, on Golden State, and that's it. And the Boston Celtics, who had dropped five of their last seven games, come up with a gutsy victory tonight on the road. Celtics went at 111 107 game night in the Big D tonight American Airlines Center downtown Dallas, Texas first of a two game series between the Mavericks and the Golden State Warriors and you're watching the NBA on TNT it is presented by State Farm Brian Anderson with Chris Webber and Chris always a pleasure to see two of the biggest stars in the NBA, Stephen Curry and Luka Doncic, their first meeting of the year. Both of these coaches are hoping that their teams can rebound. These are two of the worst rebounding teams in the league, and, and, and frankly, defensively as well, even though Golden State has been good as of late. But when you've got that step back rainbow, smile, turn around before the ball goes in shot of Curry, it's really hard to beat them consistently. Um, I'm interested to watch Porzingis tonight. He's been asking for more playing time. He's He's asked Rick Carlisle to play the entirety of the first quarter, wants his minutes to elevate as he comes back from injury. Feels like that's how he's going to get his rhythm. In transition, oh, Draymond Green powers one down. Doncic fouls him, and a chance at a three-point play for the Warriors. This is why you want Draymond to be a threat. Every player is a threat going to the cup. The more he goes to the cup, the more the defense will honor him, the more he'll find passing lanes. Speaking of passing Ooh. lanes, left hand behind the shoulder. Pass from Kerr. I tell you what, he is so fun to play with because you're going to get wide open shots because he's on the floor. And more importantly, just keep your hands ready, young fella. He'll find you. Curry finds Oubre. The southpaw fires and hits. And a good sign for Kelly Oubre. Toscano Anderson guarded by Porzingis. Yeah, Chris, you've had a... Skipping your step all year long because we're talking about potentially MVP candidates. Come on. From the center position as Curry scores the layup. There's James Wiseman, the terrific teenager, second pick overall. And then Steve Kerr finds out before the game today that Eric Pascal has right knee soreness, went for an MRI, and was unable to go today as Curry sticks the three pointer and puts the Warriors back up seven. There's Curry. And he's able to stick the three-pointers. So Stephen Curry now, Chris, with three made threes. He's got 14 here in this first quarter. Stephen Curry back on the floor. Oubre, nice finish. Good catch. It was almost knocked away, but Oubre there to secure it and score it. Beautiful oh. play right there. Speaking of vision, <laughs> Steph made sure he gave him the goggles or the binoculars, whatever you want to call it, after saying, good look, how did you find me on that play? Jamon to Toscano Anderson gets it back. They're looking for Curry and just a sliver of space, and Curry's See? able to knock down a three. He yeah, ain't laughing on one end, and he hits you in the head with a three on the other end for his seventh assist. The average played last night in Atlanta. They won, snapped a six-game losing streak. Dallas on oh, a seven-game homestand as Curry just too easy inside. Oh, man, this is just beautiful basketball. Well, Dallas, they've made 18 threes. Their season high this year is 20. They came on January 9th, so they're on pace for a new Mark Curry. Too easy. Got by Finney Smith, scores a layup. Beautiful pass right there behind the back with the left hand. Luca. Saying, yeah, I like where you are, Pazingas. Use that seven foot four body to shoot it in the paint. Ubre hits another one, adding to his season high. Kevon Looney rolled his ankle Tuesday, so it's been a rough 
48 hours for the Warriors and yet the positive attitude of Steve, Steve Kerr before the game today saying look we got nine guys everybody's going to get minutes let's roll with it play some small ball and have some fun and they are having some fun tonight up seven they're shooting over 50 percent and only 10 bench points so they're doing it by committee and the starters making sure they finish strong like Draymond right there with the dunk. And that's as good as it gets. Come on, man. Come on, Ooh, nice man. Nice finish by Curry. It's the Golden State Warriors and the Dallas Mavericks. From Dallas, Texas. Welcome to NBA Saturday Primetime on ABC presented by AT&T 5G. Still no crowds, but that's going to change Monday, believe it or not. They'll start allowing limited fans into this building. As Steph Curry got some early layups in to warm himself up for tonight's action. Makes it look so easy, as he's done most of this season. Warriors come in with a record of 12 and 10 on this season. Curry has been just superb, averaging 28 points per game coming back from last year's injury. Let's take a look at our starting lineups. And they are delivered by Taco Bell. Andrew Wiggins and Kelly Oubre along with Curry. Juan Toscano Anderson, one of the great stories in the NBA. The undrafted player is playing some excellent basketball this week. And Draymond Green coming off his best game of the season on Thursday night in that Golden State victory right here in this very same building. Meanwhile, Doncic again, terrific numbers. Porzingis numbers are solid. But they need everybody to play better right now for Dallas. One and seven in their last games. They've lost six straight at home and are nine and 14 on the season. This is the second game of four straight in Texas. They'll play two against San Antonio Monday and Tuesday night. After the two here in Dallas, Curry trying to draw the foul, count it, and one. And Curry with a chance for a four point play. Curry goes back door. Nice fake and an easy layup for Steph Curry. No Eric Pasco once again for Golden State. So they're pretty much nine as Mulder knocks down the three pointer. That's a three. Steph Curry with his second three pointer. Just past the midway point here in the second. Curry comes off the screen. Knocks down the three. There's that screen assist that Draymond Green talked about. Curry, three pointer. That's good. Steph Curry with another. That's his fourth three pointer. Nice fake and an easy layup for Steph Curry. The lead is seven. Curry, three-pointer. Got it. Steph Curry once again. He's got 22 here in the first half. We still have three minutes to play. Dallas's lead back to nine. They led by as many as 16. It was 18 to two to start the game as Curry gets a feed from Draymond Green. Damian Lee back out green. Cross-court Curry, another three-pointer. Trying to draw a foul. He knocks it down. Curry puts it in. Steph Curry from downtown. His seventh three-pointer of the half. Curry, a three. That's eight already. He's got eight threes. Curry comes off a screen, splits the defense. Oubre tries again. Oubre hits again. Threes all over the place here to start the third quarter. Curry off the bounce layup. That's good. 38 now for Curry. Curry way downtown. Bang! Steph Curry from just inside half court. Green back to Curry. Fakes a two-pointer, a rare two-pointer. That's good. He's got 43. A five-point Dallas lead. They've led the entire game. Curry, another three. Puts it in. 46 for Steph Curry. And that's his 10th three-pointer. Hardaway, hard drive. There was a lot of contact. As Curry comes the other way, throws it ahead. Wiggins connects on a three-pointer, and that's the first lead for the Golden State Warriors. Curry splits the defense. Nice feed inside, and Bazemar with the lay-in. Back up to Curry, fakes the three. Couple of dribbles. It's inside the arc. Wiggins wide open for three. That's good. And it's back to five. Curry dancing. Drives, gets inside, scoop layup is good. 48 for Curry. And a whistle and a foul. Curry fakes. 
Trying to get that three-pointer off. Drives, gets inside, layup, banks at home. 51 for Curry. And the Mavericks call timeout. It's a four-point game. Eighth time in his career, he's hit the 50-point mark. Wiggins right on top of Doncic. Doncic gets in the paint, floats it into Porzingis. Knocked out of his hand, saved to Kleba. Kleba back out, Doncic, three-pointer. Bang! Luka Doncic from downtown. And the lead is seven with 43 seconds remaining. Curry fakes the three. Fires up another three. Bang! Curry with an answer. And it's a four-point game, 38.1 remaining. And the movement of Curry. They were thinking about trapping him, but they force a switch and... You just got to force him to get rid of the basketball in that situation. And since 11 three pointer just too great of a shooter and a scorer. Wiggins putting some pressure on Richardson the double team and they call a foul. Warriors don't like it. They thought they had a good double team there. There's more made a clean play on the basketball and at the time of the whistle Golden State had possession of the basketball. 33.5 on the game clock and Golden State ball. Warriors will try and score quickly so they don't have to foul on the final possession. Curry on the drive, gets inside, reverse, banks at home, and the foul! Curry's fouled by Kleba, and a chance to cut it to one. He's got 56. Curry hits that. Finney Smith will bring it up. Curry putting pressure on, so clearly they're not going to foul. Nine on the 24, into the hands of Doncic. Five to shoot. Doncic to Kleba. Kleba three-pointer, puts it in! Maxi Kleba makes it a four-point game. What a clutch three! Curry, couple of dribbles, goes inside, flips it up. Shot in and out, won't go. Damian Lee follows it in with seven-tenths of a second remaining. It's a two-point game, they throw it the length. Mulder deflects it, and that'll do it. What an entertaining game here tonight in Dallas as Luka Doncic shows his basketball brilliance with 42 points, 11 assists, and outduels a 57-point performance from Stephen Curry. Stars at night are big and bright. Deep in the heart of Texas, the Warriors spending a week in Texas in two cities, Dallas, and now two against the Spurs here. In San Antonio, in a building that's been a house of horrors for the Warriors in recent vintage. But when you say the stars at night, that's the <laughs> ultimate star right now. Steph Curry is absolutely rolling at this juncture of the season. Derek White missing that three. The long rebound to Steph. That's gang rebounding. Now, Oubre at seven early, make it ten, <laughs> as he's already hit three threes. Right, that's how you feel, Kelly Oubre? He ran straight to that corner three-point line. Knocked it down in transition. Well, the teams that had success against Steph, and I, I don't even like to speak it out loud, it is when the Toronto and Indiana, where they just maul him. He understands what teams are going to try to do against him, be physical. Look at the movement without the ball. Pops out for another <laughs> three. <laughs> Yo, splash works. Jonte Murray. And he starts to hit that. As long and lanky as he is finishing, that, that's illegal. And the speed. If you have a mid-range jumper and you're consistent there, oh my goodness, Steph, video game. Curry flipping it up and in. Stop. Weird angle, but perfect spin. No, he is a walking cheat code, this man. He's got 10. Oubre's got 12. And Steph with the rebound in motion. The tempo is good. Bazemore coming off the big game in Dallas. And how about Bazemore, his first bucket of the night? Bazemore comes in the game attack mode, unafraid. Shot clock is off. Step down to two. Stop. He backs all the way up. Oh, no! Yo. Oh, that is almost unfair. The game has been broken. This man is a walking cheat code. Just appreciate the brilliance of Steph Curry. Rudy Gay has him guarded. He just backs up beyond the hash mark. He's just got a heat seeker. And he's making moves to get separation behind the hat. Look how he's just extended defense. And then this is the versatility. He can shimmy in different ways now. Well, Last game we that, saw the shoulder shimmy. Now he's got the jump shimmy. I think that was like at the Spurs, the jingle, jangle, jingle. Curry floater. Oh, man. <laughs> the entertainment value of Steph's 15 points has been off the charts. Uh, he just teardropped Pirtle. Steph left Murray for a second. And then bottoms a three. 
I mean, where is he just hitting from every angle tonight? Good closeout, and that's how you force miss threes. And now, Bazemore running it back, and Kent's going to make that layup. That's good. Good closeout, keep on running, and yeah. then get the kind bounce. Yeah, right after the good closeout, he just released, and they're finding him. Curry kind of weaving through traffic. Oh, what a luck to Oubre. Steph Curry with the wizardry and the vision. This was a really high ball screen from Draymond, and Steph was able to get downhill because Draymond got separation before the screen. Steph, another tough step back. <laughs> Greg Popovich is like, you see that? I was kidding me. He was waving him back. Like, get, get closer to him. No, it's such a good move, Pop. He couldn't. Steph Curry, step around. That's the fitness, physicality of Stephen Curry. Inside three minutes, DeMar DeRozan. On the kick out, Murray three on the way, and he got it. Five-point swing. Steph down the lane, flipping. Oh, no. Wow. <laughs> the youngest official is calling all the fouls right now. After reviewing the play, the coach's challenge is successful. A blocking foul has been called. Curry with 24, Oubre with 24. You can't ice Steph from the line. Yeah. Greg Papa, Chris Mullen, Darrell Wright getting ready for Warrior Post Game Live. We're going to be talking about turnovers, hopefully not in a fatal way. Rudy Gay missing that three, but oh. was fouled on the closeout. They called it late. All that attention on Curry. Dribbles through two defenders. And then Steph, he's going to get to the line himself. And this could be three free throws. He's excited about it, too. Cycling in the corner, corner three, misfiring. Draymond was there to close out on Murray. Again, you don't need a three, but you could go two for one to finish off the game. Steph trying to think about a three. He'll get in the lane, put it up and in. <laughs> you see him flexing on him? That is an appropriate flex. We talked about his ability to finish. I love that he passed up the three ball too because he was throwing all kinds of video game dribble moves at him. White kick out to Murray. Slipping with two at one. He's got a launch and made it. Oh. Beat the shot clock buzzer and hit a three to make it a four-point game. I don't know if you take the quick two, but to me, I'd take a three. There and it is. Steph's thinking the same thing and Ooh. got it. There's the three by Curry. You foul right away. Root DeMar DeRozan is a great free thrower. He is. But still, even if he makes them both, you're only down three. And DeRozan knocks them both in. Damian Lee to inbound. Still looking for Steph. Now Draymond's got it. What did he do that for? And Draymond shot a three with no. five seconds left. Why? You got time. He thought he thought they were probably going to foul him right away. Uh, good play by Derek White. Draymond shot that because he saw White's hand extended. He thought he was yeah. going to be fouled shooting a three. Essentially, they tried to set a screen for Steph, but it didn't really work out. So there are no five-point plays in the NBA. And Draymond misfires there. So the Warriors, they, they, they waste a very good shooting night. They waste a very good defensive night. They waste a great Oubre Curry night. And the turnovers will be the reason they lost the game. And that will be the adjustment for tomorrow night. Nothing like playing the Spurs twice in a 24-hour period. The AT&T Center. I, I thought Halloween was in October. This is the haunted house for the Warriors. Last night was no exception with San Antonio winning a heartbreaker. And for the Dubs, I mean, this is the type of game where if you can go two and two on the road trip, that, that means just about everything. I tell you, Kelvin Johnson cannot make a shot against the Warriors. And Kelly Oubre Jr. did a great job of seeing man and ball on the weak side. Steph Curry down the lane. Took a little contact, and Steph will get to the line. You see how he didn't shy away from it, though? He didn't jump away from the contact, jump straight into that defender, whoever's contesting that layup. Barely in Curry's hands, and already the three is down. It's such a quick release. He's just working off of the screens. And Steph just close quarter pass to Draymond. <laughs> yeah, talking about interior passing. Curry attacking and floating it home. Yeah, he knew he had the angle. His defender went under that screen. And instead of stopping short, he knew his defender couldn't get back in front of him to cut off the drive. Oh, oh! Make that. He changed his mind. How did he make that? He 
changed his mind in midair. He was going to pass that out. He is not human. Look at him. He's like, he surprised himself. You know you're doing something. If you're Stefan, you're surprised. Look, I'm going to pass it out. Wait a minute. Let me just flip this up. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> he draws the foul here. So he heard the whistle. Oh. 180 and then flipped it in. Who, who does that? He's not from here. He's different. <laughs> That's, that should count for more than two points. Rudy Gay. And you got to come back for that rebound. That, that's, that should not happen. And the game does not pay off the Spurs because Lonnie Walker missed the, the corner three. And Curry, he, he, it's just a layup virtuoso oh, first quarter. He's like a walking video game. The handle, the creativity, he just lets his mind go. Apparently he doesn't have a good perimeter game, so he's just going inside a lot. <laughs> Steph down the lane. He keeps going. He keeps going to the rim. He's trying to set the tone for his team. Everybody do what I'm doing. Let's all go to the rim. And Curry, <laughs> you called it two minutes ago. He's going right back to the rim again. Rudy Gay got crossed into oblivion. And Steph off iron, but he was fouled shooting that three. Now, if you're San Antonio, you're saying, hey, we held Curry to only one made three, but he's still got 16 points because of all the drives. All around the score. Now he's knocking down while well, he's shooting a three ball after a step back. DeJounte Murray in recovery mode. Keep playing the defense and execute better offensively. Curry three. It's so Perfectly smart. done. Yeah, Juan Toscano set that last screen for Steph, and they knew Hurdle wasn't going to come out there because he wasn't anywhere close to Juan Toscano setting the screen. Well, Curry has Pirtle. He'll go right around him and never bring it down and lay it in. Well, he quick shot at him. Damian Lee did the same thing to him earlier in the first half. The man of a thousand layups. That's been a nickname applied to Jim Barnett before. And you know this is a DeRozan initiated play coming out of the break. And then it ends up being a turnover. Juan Toscano and Wiggins combining on the steal. Curry didn't want the initial trail three reload triple. Yes, sir. Hurdle is getting worked. <laughs> Steph saw him closing out. His eyes lit up. This is a Curry bail us out here at two. Steph with the three. Oh, he beats the buzzer and drops in another triple and 30 for 30. He just lost his defender. A monster step back. Lonnie Walker from deep. And Draymond with the rebound. Hey, you want to do everything you can to maintain this lead. Oh, and Steph, hesitation, and all the way to the rim again. No one can stop this man. He's shaking his head. That's what I love to see. Talking crazy to him. Just a, It's demoralizing. It's a special third quarter right now for the Warriors on both ends of the court. Don't sleep on the Pistons. They took the Lakers to double overtime last week over the weekend, and then yeah. tonight they beat the Nets. They beat right? the Nets, yeah. 122 to 111. Yeah. Uh, and the Hawks can really score. Right. They can shoot the ball. And they will split this miniseries with the Golden State Warriors. 114-91 will be the final as the Warriors 17 threes, 43% from deep. Curry leading the way with 32, while the Spurs at five in double figures. After a week on the road, the Warriors happy to be back at Chase Center, first of four at home. And a Magic team that has been beset by injuries, but Kalena, you hit it at the top of the telecast. A win tonight counts the same as a Laker win or a Clipper win, that in the Western Conference, you can't afford to slip up, particularly mentally, or not respect the opposition. But Raymond takes the big man, they double team and step. He may have jammed a finger there. You see him on his shooting hand trying to work that out. They started six and two. Yeah, it's just it's tough to judge them as a franchise in the direction they're going with all those injuries. Oh, Steph Curry with the three. I think that finger is fine. It felt better when the three went in. <laughs> this game takes on a very interesting characteristic. Now, Lucevic missed that, but at 41%, there's only four seven-footers that have ever been 40% three-point shooters. And Andrew Wiggins, he's off to a nice beginning. Three of three. And the Warriors, eight-point advantage. And Steph hits another three. And Vucevic, the problem for them defensively is Vucevic doesn't want to get out to the three-point line. So he's guarding Draymond Green. Set a screen for Steph. You got an opening if you're Steph. Super quick release. He wakes up on fire. Older for three. That's perfectly done. 
two defenders went with Steph off that down screen. Steph is unselfish, and he gets off of it so fast, on time, in the shooting pocket. Aiken missing there, Steph the rebound in motion. He said, Draymond and four guards here. He backs up Birch. Oh, three. Holding a three. Look at him posing afterwards. As he should, just a long range sniper. Birch thought he was close enough. Nah, oh, bro. Oh, well, Curry, another step back. Oh, step with a three. His handle is so good, but he lost that one, and it didn't matter. He's like, my jumper is so pure, I'm shooting it anyway. And it's trying to stay with Curry, and oh, Steph yeah. dropping in the three. Goodness. That's a side step. Ennis is right there, but because he's a right-hand shooter, Steph had just enough space to get that one off. Take it inside, and Ubre with the rebound. Draymond moved his feet. And they're holding Orlando to 40% shooting. Defense has been fine. Just keep getting it to that guy. Oh, Curry now has six threes in the half. He's not normal. He stopped in no man's land before the man switched on to him. He doesn't need much space at all. A step right down the lane, and that's his first two attempted of the night. They're trying to expose Vucevic right now. Alder didn't catch it cleanly. And they fumbled a couple passes. They really have yeah, had layups. Steph Curry from the corner. There you go. You see Andrew Wiggins set the screen for him. Steph like that one. Just a movement without the ball. So frustrating to guard him. Ennis got run into his own man. And then Baysmore right off the bench and right into the bucket. That's vision from Steph. He's making all those moves, but he's got his head up. He sees Okiki cheating way off of his teammate Baysmore. He's like, you can't do that to my guy. Steph's getting bounced around in the lane and put it up in the air. Got him. <laughs> ball fake. And bamboozled Vucevic. We get a bamboozled. I think it was a third. That was appropriate there. I, I was waiting for one of those. Raymond down the lane to lay it in and draw the foul. Yeah, he knew as soon as he got it, he had the angle to the basket. No one was able to cut him off because Vucevic took a step towards Steph. Just seeing the hunger here with Orlando. And they need a win. They want one so badly. Helps team morale. That's a credit to Steve Clifford, a credit to these Magic players. And a credit to Curry as he gets to the rim. He's unfazed. He got blocked one time. He's going again. He doesn't care. He's got 27. Curry. Finding Baysmore. They want Steph on the relocate. Mulder set the screen. Look at that by Orlando. Clark came out nicely. Now the step back three is good. He's like, okay, good job switching out. You're here. But watch this. We've said it a lot lately. 30 for 30. Curry. Such a savage. <laughs> Clark is looking around like, what am I supposed to do? Vucevic has Oubre. Steph came to help and knocked it away. Vision on the ball. Here's Wiggins again. The skip pass to Curry. Three on the way. Yes, sir. You see how excited Watsuskana was? Anderson, he didn't settle. That's unselfish. It's Curry, three. He got it. Your Ennis, you take a quick break when Steph releases the ball. Ten or more three, 17 times for Steph. That's the most. Curry with a steal. He's been so alert from the weak side, Steph has. The Draymond Express. Oubre will pay it off. He caught that one back. Draymond Green leading the break. He just makes beautiful music. His vision, his decision making. Warriors have all the momentum. Steph loves it. Hey, defense creates offense. Oubre's got bounce. Warriors are feeling good right now. Up nine. Chase Center, home of the Golden State Warriors, who tonight will welcome back an old friend as Kevin Durant and the Brooklyn Nets start a five-game West Coast trip, and it kicks off against his former team and his former championship teammate, Steph Curry who has been playing on just an incredible level, as hot as anybody in the league right now. As Curry unloads a three. As is Jeff Green, Durant pulls up three-pointer. Too strong. Oubre corrals it with one hand. Draymond Green's been on a terrific roll with assists, and there's another one. Green goes inside, reverse, and able to back it home. Curry gets inside. Green to Curry, Curry off the glass. Curry 
Cutting off the ball. Lamp is good on a beautiful bounce pass from Rubra. Viscano Anderson gets inside on a nice feed from Curry. Largest lead of the game right now. Curry cuts. Lamp is good. Oubre now with 11 points, 10 rebounds, his third straight double double. That's a nice feed from Curry. Oubre kept going. Curry floats it up and in. 20 points for Curry. Oh, Curry with a gorgeous move, tumbles down again using the left hand off the glass. You know, Kyrie Irving has had some beautiful moves around the basket tonight, and he certainly has the respect of his peers and then some when it comes to finishing around the hoop. Considered the best in the game today by pretty much everyone I have talked to. But what about all time? His godfather, Rod Strickland, who as an NBA player himself, certainly known for doing a thing or two around the hoop, said on a recent podcast he thinks Kyrie is the most skilled player in the history of the NBA. Mike, I don't know what the guys next to you think about that, but his godfather's proud of him. Well, that's, that's saying a lot. He He's just, I mean, look at that right on cue, Rachel. Just spectacular. Guys? Well, there's no argument about his skill. There's no argument about his ability to finish at the rim as Ubre finishes at the rim. I'm not going to co-sign. He's the most skilled player in the history of the game. He's a great player. You know who's a great player, too? Rod Strickland. Uh, I was going to say, I was so fortunate. Jack played with him. I got to coach him. You know how much I hate, hate it coming to practice every day, having to face that guy? Damian Lee, three-pointer. And a rare three-pointer goes in. Again, they missed their last 11. Curry for three. Got it. As Damian Lee hoists one up, that won't go, and now the Nets can dribble it out. A dominant performance. They shoot 54% from the field. Six players in double figures. As Irving has 23, Durant 20, Harden 19 points and 16 assists. As Kevin Durant on his first game at the Chase Center hugs his former coach and so many people that he spent a lot of time with here in his three years, three finals appearances, two NBA championships. Uh, Steph Curry, 27 points, but just two of nine from three. And Brooklyn not only with another offensive performance that can scare opponents, but defensively did some good things for the second straight game. Uh, Kyrie Irving went on a show there late. Smiles and laughs here at the Chase Center. A little Monday night basketball, if you will. The third game of the Warrior homestand at Chase Center as they take on the Cleveland Cavaliers. Cleveland has never been here because of the COVID shortened season. They did not come and play at Chase a year ago. True. And for the Cavs, this finishes off a five-game, eight-day road trip. And there's Steph cutting back door inside out. I heard a very attractive young man say that at the top of the delegates. It's got to be your mentality from the jump every single game, just default. As Steph Curry lasers in the three. You get that handoff. Jared Allen doesn't want to come all the way out there. Steph through the defense, flipping it up and in. Oh, the brilliance of Curry. The Osmond made one three and now two. Yeah, he can shoot that off the dribble. 25-year-old out of Macedonia, originally drafted by Minnesota in 2015. Well, they don't shoot a ton of threes, but he's one of the guys who's 34% of the oh, as, Jer as Steph Curry gets to the basket. He's holding his knee. Steph kind of checking the wheel here, and he may have to come out of this game. Oh, please. No. Raymond on the return feed from Steph. We saw our friend JaVale McGee posting up on the other end. And between Jared Allen and JaVale McGee, a significant size for Cleveland tonight. Steph for the step back three. So Curry's got 13 here. Eddie Osmond hit a couple threes early, but Mulder played him well there. Five minutes 17 of this first quarter. Curry! And uh, the heat check is in full effect right now. Yeah, he's on one right now. Dodson thought he was close enough. 
But that is just filthy. Step. The pullback, the hesitation, the wing jumper. <laughs> that's so <laughs> that, that, should, that's so that should count for more than two points. Somebody help this man. <laughs> Too many moves for Osmond to guard there. Draymond gapping Sexton, dared him to shoot the jumper. Drive, and Draymond says no. Draymond Green, you're not going to make a living driving against him as a guard. Watson Scott Anderson boxed out Jared Allen by himself. Oubre, three. Defense turns to offense. You get a bad miss, it turns into a fast break opportunity almost. Get out in transition. Sexton got a face guard and step, and Draymond sends that and oh, sets the screen. I love that so much. Wait, he waited for Draymond that and step though. on the same page. Draymond handed off and then set the screen on the other side to where the help was not going to be. Steph went to his right. Jared Allen was going to be on that side. So he went to the other side, let Steph come off to his left. And Jared Allen is not going to be anywhere to be found. That's why Steph is laughing. He's like, oh, we just outsmarted him like crazy there. <laughs> Sexton Evan knocked away. Oubre with the quick hands. And running the floor, JTA. The pass led him a little too far. Bays Warren Staff, another three. Oh, got it. Perry's got 24 and a half. Five of seven on three. That's the problem with Gary Steph. He does not stop moving. You can't take any breaks. Well, that fake handoff and Draymond down the lane. That fake handoff, especially if Steph is coming off. Hey, now, come on, we had this happen in the Brooklyn game. Off a layup. Off a, off you a can't give up another layup. That's the thing. You, you sit there and celebrate for a split second. They run it back. And Wiggins hits the three. Out of all the good things the Warriors have done, on a made basket, Draymond's going up for a layup. That means the other four Warriors have to be back defensively. Draymond sets the screen. <laughs> Steph gets it. So good. <laughs> Sexton is like, it's unfair guarding this guy because this passer and screeners were unbelievable. What makes that tough is he sets a screen first, so you feel like you have to help, and that sets you up for him to come off the screen, and he's just got plenty of space coming off. That's execution. How did Steph catch that? How did he even catch it? And then lay it in. But the, the spin on the layup was even more impressive with the left hand. You see him? He's talking about it. Yeah, I did it like that. The English. Raymond, another screen. Oh, Steph still able to finish with the big man lurking. Look at his teammates flexing in the ball fake. Curry's got 31, but it's on 12 of 16 shooting. And Steph Curry, another three. He is relentless, just moving without the ball. Stevens, stolen by Greg Bond. Push ahead, Curry, running with friends, trailing JTA. Mulder, corner three. Got it! has to go in. I saw Coach Kerr on the bench fist pump at that. And that was Draymond Green again defensively. The plays he makes defensively are just unreal. Steph fighting there for the rebound. And Osmond touched it last. How about Curry on the offensive glass? So he's trying to give him a taste of their own medicine. He's pumped up. Don't underestimate the baby face assassin. Mulder three. So they're so unselfish. They're setting screens for each other. That was a Juan Toscano screen. Curry, high floater. And Steph is fine. Curry. This is the most efficient night for Steph all year. When you think of 13 of 18, 7 of 11, 3 of 3. Makes it look easy. 36 points in 28 minutes. Welcome, everyone, to NBA Wednesday presented by State Farm. Tonight, the reigning Eastern Conference champs taking on Steph Curry and the Warriors. Curry is must-see TV right now this year. And Jimmy Butler, the guy that single-handedly carried the heat to the conference finals last season, fresh off of a triple-double. As we take a look at the starting lineups for the Golden State Warriors, interesting to note that Draymond Green is a late scratch. Michael Mulder getting the start in his place. For the Heat, Non Robinson, Butler, Olinick, and Bam Adebayo for the Miami Heat. Adebayo finds Kendrick Nunn. Nunn working the baseline to Olinick inside. Put his shoulder into the defender, Mulder, and scores the bucket. Just look at the size difference. One team is starting two centers in Olenek and Adebayo, and, and the Warriors are starting basically all perimeter guys. And one of those perimeter guys, Andrew Wiggins, Mark has been shooting the ball extremely well. And Kendrick Nunn, an interesting story up court for the Miami Heat, a former member of the 
Warriors organization. Play for the Santa Cruz Warriors and scores the bucket there against his former organization. Good job being aggressive, turning the corner off that pick and roll action, forcing the defense to help. It don't help, it makes him pay the price. And Curry knocks down his first three ball. His numbers, he's averaging 25 a game, shooting 57% from the field, 51 from downtown. Steph Curry in a crowd, knocks down the jumper, laces it. Curry with a second field goal, he has five. Andrew Wiggins into the paint, kicks it out. Backdoor cut by Steph inside with a scoop. His third field goal of the game, he's got seven. Curry off glass. Curry nine points. Playing like his two, first of his two-time MVP seasons. Back in 2015. Interesting matchup here with Adebayo. Bam, moving his feet. Curry put him in the blender and draws the foul. Scano Anderson, Steph Curry, Oubre, Mulder, who also started, and Wiggins. Side pocket three is pure. Got it. Butler into the paint. Kicks it out to Olenek. He left it way short. Quickly into the corner, Oubre catch and shoot. Bingo! And it's down to an eight-point lead. They get a steal, Mark, and back comes Golden State three on two. Steph runs to the three-point line. Got it! Time out, Miami! And in a blink, the lead disintegrating to a tenuous five points. Dr. Harry Edwards has been a civil rights activist and a sports sociologist since the 1960s. He organized the Olympic Project for Human Rights, which inspired the Black Power Salute protest at the 1968 Olympic Games. He continues his athlete activism today, consulting with the San Francisco 49ers, as well as the Golden State Warriors. And you won't hear a more compelling and riveting speaker than Dr. Harry Edwards. I uh, truly was honored to get a chance to meet him when I was coaching the Golden State Warriors with Bob from Curry to Anderson with the finish for a spectacular human being that touched and blessed so many. And uh, salute to him. You, you're 100% correct. Inspiring just to sit in here and talk. Kendrick Nunn. Misfiring on that three. He's got five of them though tonight. Curry. Wide open, Bazemore had all day to knock it home. The lead is down to eight. The Warriors hanging around in the absence of Draymond Green. Nice pass inside by Nunn to Precious Achua. I like the way Nunn turned down the jump shot, got a better look. And the, 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 he's doing a very good job of making Steph Curry see two bodies at the three-point line. They surrender that type of shot by Oubre because of the pressure they put on Curry to get rid of the basket. 11 point lead for Miami with a little under six minutes to go. Still plenty of time for the Warriors when you consider the combustibility of Steph Curry, but they double team him off the screen. Oubre inside off glass and good. And Eric Spolster wants to stop what's happening right now, calls a timeout with the lead down to single digits. Out of the timeout, Butler with the free throw line jumper a little bit strong. And a chance to cut the lead to seven. Here's Curry. Swings it around to Pascal. Wiggins with a nice cut and slam over Nunn. And it's a seven-point game. Plenty of time to go. Kendrick Nunn already with five threes tonight. Over to Hero. A long two is short. Whistle. The indication is Miami basketball with 1.7 to go on the shot clock. Butler rising up, short, and they get the stop. Up quickly to Steph Curry. Pascal inside, counted and won. Hero with the side step three, and rebounded by Pascal. Warriors very much alive. Pascal all the way to the bucket, counted. 
Timeout Miami. Three-point ball time game. Out. Miami with an 11 to nothing run. Pardon me, Golden State with an 11 nothing run, and Butler ends it there. And Jimmy Butler now with his third triple-double in the last four games as Oubre finishes near the rim. Bam, playing off the elbow, into the lane, and gets it to go with his left hand. Curry probing underneath. Working against Kendrick Nunn. Tough three on the way, that's what he does. Steph Curry makes it 103 to 101 with 2.20 to go. Kendrick Nunn, this is outstanding defense. Stays connected, contests without fouling. Sometimes you've got to tip your hat to greatness. And a steal on defense by Curry on Butler. Steph in his bag, couldn't finish. Rebounded by Hero. Wiggins on Hero. Man being defended by Steph in the paint. It's a good pass. Yeah, they found the mismatch, Mark. Great point. Curry back to Bazemore, drives quickly with it, and finishes with the left. And it's back to a two-point game. Pascal trying to guard Adebayo. Adebayo misfiring, and the Warriors with the stop have a chance to tie the game or take the lead on a three. You have to stay connected to Steph Curry. Here's where he hurts you at that three-point line. None switches on to him. They trap him. Bazemore drives it in over none, and we are tied at 105. How good has Kent Bazemore been? Timely basket, timely plays. Butler. Fade away. Short. Pascal with the board. And Curry going to walk it up court. No double team yet. And now they switch and try and take it out of his hands with the double. One extra pass. Oubre for the lead. And it rims out. Five seconds to go. Up court. Baseline, it'll count, and none misfiring, and we will play five more minutes. For the two-man game, Butler gets it to go. None guarding Curry. Wiggins. Another miss. Baseball underneath, man. He has been tireless, invariable, and inexorable on the court, forcing Steph to give it up again, and Bazemore drives it in, blocked. Wiggins missed the putback, tipped up and in by Bazemore again, everywhere. Adebayo got a screen from Butler, and he scores the bucket, tied at 109. Curry tried to split the double team, gets a three off, and it goes. Warriors by three, Mark, you said it. He'll keep firing. At a bio dribble handoff to Robinson. He misses, and it's all Warriors jerseys with the rebound. Up by three, under a minute to go in overtime. Steph got into the paint, kicks it to the corner. Wiggins got it! Robinson squeezes one off. Got it! And it's down to a three-point margin. Curry gets it in the front court here. About a nine to second to get... difference between the shot clock and game clock. Curry. Working against none. Let's the three go. Scores it! Steph with a huge dagger. <laughs> Steph Curry does it again. Despite a five for 23 point shooting night, Mark. Five for 23 from the field. The question is, how many shots did he miss when it matters most? The answer, none. <laughs> Steph Curry <laughs> over Kendrick Nunn for the knockdown dagger shot. Mama, there goes that man. And Steph Curry, you see why, part of the reason why he's so much fun to watch. Averaging 30 points a game, plays the game with so much joy. An incredible skill. And this is potentially got to be one of the, if they could, if they can, hang on, potentially. And I want to underscore that. One of their best wins of the season in terms of coming back from down 14 late in the game.
Olenek. That's going to be a five-second violation. Didn't get the ball in in time. And that might just do it in terms of Miami's aspirations for tonight. Curry with the inbound pass, trying to dribble off time here. And that, you talked about it, Mark, on that inbound play and pass that never made it inbounds for the Heat underscores the type of defense that the Golden State Warriors are playing this year. Steve Kerr said at the beginning of the season, if we're going to be in contention this year, we're going to have to be a top 10 defensive team, which they are right now going into action this evening. Right now, like I said, they're number two in the NBA in defensive field goal percentage, one of those important indicators and barometers. And the Golden State Warriors are going to take this one with a riveting and compelling comeback. 120 to 112. Steph Curry with the final brush strokes on this comeback. He played 42 minutes tonight. They ran the treads off of him. He finished with 25 points and 11 assists. Rainy Friday night in Central Florida as the Magic look to make it two in a row. Big win Wednesday. Now the Golden State Warriors come to town and Orlando is looking for payback. Oubre Jr. for three. He got it. That's the second three for Golden State. They attempted 52 threes in the game against Miami on Wednesday. Three-point shot. A beauty by Michael Mulder. Mulder checked in during the timeout. Second year player out of Kentucky. Here's Curry firing for three. That's good. First made shot of the night for Steph Curry. Bamba will hand it off to Ross. Into the lane. The runner is no good. Rebounded by Mulder. Under a minute to play in the quarter. Mulder picked up his dribble. Gives it to Curry for two. Well, Curry, not only a terrific shooter, outstanding away from the ball. And Curry draws the foul from Bamba and then flexes <laughs> down on the baseline. So smart. Mo trying to get from behind. Watch as he comes off. And Steph is just going to slow down, get into the body, get that contact, and still plenty of room to get that little flip shot up there. Fifth in the league in free throw percentage, 93%. And we're tied at 34. Curry back to Toscano Anderson. Rattles around and through. Three by Curry is good. His second of the game. Steph Curry now in double figures with 11. Oubre, jumper, no good. But Toscano Anderson rebounds the miss. Curry for three, got it. Second chance three for Steph Curry. Toscano Anderson hands it to Curry. Whips it up top to Wiggins for three. Well, since the timeout, Golden State on an eight to nothing run. Fournier driving into the lane. Out to Ennis. He's open for three. Got it. That's a big shot for the Magic. Oh, great job by Fournier going away from the screen. Oh, here come, oh boy, Warriors quickly, David. Fast break points starting to pile up now. That's four in the game for Gold State. And an eight-point lead for the Magic. Oubre for three. Boy, Kelly Oubre is locked in right now. Ooh, hard screen by Toscano Anderson. Leaned in. Curry for three. It's good. That cuts the lead to two on Steph Curry's fourth three of the game. Curry out to Toscano Anderson. Driving into the middle. Left-handed scoop is good. Juan Toscano Anderson. His coach, Steve Kerr, compares him to Draymond Green. Vucevic defending. Green against Randall. Back to Curry with the floater. Got it. Steph Curry cuts the lead to one. And they love that feed to post and split action, David. I Vucevic played it well. He didn't let Steph get three for a three. Curry down the middle. Two points for Steph Curry. Into the body of Vucevic. What a finish. Curry. Hounded by Vucevic. Got a step. Open three for Green. Got it. Deep corner three by Draymond Green. Wiggins. Back to Draymond. Thought about a three. Curry into the middle, tosses it up and in. 
Gotta be solid. Pooch going for the steal. He was right there. Can't let Curry get those shoulders past you. Ross to Vucevic. Dribble drive. Gets it to Chuma for three. Got it again. How about this young man? <laughs> Wiggins, floater. No good. Rebound Vucevic with under two minutes to play. Carter Williams Ross rising. The torch is lit. Now Curry. Guarded by Vucevic. Carter Williams now double teams. Deflected. Stolen. Chuma throws it long for MCW. And he's fouled on the shot by Draymond Green. Carter Williams makes them both. Under a minute to play. Wiggins inbounds it to Green. Green to Curry for three. Got it. Steph Curry delivering in the clutch for Golden State. Four-point game. Evan Fournier. Hounded by Green. Gets to the baseline. No room there. Gets it to Vucevic. Shot clock at three. Vuce fading away. No good. Rebounded by Curry. Here he comes. 30 seconds left. Curry circles back out. Now launches for three again. Good again. That cuts the lead to one. <laughs> My goodness. 21 seconds left. Fournier to Vucevic. He's tied up by Curry, and that'll put Vuce on the line. Watch this. The little shot fake gets Michael Carter-Williams in the air. And this... What a finish. Incredible. Two big threes by Curry to get Golden State right back in at Vucevic. Standing at the line for two. Got them both. Fine Steph. No timeout. Here they come. 15 left. Curry hounded by Vucevic. Wanted to fire. Couldn't. Gives the green back to Curry. Carter Williams is there. Curry launching it. No good. Rebound Ennis. And a foul on Golden State. Curry could not find daylight. Michael Carter Williams. Did a terrific job on him. Two possession lead for the Magic, and Golden State will stop the clock. Golden State inbounds. It's to Lee. Three by Lee is no good. The tap is no good. The game is over. Orlando beats Golden State 124 to 120. Welcome back to Madison Square Garden. It just sounds different, even though it's only 2,000 fans. It certainly does sound different. Starting five brought to you by Verizon, official 5G partner of the Knicks, and the same starting five with Nerland Zoel still at center for Mitchell Robinson. Meanwhile, a number of healthy players back, including Kavon Looney. He's missed the past 10 games, now back at starting center. So Draymond Green returns to the power forward with Kelly Oubre, Andrew Wiggins, and Steph Curry. Curry in a hurry along the sideline with a three ball. Curry did not play in their last game Saturday. It was a weird situation. He came out, he warmed up, everything looked fine, and then he just didn't feel well. It had nothing to do with COVID, nothing to do with health and safety protocol. He just didn't feel well. Come on, we just saw Oubre swooping and hooping without being contested. Now Wiggins. Noel comes up short. Noel has to be aggressive there, folks. Curry. Gets past Noel, trying to draw some contact, and he does. That was a huge controversy for Charlotte the other day that Clyde mentioned with Green getting those two technicals thrown out with nine seconds to go in a two-point game. So they're 0-2 so far on what is a four-game Eastern swing. Yeah, two excruciating losses for Golden State. Baysmore nails that one. They're four of seven from downtown and have a nine-point lead. Yeah, right in front of the Warrior pitch that time was Baysmore. Baysmore undrafted coming out of college. Weissman throws it down. Curry launches a three and banks it in. Curry hit his first shot, then missed four, and then that one. And he's laughing out there as he puts the Warriors up by five. That's not fair, folks. When you can shoot like that and you get luck, too. <laughs> you see Green's overall numbers. Well, he's averaging a little over five a game, five points per game, as Curry knocks down the three. See, that's the, the kind of hustle play that Green does, gives you an extra possession. Yep, uh, the intangibles that he brings to the game. Pass inside to Oubre. Back up top to Curry. Curry, that quick release shot is good as Curry hits his fourth three-pointer of the game. Curry goes into Randall. Ball batted around, picked up by Pate, knocked out of his hands. 
And Curry fakes the three, now dribbles. A two-pointer from the baseline, and Curry knocks it down, and a quick timeout from Tom Thibodeau as Golden State scores eight straight points here in the beginning of the third. Oh, Curry tantalizing him. Knocked away by Noel. Curry gets it back behind the back. And then Looney puts it in. Looney was right there for a layup. Looked like he wanted to pass it. Curry, a maestro, a virtuoso, that possession off the dribble. He's just a magician with the ball. Barrett has it blocked and then throws it away. They have numbers as they hurt. Curry throws it to Oubre, and Oubre throws it down. Tom Thibodeau can't be happy with the start here in his third quarter. Eight not Curry. Curry doesn't need a lot of room. Shows it there and drills the three. Peyton got to force him to do something. He had room right in front of the big bench. Could have forced him to the middle. Curry for three. That's good. Curry with another three-pointer, his sixth of the game, and he's got 26. That was serendipity. Burks almost had to steal the ball. Carroll right back to Curry. Curry from three. That's good. Steph Curry with a seventh three-pointer of the game. Good screen by Looney to free him up. Curry drives and draws the foul and one. Taj Gibson bumped him. And Steph Curry knocks it down, a chance for the traditional three-point play. It's very difficult to switch on this guy with a big man. He's so elusive, so clever, so canny. And there you saw him eluding Gibson, drawing the contact. And now one free throw as well. A lead back up to four, 31 now for Curry. And that play working to perfection after the timeout. That was the play they drew up for Curry. So... Executing it to perfection that time. So each team with a timeout left, and both teams in the penalty. Curry gets away from Gibson. Across the lane, nice feet inside for Ubre. What a gorgeous pass from Steph Curry, his sixth assist. And the Knicks are down six. That was mesmerizing dribbling. On a night that started off with such emotion, with the fans finally back here at the Garden, but Julius Randle named to his first All-Star team ends in disappointment. The next lose to the Warriors here at the Garden. Steph Curry and the Golden State Warriors facing off the Indiana Pacers as we welcome you to an NBA Wednesday presented by State Farm. Downtown Indianapolis, a beautiful clear night with just eight days to go before the NBA All-Star break. And these two teams right around the 500 mark, important games as they head towards the break. Curry goes back up top to Green, right back to Curry. Fakes, fires, and connects his first field goal. Now remember about Curry, he takes 20 shots a game, 11 threes, and gets to the line between, you know, five or six times. Curry with an effortless floater, a three-point lead right now for Golden State, trying to win back-to-back -back games and finish up this four-game road trip that started Disastrously, disastrously with a couple of really close, narrow losses. Brogdon misses, fight for the rebound. Curry looking to come up with it, and does. Now this is just good transition defense, except you can't leave him. You had a trap on him in the paint. As soon as you left to pick up the wingman, he just made that easy for himself. Meanwhile, Justin Holiday gets us back on track with another missed three-pointer. We thought we had something going. It's Curry throws it back out the green. It has been a three-point disaster for the two teams so far. Curry gets inside. Layup is good. Yeah, see, he's not afraid of contact. That's what I like about Steph. He went baseline, pass one guy, and a rotator. When you come to the game and you expect outside shooting, mid-range game from the foul line to the three-point line, you expect that because of the defenses. But along with that, both teams are five for 29 between them in the three ball. Well, Wiggins hits one outside the paint. And Wiggins now in double figures with 10. And Sabonis to finish. They can't do anything with him once he gets in the paint, like six to eight feet away from the basket. He just backs his way down. Look at this. Nice drive to the basket. Sabonis has all, by the way, has 13 of his 15 points in the second half. He also has eight rebounds. Well, they beat Golden State in Golden State back in January. He's coming, flips it in with the left hand. Looks like he took a shot as well. Curry drives, layup won't go. Looney with one hand, nearly tipped it in, and Curry comes away with it. 
Curry flips it up and in. Now 15 points for Steph Curry. And there's his splash brother. Out for the season with the Achilles injury. Looney gets in. This time he's able to finish on a nice pass from Steph Curry. Always love every year you meet first time players who get to the All Star game. And Julius Randle for the Knicks, Zach Levine, Zion Williamson, and Jalen Brown. Yes, I know I deserve to be there. And the big factor is, is that when the coaches pick the players that the seven players will be the substitute, they must pick two guards. And then they must pick three front court players. Then they can add two other players. Curry looks inside. Draymond Green. The layup is good. With 1.5 remaining, the largest lead in the entire game by either team is seven. They both have briefly had seven-point leads, so this one's been close throughout. Draymond Green floats it up. Layup. Battle rattles around and goes through. Great move by Green from the center of the floor. As soon as they double team Curry, he made his move and the pass was there. And Draymond Green aggressively goes. Miles Turner was upset with something, and Green with a couple of big field goals here in the fourth quarter. He's got 10 points now. Brogdon fakes. Back out Sabonis. Sabonis for three. So many good looks, Yubi, that just aren't going down tonight. Yeah, unfortunately, the looks are, you know, way out there uh, versus high percentage shots for them. Say, when the defense is this tough, can you get into the mid-range game and score? And then, if you can get closer, to make the potential three-point play the old-fashioned way. 21 now for Curry. Lead is five. This equals the largest lead of the fourth quarter. Brockton tries a three. So bonus tracks it down, gets another rebound. Picks it back out, Brogdon, Brogdon lost it, tried to save it, and picked up by Curry. Now, right now, Indiana's the last five possessions, very poor execution, poor execution for shots. Oubre knocks it down, Kelly Oubre with a big bucket, and the lead is seven, that equals the largest lead of the game. Timeout, Indiana with 2.19 to play. Turner up top, McDermott for three. Puts it in, Doug McDermott with a big three-pointer, and it's now a four-point game. Well, he's in there because of the three-ball. We know that he can get hot in a hurry. Big thing right now is take your time. Know that no matter what, Golden State, you have two timeouts and you're shooting the bone. And how about Pascal once again getting to the rim, throwing it down on a beautiful feed from Curry. Brogdon on the drive, reverse layup, bang shot is good. Malcolm Brogdon, Brogdon makes it a two-point game. And a quick foul on Curry. Two clutch free throws from Steph Curry. And the Pacers will use their final timeout. Brogdon, now they've got to shoot a quick three, but they're running out of time. Brogdon instead drives, goes inside, layup is good. And that's going to do it. As the Golden State Warriors finish up their four-game road trip with back-to-back -back wins and improve to 18 and 15 on the season. Steph Curry just one of 11 from three, but he finished with 24 points, eight assists, and eight boards. Draymond Green almost another triple-double. It is so nice to see Chase Center. The Warriors are going to play one home game here in essentially a month, 24 days. And so you better take advantage of it. And hey, Kalen Azubuki, we just saw the Warriors and Hornets, and it sounds like many of the Warriors are anxious to play in this game. Washington will put it on the deck himself. Cody Martin missing that three. Cody Martin reminds me of Juan Toscano Anderson or George Niang, one of those type of players. Staff on the run through, or Draymond found it. Steph now 6,000 field goals in his career. Looney, a little tic-tac-toe. There you go. Off the down screen, two defenders go with Steph. The gravity of Steph, we've talked about it. Looney, trying to set up the screen for Steph. Behind the back to Draymond, little flip shot. Showtime. I'll tell you what, both teams are passing the ball really well. They really are. The up and down is also fun. Draymond with the steal. Warriors on the counter attack. Wheels around the mellow. There's a lob. That will be converted. Perfect. He came down first. Let's just make sure. I'm
I'm going to catch this one, come down, then finish. He's running the floor, though. That's what you want from your big man. Uh, King Mon will float it over the elbow. Everybody's reading and reacting. There's no hesitation, no indecision. To go with Steph again. Draymond knows what to do. Finish. Draymond hitting a three and already running back. He's three for three. I love how Draymond talks every time he hits a three. Steph set the screen. Kick it back out to Damian Lee. There you go. Steph has the roller. Steph on the reload. It was so open. That's only Curry's third shot, but he's two of three. That's his foot action, Vince. That's why. And Curry looking it up and in. We saw that Bismack Yambo was playing off of Draymond. And so he sped off of there, that handoff. And they could not react in time. Steph. Beautiful defense. Comes up with a steal. Two men to beat. Flipping it up and in. Should go into the locker room with a minimum 10-point lead. Taking the last shot here. Curry for three. There it is. Shot clock at seven now. All these cutters have been picked up nicely. Shot clock at three. It's Steph moving without the ball. As everything was kind of falling apart, Curry said, wait a minute, I'll bail Draymond out. Wiggins. Perfect. Steph Curry delivery. Steph's just okay with making plays right now. Steph Curry flipping it up and in. That was a counter move and a half. Steph's got 19. You have enjoyed this game more than like when you play the Knicks and it's, <laughs> you know, seven to three for half a quarter. Miss Hayward bottoms a three. Just a high level game offensively. I mean, you're leading by nine, but Charlotte now is 13 of 27 on threes. Got it. Yep. That is the, uh, what we like to call the pump and jump. <laughs> or the Luka launch. What a, whatever, but everybody's in agreement that this rule needs to be changed. Curry. Oh, no. That's not fair. Oh, no. Curry with a three. McDaniel's equilibrium has to be shot. There's you down the lane. Draymond knocked it away. Baysmore sent Steph on his way. Wiseman in transition. The big star. I love that decision. It was a three on one, but they didn't stop the ball. So instead of trying to throw it through the defender, go ahead and finish. Baysmore, hey, wait. There's no defenders. <laughs> Baysmore went to the rim. So the Warriors do win three in a row for the first time this year. And what a week. Revenge win against the Knicks. Revenge win against the Pacers. Revenge win against Charlotte. And a Warrior team now at 19 and 15. Don't forget they won only 15 games all of last year. And Draymond Green, a triple-double, a career best, 19 assists. We will talk to him on Warrior Post Game Live, which is coming up. The Golden State Warriors and the Los Angeles Lakers made for the second time this season. The Warriors won in L.A last month by two. Warriors currently 19 and 15, seventh place in the Western Conference. The Lakers at 23 and 11. They ended a four game losing streak Friday beating Portland here at home. Oubre with the slam, great pass by Curry. And you see the athletic ability of Kelly Oubre. Played very well with the Suns last year before he got hurt. Draymond got rid of it in time and hits the shot. Curry with a steal off the bad pass by Caldwell Pope. Curry yet to score. Here is Bazemore drilling the triple. Green throws it down. Gasol wanted no part of that as Draymond went strong to the rim. Here's Curry with a step back. It's good and a foul. A four-point chance for Steph Curry. First basket tonight. For the two-time MVP, Draymond Green faked the pass and gets the easy layup. So Green with six points to lead the Warriors in scoring. Five assists for Steph Curry. Just four points now, six as he gets free from Schroeder and gets the layup. Draymond Green had an awkward landing on the foot of Contavious Caldwell Pope. Tried to stay in the game, but he's now on the Warrior bench. Yeah, Greg Popovich used to always joke and say, hey, look, we do not need, we do not need tough guys in February. 
is like if you're a little banged up, you're down by 30 on the road to the Lakers. If your ankle's not right or 100%, don't turn you know, one little issue into something that might stay with you longer. Scano Anderson wide open, and he drills the three-pointer. Morris, having a great first half, hits the 8-3 for the Lakers. He's got 11 points. So to sum up that whole thing that you were saying, LeBron James is pretty good. That's a good summation, absolutely. And so is that guy, <laughs> Steph Curry, with the and one three. Caruso commits the foul. Steph Curry fouled shooting a three for the third time here in the first half. And that's why he's unguardable, Dave. That, that's why he's unguardable, because you're always having to contest, but he has the ability to stop and pop. And even when you're you know, trying to navigate it properly, He's just so good at being able to draw contact and that focus to knock down a three is, is so impressive. As Oubre gets the slam. So 19 points for James now. Curry on the other end kisses that one home. Final basket of the game as the Lakers will just dribble this one out once they get across half court. Very impressive showing by the Lakers for the second game in a row after that four game losing streak. They dominated Portland for about three quarters on Friday and they easily handle the Warriors for four quarters tonight. It's the Golden State Warriors and the Portland Trail Blazers as we welcome you back to an NBA Wednesday presented by State Farm in Portland, Oregon, the Motor Center, home of the Blazers as they host the Golden State Warriors. Now, what a terrific matchup in the second game of our doubleheader, featuring two of the most dynamic guards in the NBA, maybe the two best range shooters the game has ever seen, and two guys who have both played their entire careers, at least so far, with the team that drafted them. It's Steph Curry and the Warriors, Damian Lillard, and the Blazers. Draymond Green to Curry. Curry launches that first one, and Steph Curry able to knock it down. Good start for Golden State, just the opposite their last game. It was one of their worst performances of the season. They got blown out by the Lakers as Covington misses a game. They trail by 20 after the first half. And Portland has now missed their first five shots from the field. And another three-pointer goes down. Steph Curry, two for two from downtown. And Terry Stotts quickly needs a timeout. Talking to Terry Stotts earlier today, he raved about the impact that Gary Trent has had on this team as Curry knocks down another long ball in the absence of C.J. McCollum. Gary Trent has, has really uh, did a good, done a great job of picking up the load offensively for the Blazers. Lillard, cross court, Anthony, good look, and knocks that one down. It was really great as a fan of the game to watch Carmelo Anthony. As Wiseman, the pick and roll from Curry gets the finish. It's great to see Carmelo Anthony still with plenty left in the tank, having an opportunity and capitalizing on that opportunity. In court. Curry inside the arc, and Steph Curry looking sharp early. Now four of six from the field, he's got 11 points. To me, watching the way that the Warriors are defending Dame Lillard, they're making him see bodies. Two and three bodies in front of him, so if you're wow, Steph Curry, knocks down the oh ball. <laughs> If you're the other guys, you got to be aggressive for the Blazers. But how about the clinic for Steph Curry? Here's Hood, still making his way back from the Achilles injury. And nails that three-pointer. I love that play. Carmelo Anthony has Steph Curry on him. The old Carmelo would have been like everybody out of my way, taking advantage of that matchup. He gives the ball to Rodney Hood to win his matchup against Wiseman. And Curry this time to the basket, draws the foul, shot will go, and a chance for a three-point play. He's got 15 points already, and we still have a minute 17 left in the first quarter. He's on pace for 60 right now. He scored the 62, as we mentioned, in just 36 minutes in that victory at the Chase Center in San Francisco. Curry back in, puts it up and in, 18 points for Curry, Warriors back up three. Nice change of direction, the pass, and Looney to finish. Green, the number one reason there, fourth in the NBA in defension, defensive efficiency is Curry once again gets to the basket. And Steph Curry, 7 of 11 from the field, he's got 20 points already. Curry and 
and one. Steph Curry once again gets to the bucket. And a chance for another three-point play. Now up to 22 points in just 14 minutes. This is an important game from a standpoint of they split the first two games in San Francisco in January. And this is the third and final meeting in the regular season. So a tiebreaker is at stake here on this one. You never know how the standings are going to wind up as Looney gets a nice feed and a wide open lane to the bucket. Covington to Jones. Jones at three-pointer misses. They are committed to trap and taming Lillard and not allow him to get open look. Mulder, a three-pointer, his second of the game. Curry inside, looking to draw the foul, and it goes in. Now, the top of the backboard is in. Did it hit anything else? And apparently not, and count the bucket for Curry. And right to the hands of Curry. Lillard right up on top of him. Curry looking for an opening. Fires away. A whistle. Was there a foul? Yes, Damian Lillard called for the foul. Here's Curry, big first half, quiet second half. Curry steps back, three-pointer, it's good. Steph Curry with his first three of the second half. He now has Curry now with 30. Curry, another three, puts it in. Steph Curry, back-to-back -back threes. And now with 33 points, the lead is six. Just over two and a half remaining. Carmelo Anthony gets in the paint, turns, shoots, and scores. Anthony now with 22, and it's a one-point game. Curry fakes, Curry drives, gets inside, layup, he banks it home. Lillard for three. It's good. Damian Lillard from downtown. He ties the game. Draymond Green holding. Four to shoot. Green a three-pointer. It's good. How about Draymond Green from downtown? Green to Bazemore, Bazemore, side of the backboard, Curry's follow won't go, fight for the rebound, Wiggins tips it out back to Curry, another three, rebound, again won't be tipped in, and Rodney Hood comes away with it, ahead to Lillard, Lillard leans in and draws the foul, and I think they're going to call a foul before the shot, so Lillard bottoms both free throws, 5 of 16 from the field, but 7 of 8 from the line, Curry floater banking it off oh. iron and another one that wouldn't stay down got to get back Willard has it poked away by baseball and keeps his dribble alive now Lillard step back three bang Damian Lillard from downtown and Portland goes up by two 13.7 seconds remaining he does it again Tough night all night long, does not matter. It's game time. Knocks down a huge three and then struts with swagger. And Steph inside the three-point line. Down to seven. Draymond down the lane. And you got a whistle here, and it's an offensive foul. Damian Lillard with so many clutch plays down the stretch. Wound up finishing with 22. But a big fourth quarter, and these two with so much respect for each other. The two all-star guards. And it's the Blazers that win it 108 to 106. And then Lillard giving some advice to some of the younger players as well, Mark. He's just, he's an extraordinary player. Two guys you want to follow if you're young in, in this league, Steph Curry and Damian Lillard. We're used to seeing Damon Lillard make plays on the offensive end, big-time shots. Tonight, it was not only a shot, it was the biggest defensive play of the, of, of the game. Good evening, everyone, from Los Angeles. It's game two of our national doubleheader. The NBA Tonight on TNT is presented by State Farm. The Golden State Warriors are currently ninth in the Western Conference. The Los Angeles Clippers are fourth. There are four and a half games between the third and eighth positions. It should be close right down to the final day. Baca on the doorstep for two more. Nice start for Serge. Five quick points. Really a struggle in his last two ball games. Kelly Oubre from outside. He puts it down. Oubre missed the last couple games because of a sprained left wrist. He's playing now, and Reggie, he is playing very well for this team. The Bears have lost six of nine. They have been struggling, really, since they had gone a terrific 15-5 and five start. They have called a jump ball on this. The Bears on top by three. Curry, hesitating, Pymore isn't right to the rack. 
Nice play inside by Steph Curry with his first two. He's one of five. Curry comes in, the number four scorer in the NBA. Green three. Got it. Shot clock at five. Kawhi for the triple. 20 for Kawhi Leonard. He averages 26. Nice usage of the ball fake to freeze the defender. That'll go in. Nice play. Good drive. Here's Steph Curry, two and nine. Man is on him. Curry will take it to the hole. Steph Curry. Wiseman missed a COVID test over the weekend. And because of that, he has not gotten off the bench yet. We don't know if he will play. But we know he hasn't played so far. Second overall pick. Nice pass inside. Batum on the lead. A beautiful throw ahead. A great assist on the play. And Jackson, who's taken the place of the injured Pat Beverly, gets it. Three. Curry. He got it at the other end. Here's a drive. Wiggins off that baseline for two. Inside. Abaka. Green fighting for it. Curry comes up with it. And you don't want to lose the momentum as Curry takes it in and gets it to go. Pretty play by Steph Curry. Got some very good rookie standing right now. Of course, ball with Charlotte. And scoring, rebounding assist. There's a nice drive inside. Wyatt Leonard gets two more. First two of the half. Shooting 50% from the floor. Steph on the fly, free to fire, lets it fall. Nice play, Steph Curry, 14. And that'll be all she wrote tonight from Los Angeles. The Clippers get the win, stop a three-game losing streak, go to 25 and 14. Home record will be 13 and 6. And they are trying to move their way up in the Western Conference coming in tonight at number four. And the Golden State Warriors came in at number nine. They're going to go to 500. And with the lot on their plate, trade deadline coming up March 25th. They've been what are you saying they're going to be aggressive as they look at what to do. And Curry, some words for the young rookie. First meeting, Utah beat the Warriors 127-108. That was the game where Steph Curry surpassed Reggie Miller for threes all time. Oubre tipped that away. Wiggins on the counterattack. Steph gives it right back to him. That was pretty. Well done. Wiggins passed it early and then didn't get in front of Steph, so Steph would have a good angle to get it right back to him. Three on two. Made it work. And Steph knocked it away. So back-to-back -back steals. And it's Draymond on the push. Trying to get to that Utah defense before it can get set. And Draymond tipping in his own miss. So you see the Warrior activity early. Get some kind of turnover and run it back before Utah gets back on D. Oh, that's a, a one that Looney's got to convert. Wiggins didn't assume anything, stayed with the play. And Steph on the relocate. The Warriors trade three for two. Now Wiggins stepped in to set that little pin in screen for Steph. Make it tough for that last defender to close out. That's just good recognition being a good teammate. You see Conley, he got there Ooh. late. Steph hit the three. He committed the foul. But that matchup is worth watching. The point guards, they're like gun gunslingers in the Old West. You know, they measure themselves against each other. And Conley's not backing down. He's up for the challenge. But Steph just moves so well without the ball. But then he's also setting screens. So he keeps you guessing. He sets you up real nice. Shot clock down to two. Steph's got to beat the buzzer, and he oh, does. Oh, my goodness. Flipping it up and in for the birthday boy. Yeah, he's, he's looking energized on his birthday. Got the birthday kicks on, too. Donovan Mitchell creating. And Bazemore did just enough to bother him. Oh, Staff off his back foot. Stop. <laughs> he, just, he just used Wiseman, a little rub screen there inside the top of the key. So Curry's four of five. He's got 11 of the Warriors' 19. Curry for three. He yes, did. sir. He did. Little escape dribble. At what age do you get old man strength? <laughs> Is it 33? When does that kick in? It might be. Baysmore likes the corners. And there is the Warriors' leading three-point shooter. Yeah, Steph made that play. And Draymond took it to Gobert. If Gobert's got it at the elbow, do you sag deep off him, dare him to shoot it? He won't shoot it from there. Yeah, you definitely want to sag off just in case they get a drive to the rim. And Steph <laughs> drew him. That's how you negate his shot-blocking ability. If you're Steph, you see him commit to you. You know he's on Wiseman. He came off of Wiseman. Give it to Wiseman. Dunk. Clarkson again. He has no conscience. 
Uh, touchdown, Jordan Poole. Steph Curry did his best Pat Mahomes right there and found Tyree Kill streaking. Mike Conley's been the hottest member of the Jazz, but he misfires. And now Wiggins. He's going to sort that out with the flip in and the foul. Mitchell elbow jumper. And Gobert, he's just bigger than everybody. Steph had him boxed out, but Gobert's just taller. And Steph says, I can do this to you on the other end. Oh. <laughs> that separation he got. The monster step back. Gobert is on him. His eyes lit up. I like that sequence. Gobert got the offensive rebound, and Curry put a three on his head. Wiggins down the lane. Andrew Wiggins, what a game. That's such an aggressive drive. As soon as he got it, knew he could rip it through. The run and all that action, stagger screen. He realized he had the advantage on as many likes his matchup. They jump in Curry, reload dribble, and that three is down. They overran it. Steph was going to throw it to Wiseman because two defenders were around him, but he's like, wait a minute, I got an opening here. Let me let this fly. Wiseman set that screen. Steph rewards him for it. Perfect. And the big kid able to put it in. A weak side was too slow to stay with Steph. He's always going to make the right decision. Steph attacking and somehow oh. got it around Gobert. That's so tough. They're trying to take away his three ball. They're top blocking him. He's not fighting the pressure. He's like, I can finish down there, even amongst the tree. That, that was such an amazing finish. Jordan Poole, that pass was low. He made the three anyway. That's a big shot at a big time. A little roll and replace, misdirection. He's shooting his shot. And Pascal three. How? Oh! Poole first. Pascal next. Go Youth is served here in the fourth. Gobert is just so far away. You're playing the best team in the NBA. You've had a four game losing streak. It's Curry's birthday. And he hits a three. They are trying to expose Gobert now. And high pick and roll. He's in drop coverage. He's not even close to Steph. He's going to get that shot whenever he wants. They keep running that. All that attention on Curry. He yanks back Gobert. Wiggins for three. Got it! Oh, he threw that right by Gobert's ear. How did that get through there? The one hand cross court skip pass. Just looking at Wiggins' defender, and he's ready to shoot. One minute away from what would be, in my mind, the best win of the year. You've lost four in a row. You're playing the best team in the league. Curry, floater, rims in! Teardrop, you see Steph pointing up. Again, they're shielding him, trying to force him that way, and he just took it, not fighting the defense. You know, the Jazz' last lead was at the seven-minute mark of the first quarter. The Warriors took the lead and never gave it back. This is the performance you needed. Starters play well, bench as well. Defensively did the job. Good work. Tonight from Chase Center in San Francisco, two future Hall of Famers squaring off for the final time this season. LeBron James and the LA Lakers against Steph Curry and the Golden State Warriors. Lakers playing the 11th consecutive game without Anthony Davis. And they turn it over. Schroeder coughs it up here. Steph in the open floor. Curry goes in with the left hand and finishes. Curry gets a little airspace. And the three is good. He's got all five for Golden State. Steph Curry pointed out the fact that in 2008, LeBron James came to watch his team uh, Davidson play in the Sweet 16 and showed a lot of love and appreciation and the relationship has has grown from, from obviously the battles that they had in the championship. I'm about to tackle the finish by Curry, but the respect, the, the 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 respect that both guys have for each other is is off the chains and the friendship that has developed because of the battle. LeBron now 36 years old. Steph turned 33 yesterday at 32 points on his birthday. He's got seven so far. Curry blows by the first man, hangs with the left, and kisses it in. He's got nine early points. Nice look by Curry. Wiseman soars and then flips it up and in. And I will say this. Steph Curry being more vocal and having moments like that is going to do wonders for Draymond Green. Both guys outstanding leaders. Both guys lead in a different way. But it will stop Draymond Green from having to be the only voice at all times. Steph, Steph Curry, Curry can drills do that. another one. Wow. <laughs> he's off the charts. He is absolutely unbelievable as a basketball. 
Final seconds here of the opening quarter. Curry coming off the screen, gets into the paint, and Steph goes to the left hand again and scores. 15 first quarter points for Curry. Turnover there, forced by Draymond Green. Tenth giveaway by the Lakers. Curry is open, and that's all he needs. Just a little bit of airspace for his third triple. Final seconds of the half. James gets it knocked away by Curry. Two seconds to go from the hash mark. Good! Andrew Wiggins beats the buzzer, but still the Warriors trail by 15 at halftime. Here's Curry trying to pick up where he left off his fourth three-pointer, and now 23 points. Morris gets past Oubre, and then lost the ball. Here's Steph in transition, drives past Caldwell Pope, and lays it in for his 25th point. He averages 29 per game, good for fourth in the league. Impressive offensive Exhibition by the Lakers on the road, shooting 63% from the floor and putting up 128 points against the Warrior team that just beat the Utah Jazz, the team with the best record in the NBA, about 30 hours ago. Steph Curry, Kelly, Obre Jr., Kevon Looney, Andrew, Wig Andrew Wiggins, Draymond Green. For the Rockets, it'll be Brown, Porter, Christian Wood is back, Daniel House is back, and Jay Sean Tate for Houston. And there you see good look at the defense already from Golden State. Take it the length of the court, and that was an easy two on the first possession. Wiggins. Yeah, I'm curious to see what the Rockets fans come up with on the Oh, what a great trail. What a great backdoor pass. Ooh, there's another good one. There's a good alley oop right there. How about that. Well, we got a quick game. We're both teams getting up and down the floor early. This might play right into the hands of the Young Rockets, and there's a shot from the outside that's good. Looney showing you that yeah. the value of your center being able to step out and shoot threes. That's the way of the NBA nowadays, and I like it. Looney giving it up, and that Tate almost tied that up. And from the corner, you just don't leave him. I don't know how he gets left alone. Porter shoots it again, a little short, and Curry with the rebound, long down court pass. As soon as that ball was shot, Green took off. Yep. That's the old bet move there. If your guy shoots it, you get a hand up on him, and you just keep on running. Right now, Golden State's on a 7-0 run because there's a backdoor play again. Curry's going to run that on you all night. Can you believe it? Uh, about three days ago, he turned 33 years old. That's it, hard to believe, his, isn't it? His career's going by fast, isn't it? It really has. And, you know, he had those... Remember the ankle problems? Yep. He thought maybe his career was over with early in his career when he had those ankle problems, kind of similar to the problems that Christian Wood has had. And there goes Curry now. Boy, that, that Tate is there. There he is again. Incredible now, defense. He took, on, on he took on Green a minute ago. Nice. Taking on the best shooter in the league. Let's see how this works out. Not well. well that's a great shot from Curry. Raymond Green going to try to slow him down. Wood puts it up. Short. Curry cross court. Nobody picked him up. That's pretty easy. So the basket by Poole. Biggest lead of the game for the Warriors. And a blocking foul called on Houston, so the basket counts. Seth is playing pretty good this year, too. <laughs> it actually said that Seth has a has the mentality, you know, the mentality yeah. of a yeah. of a, a competitive player. Well, he stayed after it. You know, he's been through some tough situations. You know, the Rockets ought to get back on defense. Yeah, too many fast break opportunities, and that's uh, part of it is the Rockets not getting good shots on one end because of the Warriors' tough switching defense. Curry takes it inside to Oubre. Going to Green again, switch it around to Curry. Curry on the drive, off the glass. He's the best at that. He really is. The, the number one among guards in the NBA percentage in the paint. He's got a plethora of finishing moves in there, Bill. He's got a lot of them, too. 
Before the game, Coach Silas talked about his relationship with Steph Curry. He was on the coaching staff when Steph was a rookie in Golden State. He talked about the memories of being in the gym, being at his house when he was younger, and he actually brought up his pregame dribbling drill as he brains a three right there. <laughs> Steph Curry, he said he wasn't really good at it, and he's worked on it, obviously, and he said it's amazing to see the progression of how now people come to the arena early just to see Steph go through his pregame warm-up, but he wrapped up just saying that he couldn't be happier for all the success Steph has had, and Coach Silas proving he's been tremendous with point guards working with Steph Curry, Kemba Walker, Luka Doncic, and now a chance here with Kevin Porter Jr. and John Wall, the future for this franchise. Now this ought to be interesting. Let's see if Porter gets schooled or if he's able to stay with Curry. Curry says, oh, I was going to try to burn him, but he couldn't do it. And that's Curry. the end of the third quarter. But before that last whistle, Steph Curry, after the shot, he falls back into the stance and hits his tailbone right on that edge of those seats. Oh, wow, he hit right on that railing, Matt. Solid metal, and he was in a lot of pain. It took him a long time to get up, and he walked straight back to the locker room. Expect his night will be done. I hope he's not hurt too badly. All right, here we go down to the final uh, seconds of the game, and the Rockets are going to lose this one, their 18th game in a row for a new franchise record. And, Matt, they fought hard but didn't have enough. A Monday night at Chase Center with two teams trying to stay involved in the play-in conversation, the Bulls and Warriors for the second and final time this year. And for the Warriors, the leader is back. Steph Curry is going to take a go at it with the bruised tailbone. Practice yesterday. They checked him in warm-ups, a game-time decision, and the decision is go. Steph for three, and that is perfect. Steph could come into games, and you're thinking, well, maybe he may have to brush some rust off. Uh, this man is different. Everything revolves with Vucevic, usually at the top of the key, handing off to Levine. And the All-Stars working together. You just see in the two games for Orlando, Vucevic averaged 27 and 14 against the Warriors. So the pick and pops, the Warriors really got to figure that out because Wiseman's having a tough time getting to it. And they're having an easy time finding Wiseman on those lobs, feeding them. Wiggins, kind of a reload three and made it anyway. Stay assertive if you're Wiggins. That's what Steph is thinking. Curry catch and shoot and dropping in another three. You think you're close enough to him, but Zach Levine figured out you're not. Steph knocks another one down, just working off of those screens, moving without the ball. They're having a tough time finding where he is. And Steph Curry is perfect. Steph. First player in double figures. Three ball, mid-range, it's all working for Steph. Speaking of scramble mode, Curry. And he, you watch him get up uh -oh. after he took that, and he's kind of wincing and grabbing his back a little bit. Draymond from deep, and that three looked good. He got his legs into that one. That one had a little more arc on it, too. Five assists, four rebounds, and now a three for Draymond. That he is young. He's going left, and Steph was ready. <laughs> Thank you for that steal. Nope. They were looking for Wiseman initially, but... Good awareness by Patrick Williams. And then Oubre sneaking in again with the right hand. That's why you love Draymond flashing in the middle. Because he's such a great decision maker. He's looking for something, didn't have it. He's got eyes behind his head. Saw Oubre cutting. Steph tried to drop it back. Draymond, great hand, saved the turnover. Wiggins thought about that three. There's a better shooter. Mm. Wiggins is super hot, right? But then Curry's even more open. I love that decision. Draymond and Steph, that high screen. Oubre attacking Vucevic and flipping it up and in. See how he jumped into him, though? And Vucevic couldn't even really contest that layup like he wanted to. Draymond, the decision maker, and he decides to float at that time. So they get the lob one time. Vucevic is like, oh, no, I got to get back. They're going to throw the lob. And Draymond's like, gotcha. Steph Curry <laughs> will draw the foul. Now, the Wiseman rebound on the other end is just going to go down as one rebound, okay? But... Steph Vucevic. is able to score here because of the way Wiseman battled on the other end. And the grit and grime that rebounding is was exemplified with James' extra effort there. That, that is a good sign 
for that guy grabbing boards. Oh, Steph wow. from deep. Curry another three, and this is the Warriors' biggest lead of the night. And Steph Curry, speaking of mid-range, just inside the top of the key. He's just seeing that big, backing up, zoning it up, giving him space to shoot it. Steph for three. Yes, sir! It's execution and Draymond and Steph just being on the same page. That's years of experience, chemistry together. So 30 for 30. And Steph, little curly Neal, Marcus Stop. Hayes, flip it up and in! He went Harlem Globetrotter on him. He's making these dudes look ridiculous out here. So for the Warriors, yeah, you hate to say it's a must-have with 26 games left, but they, they, they needed this, and Steve Kerr said, after the scrimmage yesterday and the return of Steph, he knew the Warriors were ready to come out of their little funk. And they did in a big way. So Wiseman wins the tap, our Cadillac starting lineups. You have Steph Curry, Kelly Oubre, Andrew Wiggins, James Wiseman, and Draymond Green. You just see them move together as a unit defensively. Miami's pretty amazing. And Wiggins, who really has been hitting the three lately, drops that in. And so if you're the Heat, you're thinking, we've shackled the Warriors. They're out of sync. They can't make anything. And you look up, and it's only a five-point game. Wow. And Bielitsa hitting the corner three. And Jimmy Butler got a piece of Looney. Made it to where he could close out like he wanted to. Oh, there you go. Steph and Draymond. There you go. A little cut back door. Steph has got a little hitch in his giddy up, but he's going to keep working without the ball. And Steph, little go. floater there to bank it home. He makes that look easy. That's a tough shot. His defender had the awkward closeout because of the ball movement. You can just rip it through. If you got floater game, that works. And Steph, deep three. Yes, sir. That's so, how you feel? Curry's first three of the night. Bam Adebayo was all over him. Didn't matter. In the defense hustling to Wiggins and now recovering to Curry is Jimmy Butler. Steph on the move. Dozen points for Steph Curry. Oh, Butler with 13 for Miami now. Curry against Oladipo. Got fouled and able to flip it in. And there's the elevator doors right there. And Curry, it took two screens to free him up. They let Steph through and then they closed it down. That's a fun play. Watch Looney and Draymond just close Tyler Hero in. He's just stuck in the elevator. Let me out! <laughs> and Bielitsa didn't react in time. Oh, no! Curry on Iguodala. Two good friends, two former teammates, and Andre commits the foul. <laughs> Andre knows a little something about that handle. Wiggins on the kick out. How about that? You need to see Wiggins finding Steph. You know, Wiggins has driven a couple different times. He's had good scoring, but now four assists. Bam out of bio with Butler. They, they're two stars have carried the day, but all of their complimentary players have played well. Steph shot that from South Beach and dropped in a three. He's worked himself into a great shooting game. And Curry's got 30 again. Can Steph keep firing? And he does. It's another three. <laughs> He's got a seven-point game with a minute 15 left. He's making Spolster nervous over there standing up. Got to finish this. Steph's got 33 points, wow. and he will draw another foul. This was nearly a four-point play. So a five-point game at halftime becomes a 116-109 final. And for the Warriors, you love the non-fouling in the second half. You credit Miami for as good as they are defensively. And you try to build on some of the good things to take it to a Tampa to play Toronto. Finishing off the road trip. Happy Easter from Atlanta for the Warriors and the Hawks. Second and final meeting. The Hawks beat the Warriors on March 26th at Chase Center. But that was a game where Mr. Curry did not play. And Steph Curry and Draymond Green are in the starting lineups tonight, which is very good for the Warriors. And we'll Curry to Draymond delivery. That's the thing with Steph, even when he's using his handle and making the video game dribble moves, he's still got his head up. Steph making sure he got contact with Gallinari, flipped it in and draws the foul. Oh, he shimmied on him. I haven't seen the shimmy in a while. I missed it. Atlanta can go two for one. Lou Williams knows that. And there's the freebie. And he'll just strike the three. Take your time and get something good here. 
Well, Steph, okay. He's going to go two for one. Now there's a four-second difference. If, if Steph is shooting it, that's good. <laughs> I'll just go with that. And that's going to be a goal 10. Steph had it going anyway. See, though, Capella's trying to block everything. So you got to figure out what's the best way to finish over him. Curry, tough turnaround. Ooh. And Steph and Curry. Steph's got Capella on skates out top. The rest of the Hawks are ready. Steph went behind the back. And little beats big. Uh, the handle is just too good. As Curry goes right down the lane. He is in attack mode right now, trying to put his fingerprint on this game. Trey Young, three. Wiseman will grab that rebound. Oh, and then smartly just knock it forward. And then Oubre leak it out. Kelly, I thought he was going to finish under the rim. He just made it a tougher shot, scored anyway. I think he just did well to catch that one, come down with it, stay composed, figure out how to go up and make a shot. Two men jump at Curry. And Steph with a Trey Young floater? Or is it a no, Steph no, no, no. Curry come floater? Now. Come on now. <laughs> you know what it is. <laughs> Trey Young copied what Steph did. Steph Curry, perfect. They just fell asleep. The handle, and then it just got a little separation as the defense stopped working. Steph on Trey Young, shot clock at nine. Splits both defense. Gets to the line, flips it in, and draws the foul. You ever wonder how great this guy is? Watch that play. That's strength. Finishing through contact. It was so good he didn't even know how to celebrate. He had to take a second, figure it out. What am I going to do? Oh, he was, I think he was going to go to the shimmy, but then just decided to go with the fist bump. Well, he only beats four players to get the basket and the free throw. He's just an all-round scorer. Pick your poison. Take away the three ball. He can finish strong. There's just not guys at 33 years of age that are still this amazing. So tenths of a second difference. And Steph is going to try to play this out for the last shot. And the deep three. Perfect. Just wait for a split second where the defender fell asleep. That's perfectly done. So 30 for 30 again. Trey Young, that floater is knocked away. And the Warriors, like you said, are going to have a layup. But they'll trade three for two as Curry drops in the triple. That man is always dangerous. He got a two-point game. And the free throws are going to be the story of this game. There's no two ways about it. Curry's brilliance also a factor. The Warriors have done so many good things in this game. But when they look at the tape here, some of the wounds were self-inflicted. And the game was lost in the first five minutes of the fourth quarter. So the Atlanta Hawks, their vets get it done. 40 off the bench from Lou Williams and Danilo Gallinari. Now the Warriors starters played very well, but the reserves had a tough night. And Trey Young was outplayed thoroughly by Mr. Curry. But the return of Steph is good. You'd think he and Draymond will be ready for Milwaukee. The Warriors come home. Very tough road trip. 117-111, the final Warrior Post Game Live is coming up. Tuesday night, Mission Bay. San Francisco and the home of the Golden State Warriors. The sparkling new Chase Center is the site tonight. It's the NBA on TNT. It's presented by State Farm. Tonight, the Milwaukee Bucks against the Golden State Warriors. Bucks continuing their road trip. They played well thus far. They've won three straight. No Giannis Antetokounmpo tonight. Stephen Curry will play for the Warriors. Well, Jim, Steve Kerr, he has been to the mountaintop, and after a dreadful year last year, losing Klay Thompson at the end of the season is Wiseman on the receiving end from Stephen Curry. James Wiseman at the center of a lot of discussion around the Golden State Warriors just turned 20 a couple of weeks ago as Curry with that quick release knocks down the three and a quick 10 spot on the board in the first two minutes for the Warriors. Wiseman is fouled and won as he goes strong to the basket in a two handed jam. Curry goes with a left hand. Beautiful finish by Stephen Curry. Curry gets stuck, 
Curry finds some space, just throws it up, gets his own, puts another one up, and cash it in. <laughs> Stephen Curry scores. Lopez, no. Keeps it alive into the hands of Curry. Five-point Warriors lead, and there's Wiseman. Curry draws all the attention, Jim. Wiseman springs free under the basket. 49-46, the Warriors lead it by three. Curry wanted a timeout. Get into this offensive set here. Curry running with Green and Wiseman, Wiggins, and Oubre as Curry walks away from that one. Could feel it. That'll be a long two for Stephen Curry. Pushes that Golden State lead to five. As Curry gets to the basket, first possession after the timeout. One point, Bucks lead, under nine to go. On Looney on the floor, running with Draymond Green. There's Curry. Curry, three-pointer is good for Stephen Curry. Looney gives it right back. Curry goes right by Lopez. Woo! Little reverse is good. The scoop reverse for Stephen Curry. Steph and talking about a scoring option. Steph can get that all day. Curry goes with the right handed layup. Coming to the end of the third quarter, and Holiday trying to check Stephen Curry behind the back. Lost it for a moment, recovers and scores. Three pointer from Stephen Curry. Curry with the left-handed layup. Now Curry trying to give it to Holiday on the other end. Good defense, knocked it out of his hand. Curry recovers. Now Wiggins on the take. Andrew Wiggins, big basket for Golden State. Five and a half to go in this fourth quarter. Timeout on the floor. We have a Six-point game, the Bucks with the ball in the lead when we continue. Holiday trying to shake Curry. Holiday gets inside. No, there's Green with a rebound. Curry going to the basket. Curry lays it in. Golden State a chance here. Green goes to the basket, gives it up. Oubre for three. Oubre in and out. And look at Wiggins, the effort to run it down. Curry, three-pointer for Stephen Curry. <laughs> and now Golden State a chance to tie or take the lead here as we approach two minutes. And Wiggins goes strong to the basket. The lane opens up, and Andrew Wiggins ties this game. Here goes Holiday. No, met at the rim. Having some scoring discrepancies here. Apologize for that. Our system not jiving with the official score here as Bazemore goes and gets the roll off the back iron. Trying to sort out the scoring. There's been a question about the scoring from site there in San Francisco. 118-117. Is what is posted right now is Curry with a long two. Yes, he's got another one. Stephen Curry goes over 40 with that one. 41 for Curry, and it's a three-point Golden State Warriors lead. Here goes Middleton now. He is fouled. Chris Middleton hits the first uh, two free throws here. Make it two for two for Middleton, and it's a one-point game, 120-119. Curry, all kind of attention. Gives it up. There was a deflection, but into the hands of Bazemore. Now shot clock getting late. Bazemore got to do something with it. Bazemore goes, and it is blocked by Lopez. No, count the basket. And it was Davis who called the goaltend. Oh, man, that is close. That's real close. And from his angle, I like the block. There you go, Jim. Good call. You're all over it. I, I think the, the arc tomorrow. of that ball, that close to the rim, you usually see a goaltend there, right? But I think that ball, just kind of looking at the path of it, was going to be an air ball. I mean, it still had some heat as it was going to the basket. So take two points away, 120-119. Milwaukee with the ball, 36.3 seconds remain in regulation. Drew Holiday at the controls, gives it up. Connaughton open for three, and Connaughton comes up short. It is Holiday who wrestles it free. He gets the board and the basket, and Milwaukee on top. 
Warriors down a point. Curry double team. Here's Bazemore now. Kicks it. Wiggins for three. No good. Middleton keeps it alive. Oubre now. Oubre can't hit it. And a whistle and a foul on Milwaukee. Two shots for Kelly Oubre. Can give the Warriors the lead. We are tied at 121. He got it. Got the friendly bounce. Mike Budenholzer will take the timeout. Warriors do not have a foul to give here. Oh, and a bad pass. Fortunate ends up in the hands of DiVincenzo. Clock ticks down to three to two. Middleton, that was partially blocked. And the clock is going to tick to zero. And the Golden State Warriors are going to win this one tonight. 122 to 121. What a comeback for the Warriors. And a beautiful defensive stand right there by the Golden State Warriors. Stephen Curry goes for 41 tonight. And the Warriors get a much needed win. <laughs> look at that smile on the face of Steve Curry. He pulled the mask down and said, look at this smile, boys. <laughs> and Stephen Curry steps into the spotlight with 41 tonight. And Stefan, kind enough to join us now. Stefan, can you hear us? It's Brian Anderson and Jim Jackson. Hold on. I've got to play Geek Squad and turn this up. I can't hear, I can't hear. <laughs> go, There we go. Go ahead. We go. Do, do what you need to do. Microphone test for Stefan Curry. <laughs> okay. Great game. I'm sure the adrenaline is pumping here, but talk us through the finale of that game. Really, since you came back on the floor about the eight-minute mark, what, what were you able to pull off at the end of this game? I mean, uh, we, we needed this in the worst way. Um, Consider how the last 12 or so games has gone, have gone 16 games, and we just needed a win to feel good about ourselves. And the last eight minutes were just, you know, scratching and clawing and trying to uh, to finish the game strong. Obviously, some shots went down. It was kind of back and forth. Uh, but we, we buckled down the last three minutes and got enough stops to uh, come out with the win. Um, it's crazy. We needed that energy. It was uh, it's been <laughs> rough around here. Steph, congrats on the win. Jimmy Jackson, I, I know you said before about the team, it has to hurt when you lose games. you got to feel the pain. Yet in this game, you could have easily folded in. I mean, a lot of times that happens, but you, find, you found a way. How can this propel you forward to winning more games like this, in particular when you're at home? It gives you confidence, and it should help us build our identity. I think, uh, you know, honestly, in years past, we've taken the court and we've known exactly how to go after wins and how to execute. This year, it's been inconsistent because we really don't know how to do it as a group, uh, you know, every single night. Whether the shots go in or not, whether you get stops or not, I think our identity is, is forming through some, some lumps and some losses and some bruises. And tonight, you know, it's kind of the same vibe where you just gain confidence that you can win a game down the stretch, um, you know, even if things aren't going your way for, you know, 42 minutes. So... Uh, it's, it's big for us you know, as we continue to grow, um, you know, try to make a you know, playoff push and, and some of the young guys understand what, what, winning, what winning is like. Stefan, last one quickly. We saw you hit the deck, that, that tailbone biting you. It looked like uh, you came back strong. You hit a three right after that. What is the sensation? What is the pain you're going through? And, and how serious is this injury for you? I mean, it hurts, but I can play. Obviously, you see, I can move. It's just as long as I don't land on it. And I almost made it the whole game without one, so uh, <laughs> just one of those things you gotta you gotta maintain in the off days to get ready. But I can play, I can do whatever I want on the court as long as I don't land on it. So I got a nice little butt pad too. I don't, I don't, I don't I think see that. that's the first time I've ever bragged about something like that. So uh, I'll take it in style. <laughs> you have every right. Excellent mic placement with the headset. We appreciate your time, uh, absolutely. Stephen Curry. He goes for 30 Thanks, in the second half. 41 for the night. What a performance, Jimmy, by Stephen Curry. He's having a monster year. Beginning of a home back-to-back -back for the Dubs at the spectacular Chase Center. Wizards tonight, Rockets tomorrow. And the Warriors with a couple days off after that scintillating finish against the Milwaukee Bucks, but standing in their way, Russell Westbrook. Steph Curry down the lane and laying it up and in. He's going to take what the defense is going to give him. And if you just keep throwing lobs to Wiseman, the Wizards don't seem to have an answer for that. Yeah, Steph is going to take two defenders. Just throw it up for the big man. Make it easy. That help is late. Steph down the lane. We said Washington gives up a lot. <laughs> he saw Hachimura just stop right in front of him. He's like, oh, I can get by him. And just figure out how to finish. And they're making life tough on Beal. He's 0 for 3 right now. That was a great contest. Thought he got fouled.
Steph's got Len on skates and hits the three right in his face. When he sees a big man on him, he's like a lion that sees his prey. It's time to go into attack mode quick. Steph over Bertan. <laughs> that is one three-point shooter hitting one on top of a three-point shooter. That's not bad defense either. Steph says, I don't think Bertans can stay with me. <laughs> and Steph was right. See that hesitation? Just went left, stopped, and then Bertans just took a quick break and explode by him. I wonder why Ish Smith isn't guarding Steph. It's a little weird. As Curry scores another layup. Knew he had the angle on Lynn. Curry for three. Got it. Draymond just. He just sees all the cutters, sees everybody flying open. Westbrook lost sight of it. Wiseman doubled. And Curry relocate three and was already running back on D. Lynn just relaxed as soon as he gave it up. He's like, oh, great news. I didn't foul. Oh, no, Steph's got it again. <laughs> Scott Brooks is like, that guy, he's got 22. That is a high lob to somehow. In fairness to Washington, that should have been basket interference. Well, you remember the Christmas game here last year. They left Westbrook over in a rocket uniform. He missed over and over. One leap step, you're going to have a problem. That's execution. That's the step ball screen play. They switched it, but then Steph comes off of a flare screen. Just kept moving. Draymond went straight out. That's beautiful defense right there. Push ahead, Oubre. In on Beal to put it in with the right hand. The adjustment he made. Saw Bradley Beal flying in there. He said, Beal's like, that's my former teammate. He's left handed. Oh, wait. <laughs> Bradley Beal. And I'll tell you, Wiggins is doing the job on him. Beal is two of eight. Curry on the kick out. Ubre to tie the game, and he did. Steph set that up so beautifully. Raymond before the defense could get there. I'll tell you what, I love Steph's decision making. And they're just going at two bigs, basically. He had two bigs guarding that ball screen. Warriors have to make a pay is what they're thinking. Raymond's waiting for a Steph relocate. Shot clock down to seven. Steph cutting back door, finishing. Draymond was looking for him the whole time. He's like, Steph, you got Danny. No, you got Davis Bertans on you. Use that to your advantage. Hachimura in the mid-range. And he's been fantastic tonight with 22. Draymond to Oubre, and he'll hammer that down. That's their all night. All that attention on Steph. That's just beautifully done by the Dubs. He'll attack him. Steph knocked it away. Baseball comes up with it. Running with friends. Warriors have an advantage. Steph was open, but Wiggins. He had a dunk. It was going to be a goal 10 anyway. Beal again. Trying to get downhill on the kick out. Hachimura, they run him off the three point line. Hachimura denied, but fouled. Oh, jump ball. Got a jump ball. Draymond Green just met him in the air, went straight up. So batted out. And Ubre let it go out of bounds smartly, and it's Warrior ball. Steph on Bertans, but Westbrook is lurking. Curry gets around him. Curry reverse layup in the lead. It's too easy. They switched Bertans onto him. Steph is like, great news. This is what I wanted. Westbrook out to Beal. Driving. He took a lot of steps. It didn't matter. Baysmore got the rebound. Steph says, get out of here. And they foul Curry. So Steph hits them both. They don't want the Wizards to use clock. Three-point lead with 13 seconds left. Westbrook will shoot a three. Fire, long rebound, Beal's got it. Beal for three, he made it and he was fouled. This is the free throw to untie the game. I think his feet were probably behind the line. And a four point play. They got a chance to win it with six seconds left in the game. Raymond to Damian Lee back door. Oh no. And he didn't shoot it. He threw it away. And now the Warriors will foul again with 1.2. Well. They beat the Lakers, they beat Utah, and they beat Brooklyn twice. So they're no stranger to knocking off good teams. The Warriors need a three, and they need a miracle. Wiggins to trigger. Curry's got it. And a three. And that will do it. So the Wizards' four-point play by Bradley Beal. The Warriors were up three with 13 seconds left in the game.
and they're unable to close it out, and there'll be a lot of head shaking, and the Wizards get all those points from the center spot, and they execute in the final 20 seconds, and the Warriors do not. Look, tonight we may see somebody pass Wilt Chamberlain, Steph Curry, for the all-time Warriors scoring lead. How about that? That is amazing. And look, when you look at how they both have done it in very different ways, look, Will Chamberlain is one of the most dominant athletes that America has ever seen. One of probably the most dominant athletes this world has seen. And Steph Curry, just a technician, so fundamentally sound, has taken a three-point shot to another level, and he is deserving of being the all-time leading scorer. There is Jamal Murray with the first two for the Nuggets. How are they different with Murray in the lineup, Richard? Well, you know, he is just, you know, that scoring punch. He is the guy that can explode for 50 at any point in time. And Steph Curry's got two, three quick ones in the book. How do you play with Steph Curry at their best? Like, what, what's a good teammate for Steph Curry? Well, just an under, a person that understands. And you're going to see where the way Steph Curry plays and the way the Warriors have played, very similar to the way that Denver plays. A lot of ball movement, a lot of screening, a lot of cutting. And a lot of that is not necessarily for yourself. It's for your teammates. And I think the Warriors and the Denver Nuggets do as good of a job as any teams in the league. You would know this is the Richard Jefferson revenge game as Curry buries another one. Six early for Steph Curry. It's an interesting mix right now for Golden State as Steph steps back into a three and buries it. Oh my goodness, Steph Curry is eight shy of the Warriors' all-time scoring record. Steph Curry got another for three. You're right, Richard. He wants to take care of this 19 in the first quarter. <laughs> Man, he's, look, he's smiling about it because he knows. He wants to get this out of the way. Great players know these things. I know they don't talk about them, but they have them in the back of their mind. And there is Steph with the rebound. He is five short of the Warriors' all-time record in scoring. And this pull Too short. Too short. <laughs> he's too short. Shout out to the Bay Area legend. I mean, he has literally changed... Look the arena Look in which the game played. <laughs> yeah, he's, I mean, it's one of those nights, Richard. Yeah, but most people, you don't know that it's one of those nights by your first three shots, but he's one of those guys that the Denver Nuggets don't shore this up quickly. We might not be talking about him passing, you know, Will Chamberlain. We might be talking about him having a 50 ball. I don't know how you shore it up. I mean, he's making from everywhere. Now, he has two right there, and that and look, he knows. Steph Curry he, he knows. just got himself the record. He passed Will Chamberlain on the all-time Warriors scoring list. Unreal, and he did it in the first quarter. <laughs> Get it out of the way. Get it out of the way so you can just play, play ball. Well, so 19 in the first quarter isn't even his season high right now. But uh, the smile's been plastered on his face all night long. He knew what he was going to go at least try and do, and he made it happen. Well, it just, a a as a player, that feels good. You know, it, there's a lot of weight to it. Say whatever you want. This man has won MVPs. He's done so many things around this league. There's nothing left for him to accomplish. But when you start to hit these milestones, which as he's starting to get older, he will. And this is not a franchise that hasn't had Hall of Famers. You know, you think about Mullen. You think about Nate Thurman. Uh, you think about Rick Barry. There has been some greats, some all-time greats come through here. But no one was going to touch Wilt Chamberlain's record until something different came along. And Steph is that something different. But again, they both, as you said, they both have changed the game. Wilt Chamberlain was the guy who helped institute offensive goaltending and widening the lane. Steph Curry has spread out this game and given hope to so many people who've heard they're not big enough or whatever it might be. They both have materially changed the NBA forever. Yeah, and, and you know, his, sto his story still has a lot of chapters left. Steph Curry, little jab, and he knocks down a three. So welcome back into the ball game, Steph Curry. Such an interesting Warriors team, though, because you have the old guard, basically, and Steph Curry and Draymond Green, a bunch of young guys. He scoops that off the window, and the train continues. Will Chamberlain, congratulations. That's awesome. Hey, you want to go? I love like it's hey Will Chamberlain congratulations hey you want to go ahead like Steve Kerr's is coaching again as his cut gets the Warriors too.
Yes, yeah, true. Porter ends up on the ground, and Bazemore lays it in. And now Jokic had it knocked away by Draymond Green. Ahead for Draymond, and a stuff. Porter catch and shoot. Missed it again, and the rebound for Golden State. A lot of one and done for the Nuggets, and Draymond Green's in a hurry. This is Curry trailing for three. And let me say this, this is where Steph Curry is such a unique player. Your first goal is to stop the ball, right? If you were taught that as a kid, but when Draymond's bringing that ball up, you gotta go find shooters. It's not about stopping the ball nearly as much as you normally do against other teams. The Warriors have a three-point advantage on Steph Curry's pass Wilt Chamberlain for the Warriors scoring record night. You know, they just got to find this little stretch here in this third and fourth quarter to get their offense buzzing again. Draymond Green makes it a five-point lead. Porter is going to bid. And he missed it way off. Nice save. Gordon for Porter for two. You feel like that might have been an important play for the Nuggets. Curry. Goodness. Wide open, and he is lethal. Gordon got Draymond Green in the air and missed from the welcome mat. The rebound for Golden State. Their bodies everywhere. Baysmore wide open now. And he cans it from Curry. It is a nine-point Golden State lead. You know, when you watch the Nuggets here in this second half, they they really, you know, Monte Morris, Capazzo, they're oh doing everything they can. Goodness. But Steph Curry is just, he's just different tonight. I mean, you can bring two guys and you can split them anyway. Watch this shot. It's ridiculous. You watch it. I'm not watching. You watch it. Yeah. You watch it. Look at that. <laughs> and I think Steph might have had a little something to say on his way back. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Get him off me. Look, and look, that's all you can do. You know, it would be a really interesting stat, which, you know, I know we don't have time for that, is before Steph came into this league, and I know it's not just him. Obviously, there's Clay, there's Kevin Durant, there are some great shooters out there. How many people even attempted double-digit threes or made double-digit threes before, let's say, like 2008? It was very, very few. So again, the volume in which guys are shooting threes, not just teams, not just individuals, but just like collectively, the volume is just so high. I, I, again, he's he's materially changed the game of basketball. And by the way, if they're going to do multiple statues of him, one of them should have the mouth guard hanging out. So this is pregame. Uh, he needed 19. You figured when we saw what we saw pregame, he was going to get it pretty quickly. Oh yeah. Well, look, we were. I, I might have been Instagramming live this a little bit. Just look at this. This is just him warming up, doing some dances, like. And, and you know what's so crazy is that players are, you know, it's a copycat league. And now you start to have stats from how players shoot from 30 feet and beyond. Dame Lillard, you know, also one of those guys that can shoot from there. He's hit game winners in the postseason from distances like that. So, you know, when you talk about changing the, changing the game, it's also challenging other players to push their limits. Cross court for Curry. Step aside three. Oh, yes. And look, say what you want. Steph Curry is a, an outright assassin, but the Denver Nugget defense, you put two on the ball, then once he passes it, they both leave him. Curry said, get Compazzo off of me earlier. And Jamal Murray comes to his teammate's aid and says he was warding off on him. And there it is, 50 tonight for Steph Curry on the night that he passes Wilt Chamberlain for the all-time Warriors scoring lead. He is halfway to Wilt's 100, and that is going to do it. Golden State on a night when Steph Curry passed Wilt Chamberlain for the all-time Warriors scoring lead, gets a win. 53 ties his fourth most ever in an NBA game. Steph Curry legitimately unreal tonight.
Kobe, and there, there's not much that we can say that we haven't said for the last two hours about him, what he's meant to the game, how he's played, but just, and it's not just threes, it's the high floaters off the glass, you know, showing a little love, and then the back cuts with the hard board slap. He's Richard Jefferson. I'm Jason Benetti. Thanks to our entire wonderful crew. Warriors win at 116-107. Sports Center with SVP is coming up next. Thank you for watching. Our Cadillac starting lineup, John Wall and Kevin Porter. Christian Wood missing on a three. Kelly Olenek and Jay Sean Tate. Also starting for the Rockets. That was well contested. Steph Curry, Bazemore in for Kelly Oubre. Wiggins Wiseman and Draymond Green for the Dubs. The kick out to Tate. And missing that three step, the rebound in motion. Surveying the push ahead. Wiggins soaring in. That's blocked off the backboard. That's by definition goaltending and count the basket. Sean Tate blocked by Wiggins. I love that they clogged up the paint, recovered, and Wiggins is ready to move his feet. Yeah, Jordan, that's a good run out. I'll tell you, Steph, he doesn't get enough credit for his throw aheads in transition. Linick is kind of holding on to Steph. He went around him and scored anyway. That's one thing about this Rockets team with Christian Wood and Olenek on the floor. They've struggled defensively. One reason is because Olenek struggles guarding the perimeter. The push ahead, Jordan Poole in a full-on sprint again to lay it up and in. Jordan Poole got a piece of that one. He's one of the reasons that turnover happened. Augustine flipping that up and in, and he is the prototype backup point guard. He's so solid. Steph Curry for three. Already backpedaling. Draymond with a beautiful screen. And Martin Jr. starting to go under, and Steph just stopped. Got some space off of that little handoff. Another steal. JTA with the deflection. Curry three in rhythm. Yes, sir. This is how you finish the half. The momentum. You want to keep it on your side. Steph's got a Linux on the switch. He'll step back with the jumper and drop it in. So very, very smoothly there. It's too easy. That's the perfect two for one, by the way. Exactly. When the Linux switches on to him, he's going to work. And Steph, beautiful defense. And the throw ahead passes as JTA gets the dunk. I'll tell you what, Curry is like Patrick Mahomes on these long distance tosses. Watch Steph keep coming. He fought over the screen, knew he was beat. His teammates got his man. I gotta keep coming, track where that pass is going, then throw it ahead. Everybody's been super intentional running the floor. Lennox missing there. Steph for the rebound. Good look at the three. There you go. You know, JTA plays with Steph and Draymond very well. He's looking for Steph. Greatest shooter that's ever lived. He took his time on that one. That guy is a good three-point shooter. And Steph Curry drops it in. He is every night, usually. Wiggins on the sprint out. He'd be able to catch that. John Walson, not Curry behind his back. Flip it up and in. Draw the foul. Showtime. Did he go behind the back? Look, he's going to... Make sure that, that he's not falling off the stands this time. He's running the stands. Did he go behind the back here? Yes, he did. Look, he had the Warriors run the floor. What else is new? Who else has this creativity? Kevin Porter Jr. comes over. It's like, let me go behind the back to avoid him. Change of direction. The ability to concentrate, finish through contact. Said the Rockets had two quarters against the Clippers that were amazing. Steph brings in that three. Shooter's roll. Of course. Of course a shooter like him is going to get that roll. And Curry keeping him at bay with another three. Watch that. The two defenders stayed with Jordan Poole and left Steph Curry. Curry shot down from Union City. He's laughing too. Okay. Remember how he started the game? Foul trouble, out of rhythm. That didn't last long. That ricocheted off Steph, he stayed with it. He's absolutely feeling it. How about this third quarter? He is in a groove right now. His handle is so good, he lost that one. It bounced right back to him. 33 in the game, 7 of 8 here in the period. He's got that thing on a string, even if it hits someone else first. Give it oh, go. Oh, is playing basketball. After the double team, they just fell asleep. But that's when Steph starts working. Curry three. Why not? Exclamation mark. Yes. 38. Look at Steph. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Dr Clay. Ball <laughs> <laughs> misses. And that will do it.
Hopefully good news on Wiseman and Oubre health-wise. But the Nuggets coming to town on Monday, and Steven Silas, better days ahead for the Rockets. And a very professional effort by Houston tonight, and it took a superlative effort from Steph Curry to get it done. Warriors win it 125-109. Warrior Post Game Live with Vontae Hill, Jennifer Easy, and Darrell Wright coming up following these messages. But for the Dubs, this game, they had to have it. They got it done. And the best shooter in the world put on a display. And so it begins. A five-game road trip starts in Oklahoma City. Warriors 3-1 and one on the most recent homestand. Every game matters. And Draymond Green coming off a season high, 18. And I'm so anxious to see what he looks like offensively because you're missing 10 points from Pascal, 11 from Wiseman, 20 from Oubre. The Warriors are down 40 points. He's been keeping him honest. They need him to keep doing that. OKC lost to Utah last night and had to travel as a back-to-back -back while the Warriors were waiting in Oklahoma City for him as Curry drops in a three. Same thing. He just come off that loony screen. His defender, Moses Brown, is under the basket. Steph's got all kinds of room. Draymond on the kick. Steph in kind of a rhythm dribble, and Curry dropping in the three. That was Bazemore setting that screen for him. No one could close out to Steph. Steph had all kinds of time, called his mom, then knocked it down. <laughs> Bazemore is shooting a career best on threes. And he drops in another triple. And he, he loves the corners. That's why did that number go up? Because he's taking a ton of corner threes this year. Steph Curry dropping in another three. And that is a great point guard all time. Damian Lee kept it alive. Gordon Poole's getting all he wants right now. You make the free throws, you see the ball go through the basket, then the three-pointer comes along for the ride. High loop kicks it out to Maladon, and Staff good box out for the rebound. The push ahead to Mulder. Oh, Mulder with the high-rise spike. Oh. Oubre liked it, Nico liked it, and that'll be a timeout OKC. For a man who didn't dunk, I will let you describe this. Elevation. Got up so high. Warriors trying to keep that expanded lead at halftime. Curry for the triple, and he was already running back. Steph knew as he's got four made threes. Oh, Steph and Draymond. Oh, oh, oh. oh that, that was the invisible move, and he got to the lane to lay it in. It's a walking highlight. It's just all creativity. His I, mind is just so free. He just reacts. I think he split himself in half and then regathered. How, how did he do that? <laughs> like the something about the Matrix? That, I'm just saying. That was one of the most incredible moves I've seen him make. Damian Lee for three. And the Warriors pouring it on here. He got it all going right now. I bet if you ask defenders, though, what's the most annoying part of guarding Steph? It's his movement without the ball. Yep. Because like, yep. it, you're on him. He makes a great move. It's like, OK, tip your hat. But he, he really frustrates you when he doesn't have the ball and you oh, lose Curry, him. three. All the dribbling, all the creativity, and then the triple. I think he likes playing OKC. Steph, just the handle. He just dribbled through the defense, nonchalant, the, the walk in the park. The last just spin, he dribbled through his legs to then get into the shooting position. <laughs> look, at his, look at his reaction afterwards. That was filthy. I'm a monster. Looney sends Steph on his way, and Curry flipping it up and in for 19. I would like Steph to make it eight games with 30 or more of course keep expanding on this personal best streak he's on steph curry smoothly dropping in the triple he's got 22. And draymond you can hear him screaming i won't say it he and does. one i will for him. <laughs> you, you can do it now with this big lead you can start looking at steph and draymond and looney's minutes here because you play tomorrow night and it's an hour earlier too tonight was an hour late due to testing for COVID. And Bazemore just stripes that three. Steph just is so smooth with it. Split action, just getting to the teeth of the defense. Find the open man. Ooh! Uh, Wiggins right down the lane. That was violent. Look at him smiling, too. I'd be feeling myself, too. Curry, another three. I think Steve's leaving Steph in to make sure he gets 30. <laughs> right? He's got 25 right now. It's making it look so easy. You know, how many core pieces do the Thunder have now? 
That, that's going to be the interesting one. Well, it's Shea Gilgis Alexander. He's had a great season. He's going to get better and better. Steph is just another three for Curry. I'd say toying with him. Steph Curry hops in the three. And another night of more than 30 for 30. And he is overwhelming. 31 for Steph. It's Draymond naked hand off, and he gets the spike. Once the official sees that arm extended, they don't they don't worry about how much contact. They just see the arm away from your body like that. Exactly. Then if you're Damian Lee, fall back a little more. Just make sure they see it. I thought the song was lean back. <laughs> now Steph with a corkscrew reverse layup. Curry, why not? Come on, it's just a shooting exhibition. So 10 threes against Denver, 10 threes again tonight, 19 in the quarter and 36 in the game. Curry, another one, he's got 11. And he wanted a foul, they never give him that foul. He didn't give him a place to land. Steph will track that down. There will be a game this year. The way he is shooting the ball, as he does get fouled this time. They gave it to him. Is Clay's 14 threes. That's going down. It's not safe. It's going down. Clay sweating over there. I'm just saying, the way he's shooting, he had 10 the other night, and he kind of took the foot off the accelerator on threes. He's you. 11 of 16 on threes tonight. I don't know if it's going to be, you know, a tight one against Boston or Philly or Pelicans or. You get the fe you get the feeling he's going to have a 15-3 game. You, you just you just do. No three ball record is safe with this man on the floor. But I just love his thought process though, like. Before Steph, taking 11, 12 threes a game was unheard of. Right. It's like, right. well, I shoot it good enough. I'm going to be over 40% every single year. Why not give myself more of a chance to make a bunch of them? Well, Steve Kerr is going to sub Steph out because he clearly has been slacking. With 53, he's dropped all the way to 42 tonight Yeah. in three quarters. In 29 minutes, he had 42 points. A lot of smiles in Dub Nation tonight. They went three and one on the home stand, make it four out of five. Cleveland standing in the way. And a nice beginning to the road trip in blowout fashion. Curry for 42 with 11 more made threes. Warriors win it 147 109. Only 50 point quarter in the NBA. Warrior post game live with Bonte, Mully, and D. Wright is coming up after these messages. Every Warrior person knows every restaurant and every street in Cleveland. <laughs> we were there a lot for many, many years. It was all playoff stuff in the finals. And Kevin Love, he got that championship in 2016. Have a little fun with Draymond and Steph. And actually good to see Kevin Love healthy because the Cavs, they get Sexton back. They have Kevin Love and Jared Allen. This is the healthiest Cleveland has been coming off a win over Charlotte last night. And Steph, there you go. This little wall off the defender and flip that up and in. They're top blocking him. They don't want him to come off and shoot that three ball. And Steph's just saying, yeah, you can do that. I'm going to go to the rim. So Looney sliding in. And so there's a warrior adjustment to that. Said it. Two defenders went with Steph. Roll to the rim. Weak side was late. Wiggins hitting that three off the Steph creation. Draymond attacking. Draymond oh. down the lane. How about that finish? And it's not like Nance can't jump. That was vicious. Montescano Anderson flying in, took the body, and then the finish. He bodied him, though. Didn't avoid the contact. Jumped straight into the defender. Steph weaving through traffic up top and right down the lane. So, okay. Keep me off the three-point line. The layups count just as much. He is blowing by their bigs easily. Sexton, and it was Steph picking his pocket, running with friends. In a three-on-one if they hurry, Curry will flip it up and in and draw a foul. There's a thing about playing the right way, and Steph, when your superstar sets that example, then everybody plays that way. That's why they all love Steph. That's why they all love playing with Steph. Like, let's, let's just set a screen for Steph. Usually my guy's going to go with him. I'm going to roll, but he's always going to make the right play. Steph down the lane with the left hand. See him get into the body of that defender. That's why he's finishing so much better. Never avoiding contact. Moving without the ball. As Steph lays that in. Steph keeps getting in the rim. They're taking away the three ball again. He's saying, okay, I'm good with that. Yeah, has yet to make a 3-0 for five, but has four layups inside. And Steph Curry, it's been a layup line for him. No threes, a lot of lay-ins. Well, Bazemore got him that layup. He set that high screen, got Steph an advantage. And Draymond rattling that home. Shooter's roll. I know Draymond's telling him about it. Oh, he didn't say anything. That's rare. Well, he's telling Steph, I've made a three tonight. You haven't. <laughs> That's what he said running back.
Steph Curry, what a finish inside. Bigs hate trying to track that man. So it's all attacking layups tonight for Steph. He's working for those 17. So they're taking away Steph's threes and Damian Lee takes away the ball. But they're not taking away Steph's productivity because he's just grinding into a good game. And then there's the three. He can go nuclear at any moment. Damian Lee got the possession. Curry, the hand skyward after his first three made. Saying, thank God. Steph, an open three. Two in a row. Here we go. And you called it. Della Vadova's on him, too. When Della Vadova's on him, you know Steph <laughs> likes that even better when it goes He's in. He's trying to go at Della Vadova's head. And Steph knocked it away. Beautiful steal by Curry. Damian Lee comes away with the ball. Execute the final five minutes. Get your fourth win in a row. Win the first two on the road trip. And Steph Curry has got another little floater. They bottled him up from two but not on the scoreboard. Well, this is good warrior awareness because if you're going to put a Coro on Steph, that means that Sexton or Garland have to deal with Wiggins, and he, he's got the size on both of them. And he's attacking from outside the three-point line. I'd still love to see him just start in the post, see if they can start him a little closer. Oh, my well, goodness. <laughs> that'll work. <laughs> so drop it in the three. We've got another... 30 for 30. He's done it now nine straight games. Kevin Love, a triple in response off iron. Steph with the rebound. Steph is so good, he's even catching the cameraman off guard. <laughs> <laughs> They're not ours. Curry, another triple. You asked me how many he was going to hit. What I tell you? He said four. I said four in the second half. Okay. There's the fourth one. Okay. And he may not be done. To speak it into existence. This gets separation so easily, even over a Coro, who's done a pretty good job this game. Well, Darrell Wright said 35 points. He might be right on the money. On to Boston as the road trip continues. And the Warriors playing really good basketball. Maybe their best stretch so far of the year. The Golden State Warriors and the Boston Celtics as we welcome you once again to NBA Saturday Primetime on ABC, presented by AT&T 5G. Time now for our starting lineups, delivered by Taco Bell. Wiggins, Green, Curry, Kavon Looney, and Kent Bazemore starting his fifth consecutive game. They've won the previous four, so Steve Kerr likes the way this unit has been operating as they continue their East Coast swing. Meanwhile, for the Celtics, as we mentioned, Jalen Brown is out. Non-COVID illness, so Shemi Ojale will get his 10th start of the season. Walker, Tatum, Marcus Smart, and Tristan Thompson, who is playing some excellent ball recently for Brad Stevens and the Boston Celtics. Curry, three-pointer, first one of the night is good. Let's think about it. That's outstanding defense by Marcus Smart. He did his job. Got back to the body of Steph Curry. Give me great offense over great defense any day of the week. As Steve Kerr elects to keep Steph Curry in, which I am so on board with. Curry kicks it back out. Draymond Green, who has struggled from three this year, nails that one straight on. That's a shot that Draymond Green has got to take, be willing to take, make a miss. It, it releases so much pressure defensively for Steph Curry if he's willing to step in rhythm and make the defense pay. Curry, long three. That's good. Steph Curry from way downtown. He's now three of five from the field. Eight points for Curry. As Curry gets inside. Curry, a wide open pass to the rim after a Draymond Green rejection and it's a 14 point Golden State lead. They're shooting 58% from the field and a lot of layups. That's another good pass by Curry to a cutting Toscano. Curry spins. Step back trying to draw another foul and it goes in. Oh, Steph Curry with a circus shot and the foul. Was that a three or a two? It'll be interesting. It's the most, one of the most incredible and one you'll ever see. <laughs> Wait a second. He's holding me. He wants Brad Stevens to challenge it. It's a two-pointer. You can't challenge that. That's a foul. <laughs> it's the second time a big guy switched off and to Curry and is then trying to contest. You need to stay on the ground. 
to contest against Curry. 19 first half points. Remember, he's had 30 points plus in nine consecutive games. Kemba Walker's jumper is good. This is as spry as I think I've seen him all season. And it's key to their success moving forward. They need a healthy hole, Kimball Walker, at his best, where he can take pressure off of my goodness. <laughs> oh, Curry does it again. That one's a three-pointer. Now up to 22, and we still have a minute and a half remaining in the second. I said it in the open. Steph Curry believes that you have no answer for him. And you don't. Smart. Fall away baseline jumper. Curry wide open, knocks down another three, his fourth of the game. That's that smile that Rachel was talking about. They pushed the basketball. That's not a set play. Just Draymond Green understanding Steph Curry and Steph Curry understanding Draymond Green. Curry for three. Steph Curry another. He's got 28. Tatum's got 29. And it's a one-point game with six to go here in the third. Curry another three. Puts it in. Back-to-back -back threes for Curry. A little dance and a timeout for the Celtics as Golden State regains the lead. He's got 31, 10 straight games now with 30 or more for Steph Curry. This incredible hot streak continues, 6 of 11 from 3. And it's the Warriors by 2 here in Boston. Now 10 in a row tied with Kobe Bryant for most consecutive 30-point games. 33 years or older. Curry against Pritchard. Step back three. Puts it in. Steph Curry with a seven three-pointer of the night. He's got 34. This 10-game stretch has been staggering in the shooting and the numbers he's putting out. Curry tries another. Curry rattles home another three. And you know what's so interesting there? Brad Stevens called for the double team off of the five-man. Curry got rid of it, chased it back down. He has a relentlessness to movement where so many offensive players, if you take it out of their hands, they stand and watch the rest of the possession. Poole contested three. Off the mark, deflected. Viscano Anderson with a save goes crashing over the scores table. Curry for three. It's good. Steph Curry from downtown. Viscano Anderson still has not gotten up. They want a foul to stop the clock, and there it is. And everybody running over. And Anderson is down. An amazing effort from Juan Toscano Anderson, but went crashing over that scores table to save it. You know, in, in the normal circumstances with the scores table like that, it's usually everybody's right next to each other, and sometimes that breaks the fall. One thing to look at, look at the monitor. The monitor, after he falls, falls behind him. Yeah. Hopefully he's okay. As we said earlier, this young man has been just a, a tremendous story. And obviously a little wobbly after that. Young man from East Oakland. Getting a huge ovation here from with about 2,300 fans in attendance. He had a good career at Marquette, and then, as we said, it took him five years to get to the NBA. Five years of hard work. Said there were times we thought about might not work, but he has become a big part of their rotation once again. And it's for plays like this, he just plays so hard. Those days are over. He could say bye to the G League. He's going to be around the NBA for quite a while. Six boards for Steph Curry to go with the 41 points. Grant Williams on him. Curry behind the back. Puts up a three. Bang! Steph Curry again. He's got 44. And the Warriors lead by six. His 10th three-pointer. Good defense. Better offense. Putting on a show. Mama. There goes that man. Smart makes the drive. Bounce pass to Tatum in the corner. Fires up a three. It's good. Jason Tatum's got 40. And it's a one-point game. Six on the 24. Walker. Step back. Three-pointer. Won't go as the shot clock expires. Marcus Smart the rebound. And a new 14 on the clock. Tatum calling for it. He's got Curry on him. 
Double team, back out to Smart. Fakes the pass all the time. Three. Stang! Marcus Smart from downtown. And the Celtics go up by two. Curry the drive. Left-handed layup. Won't go. The tip is good. Kavon Looney ties the game. These two teams throwing haymakers at each other. Final minute here in the fourth. Tatum the drive. Tatum the finish. Timeout Golden State. Tatum's got 42 and the Celtics are up. 113-111. Green fakes, drives, layup. He missed it. And Tatum with a rebound. Had a great look. It just wouldn't fall. Shot clock at five. Walker step back three. Puts it in. Kemba Walker nails the three. And the Celtics go up by five. Curry looking for an opening. Corner three is up. Shot. It's good. Curry does it again. A two-point game with 17.1 remaining. Warriors have to foul. Tatum getting into the front court. And there's the whistle. And now huge free throws as Curry still limping a bit after turning that ankle earlier in the half. This is good defense. You call for a double team. Steph Curry still wins the battle on his turn. That's a big time shot. 11 threes, 47 points. But will it be enough? Because this man's got 42 of his own and a chance to make it a four point game with 13.1 remaining. Clutch free throw right there. What a duel between these two. Four point lead. Curry from inside half court. Off the mark, rebound Kemba Walker. And Walker is fouled with 5.7 remaining and the Celtic fans starting to celebrate. Damian Lee will inbound. Poole launches. Paul's shot won't go, and that'll do it. The Celtics win their sixth in a row. In a game led by two electrifying performances from two of the NBA's, NBA's best. And neutral respect all over that parquet floor. Jason Tatum, at 23 years old, throws up 44 points. Steph Curry getting congrats from Taco Fall after his 47-point masterpiece. And the Celtics win their sixth in a row and are now 8-1 in the month of April. What are those two saying to each other after those performances? Golden State Warriors, Philadelphia 76ers, a Monday night presented by State Farm. NBA action from beautiful Philadelphia. First of our doubleheader. And of course, as we've seen, different players out. Kent Baseball, by the way, starting another game. Five straight now for the Warriors with Curry, Wiggins, Draymond Green, and Kavon Looney at the center position. But they're a little shorthanded up front, the Warriors. Meanwhile, Philadelphia shorthanded. No Ben Simmons tonight. So Seth Curry and Burkhan, Cork Moss will start in the backcourt. And no Tobias Harris. Harris out with that sore knee again. Mike Scott will start in place. Simmons out with non-COVID illness. So Philadelphia comes in with a four-game winning streak. Joel Embiid playing fabulous basketball. They're going to have to go without two very key players, Doris. And Steph Curry gets on the board, his first three-pointer of the night. Steph Curry with back-to-back -back threes. Uh-oh. <laughs> Here comes Shake Milton. Alley-oop. Broken up beautifully by Draymond Green. And Damian Lee gets ahead of the pack and throws it down. Damian Lee, who spent some time here in Philadelphia, his first three years of college at Drexel. Steph Curry goes back to one to give and go. Left-handed flips it up and in. And there's that off-ball movement that is spectacular, Doris. I think that, you know, you, you said what's the most impressive part of it. I mean, I don't know. Doc Rivers was using terms like mesmerizing. Steve Kerr, majestic. Like, the guy does all this without dominating the basketball, Mike. Curry on Curry. Steph launches a three and hits it at the buzzer. Little brother not happy right now, but Steph Curry with his third three-pointer here in the first quarter as the clock expires. 11 points in the opening period. What a streak he's been on. 
Danny Green on Stephen Curry. Floats it up and in. His drives to the basket of the contact that he takes stores that everybody keeps talking about how much stronger he is, how much stronger he looks. The step lets him, oh, come on. That's his fourth three-pointer already, 16 points. And Seth Curry with another three-pointer, his third. He's got 15 points here in the first half. His brother's got 16. Make that 18. <laughs> <laughs> the Curry brothers putting on a show. Off the glass, beautiful move from Stephen Curry. And Golden State back up by three. He's got a 20-point half again. Jake Milton off the bounce, drives layup, missed. Curry pushes, fires Damian Lee, and Lee! Golden State back up by two. Steph Curry draws the foul. He's going to get back to the free throw line. That guy is going to keep you attached no matter what. Steph Curry tonight, 28 points, 5 of 10 from three-point land. Draymond Green and Kavon Looney with great backside support from the guys around him. Just Golden State playing their backsides off, and now Draymond gives him a little bit more cushion. And Steph Curry points him out, points right at him, saying terrific possession. George Hill did a great job denying, as you mentioned, and and Green able to knock down the shot for his second field goal. Curry to Draymond Green, lays it up and in. Boy, their feel for one another is something else to watch. Three-point sixer lead, Curry for three, puts it in. Steph Curry now, 11 straight games with 30 or more. He's got 32 tonight, that's his sixth three-pointer. This incredible streak continues for Curry. Curry back to Green, short jumper, shot is good. Draymond Green now with eight points. Curry for three, it's good. Steph Curry with his seventh three-pointer of the night. He's got 35. This guy is absolutely ridiculous. Steph Curry gets it back, fakes, drives, gets inside. Reverse bank shot, won't go, but a foul. What, what a sweet move. And he's going to head to the free throw line to give the Warriors a chance to take the lead again. Seth on Steph. Curry for three, it's good. Eight three-pointers. And the lead is four for Golden State. Another 40-point game for Stephen Curry. Back to Embiid. Puts it on the floor. Spins in the paint. Feet inside. Stolen by Draymond Green. The pass a bit behind Thibel. Green inside to Wiggins for the finish. And it's 98-92. Timeout Philadelphia. Curry, another three. Bang! Steph Curry does it again. Curry magic working here in Philadelphia. Talks about years of conditioning, every repetition, the spontaneity, creativity. Oh, my goodness, what a treat, Mike. Damian Lee who's given Steve Kerr some good minutes tonight. Inbounds back to Curry, chased by George Hill. Curry behind the back, drives, pulls back, puts up a three. Bang! Nine three-pointers make it now. Ten for 17 from downtown for Steph Curry. 104-95. Curry dribbling, lost the handle, foul by Embiid. A nine-point lead with 29 seconds remaining. This is how well the team knows him. They knew the trap was coming, so he says, no way. Everybody spaced out. It was George Hill, the only defender, and he's saying, uh-uh. Not in the groove I'm in. In the shooting zone like very few have ever been. It's lasted 11 games. And you're hearing MVP chants from the Golden State fans in attendance here in Philadelphia. You don't hear MVP chants on the road very often. Incredible, another game with double figures in three-pointers. Mike, what, a, what an absolute privilege to sit courtside and watch the greatest shooter in the history of the game do his thing. It's also nine for nine from the free throw line. 49 points tonight. Smile and enjoy it. One of the great shooting stretches this game has ever seen. Another electrifying performance 
from Steph Curry. Golden State wins it 107-96 in one of the toughest places to win on the road in the NBA. Another legendary stretch with brother able to watch. His brother Seth had a hot start, but the extraordinary finish from big brother. Final score, Warriors 107, Sixers 96, 49 for Curry. For Doris Burke, Lisa Saunters, and our crew, Mike Breen saying thanks for joining us. Time now, Jazz and Lakers. Let's go to Dave Patch and Mark Jackson. What a matchup in the nation's capital tonight. You think of the Warriors winning six out of eight, the Wizards winning seven out of eight, the two leading scorers in the NBA fighting for the scoring title. The Cadillac starting lineup, Steph Curry, Kent Bazemore, Andrew Wiggins, Kevon Looney, and Draymond Green for the Doves. And Steph down the lane and banking it in, and he saw a little single coverage to start the game. What's it like in the last day of a road trip for a team that's been on the road for eight days. I think a lot of it depends on how you've been playing. The Warriors have been playing well on this road trip, so I think they're thinking, let's finish strong. That's what Andrew Wiggins is thinking. Be aggressive. Don't wait for Steph to get going. You get yours. He's going to be okay. Warriors got down 12 to the Sixers, but it was 12-0. They've just been outplayed in this first quarter. Curry, beautiful delivery. So crafty finishing. Raymond uh, right down the lane and Neto is not going to be your rotator defender there if they're planning him to pass He has to take it all the way like that Oubre dropping in that three Green will go all the way to the hoop uncontested The last 11 games Steph has not been bottled up in a half ever compared to tonight Baysmore three <laughs> big shot there just emotionally as you're down a deuce after trailing by 19 Baysmore Ken Baysmore's 13 Wiggins 10 and Oubre's 18 are the only reason the Warriors are in this game Steph, beautiful okay. reverse Steph had taken no for an answer there Curry from deep there it is just did one got the layup his first three and can that trigger Stephen Curry? Just need one to go, then look out. Two little guys and all that attention on Steph. And go. Gafford's got to know better than that. But here we go. <laughs> so you hit the one three. Kalena said, look out. Well, there's another one. Draymond attacking again and laying it up and in. That fake handoff works so well. You had two big man guards, Steph and Draymond. They had to get something out of that one. Oubre. Taking his time to put that in. That was perfect. You saw Neto come over. Don't go up straight away. Take one more dribble. Get to a better position to finish. Curry for three, rimming it out. So hanging on by one at the two minute mark. Bertans for the lead. Got it. Yeah, he, Bazemore was trying to clog up the paint because the roller was rolling to the rim open. So that got. Bertans a little separation as he was moving around the three-point line. Rebound, Oubre to put it up and out and get to the line. Kelly Oubre, have yourself a night with 24, and you got 100 seconds of crunch time. Westbrook, going to clear his side. Westbrook driving, flipping it in. Wow, he's still so explosive this late into his career. Staff for the lead, and he missed that wide left. Wow. Final minute here with the shot clock down to five. Beal attacking, and without Draymond there, the Warrior defense is different. The clock should favor you. Steph down the lane, there and there's one. Yeah, Bongo was on him. Knew he could get by him pretty easily. This we gotta gotta help. Beal's not gonna pass this ball. Beal's not. He's gonna come shoot it. And at the very end, he changed his mind and got Bertans. Yeah, that's who Bazemore came off of, and Bertans just made him safe available right in the middle. So Steph hustling it back, Steph laying it in. That's perfect. Now you do have to foul. Shot clock is off here. Go for the steal first. You can get an eight-second violation if you're careful. Westbrook just realized that it's got deflected him. and stolen. Easy. Bazemore's got it. Put ahead to Wiggins, and he missed oh, the lay-in. No. no. The chance to tie the game, and that will do it. Ooh. Ah, they was right there. So Bertans. He makes the second one, and you're done. And makes them both. Oubre, Poole, and Bazemore have been simply incredible. 
You're a layup away from having tied that game. And there are no four point plays. And the Wizards will have dealt the Warriors two very tough losses, but this is more crediting Washington and how they played in the fourth quarter. So the Wizards have now won eight out of nine. The Warriors have a three and two road trip, which is excellent. They come home, remember, nine home games and only four road remaining. But Washington, Westbrook, and Beal get it done and hand the Warriors the loss. Chase Center on a Friday night. The Nuggets and Warriors and Dub Nation is back. Anthony Calvo is our first fan back in the building. Young and old, they are in Chase Center and get ready to watch the two likely MVP finalists duel for the last time this year. So Steph Curry will address the fans back in the building for the first time in 409 days at Chase Center. Here's the captain. Uh, all we got to say is it's great to see you guys in the stands. We miss your energy. We miss your passion. And uh, thank you for your patience and sticking with us through this unprecedented situation. It's great to see y'all back. On behalf of my team, coaches, the whole organization, tonight's a very special night. We want to thank Kim, uh, Kim Scott, the GM of Chase Center, for putting this all together. Hope you guys enjoy the experience. Appreciate the support. Let's get it. Steph would thank Kim Stone, the GM of Chase Center, <laughs> right. for all the health and safety protocols. He does not miss a beat. Curry flips it in. Steph Curry's first field goal of the game. Curry joined by Poole, Oubre, Looney, and Wiggins as Curry, as light as linen, floating it in. Curry wiggles free and hits the jumper. Here's Gordon. Acquired at the trade deadline for Denver. Nice little step back. Can't get it to rim in and Curry the rebound. Curry a three. It is good. First three of the night for Steph Curry. And that's so difficult. You see that rub screen at almost at the half court line. And if Jokic doesn't get all the way up, that's just a step in three for Steph Curry. But just that chemistry between him and Draymond to get him open is just remarkable. As Curry marches to the cup. Curry down the floor to Green who will lay it in. First points of the game for Draymond Green to go with his 11 assists and seven rebounds. Oh, Steph left quarter. And then on the relocate, that corner three is perfect. Listen, this spacing was terrible, but it didn't matter. Green had the position inside, finds Curry for the jumper. Shot clock at two. Steph recognized it at one. The high teardrop, and he got it. It touched the ceiling. Curry has had a big third. Guarded by Rivers. Curry shovels. Oubre connects on a three. Curry a bomb. No. Thought he was fouled. Now trying to flag down the loose ball. Cannot. But his efforts help win the possession back for Golden State. And he is not happy right now. Wow. Steph Curry heated. And gets hit with a technical foul. I believe he is very upset that there was not a foul call on that last three-point attempt where it looked like, Richard, he was undercut. That's just too close. That's not giving him room to land if you're Austin Rivers. And that's what that rule is about, right? I mean, that's why it's there. Speaking of amazing, Curry just hit another three. That's just the IQ of Steph and Draymond is connecting non-verbal using Jokic. It's not close enough to the handoff. Here's Green already with 17 assists. Curry mm -hmm. connects and make it 18 assists for Draymond Green. Everybody is hanging on him. Defenders all around stop a little bumper car, get a little separation on Compazzo, release it. Then I start my work. You're going to take a break. My fitness is way better than yours, and I'm counting on it. Early in the year, they couldn't have executed that play. Wet. Curry with the three and an opportunity for a four-point play. Here we go. 
He's going to start talking to him now. He can't guard me. Look at him. Look at him staring him down. Steph is on one right now. Said he had to restart a new streak of 30 or more. And there it is. And of course, it was going to be against Compazzo. Last time we saw Compazzo was 53. Beat your chest. Get the chance going up in here. MVP. He hears you loud and clear. As you could hear, it's a two-point bucket for Curry, not a three. And just a common foul against Compazzo. That's, of course, the, the Zaza Pachulia rule, if you will. Seeing if there's anything unnatural about the closeout. And whether or not there's either any intent to injure or any injury occurs to a player on an unnatural closeout. Well, the Warriors will dribble this one out back home in front of fans for the first time in 409 days and those fans are going to leave with smiles as golden state handles denver 119 to 97 the final sunday evening in san francisco with the warriors taking on the kings for the third and final time this year series at 1-1 the difference is when Sacramento had a lot of fun in meeting two Mr. Curry didn't play mm. and Steph Curry is playing tonight for the Warriors Curry for three and Steph breaks the seal but for his scoring it's the juke move without the ball that's where he's so lethal your work doesn't just start when he gets it it's off the ball and Steph dribbled it off his foot shot clock at three and Curry Gonna try to get one up from way deep and laser it in. Of course. Hash mark. Behind the back. Buddy yields all over him. Thought he was close enough. You are not. Come on. I mean, that, come on. That's crazy. <laughs> Harrison Barnes has been super hot. And I tell you what, four of five on threes. He's got 12 to lead all scores. When H comes in. 38% shooting is pretty good. That's some pretty good shooting as well. And Damian Jones knows about that. Again, he thought he was close enough. You would think if you're above that three-point line, Steph's range is just ridiculous. Steph down the lane. Oh, man. That's so smart. <laughs> the way he finishes. It's the movement without the ball. He's coming to his right. Let the defender's body momentum take them out of the play. Just rip it through. Go back the other way. The tempo, though, does this favor the Kings because they always play this way? I, I think it favors the Warriors a little more because the Warriors are a little better in transition defense than the Kings are. They just have any kind of push here before halftime because the Kings are kind of doing what they want. Halliburton missing on the teardrop. Warriors have numbers. Juan Toscano Anderson running the floor, and Steph saw him the whole way. You may remember during the pandemic that Shelby Delaney wore her warrior jersey to work and Steph Curry called her at Summit Medical Center. It was a great moment. I love that. I'm going to pay this off because Shelby and her husband Robert hey. are sitting courtside. Welcome. That's that's what happens when you know people with the dubs. Thank you for all you do. Steph is so good like that. Oh man, sees everything. I think you feel better if you're sick as Steph Curry gets the steal right on cue and lays it up and in. But you get in in a bad way and you got a nurse, they got a Warrior jersey on. I feel better already, right? Oh, Curry, wait a minute, I'm open. And Steph on a reload three. <laughs> <laughs> Took his time on that. That was a Wanta Scott Anderson screen. His defender just died on it. Can't happen with Steph Curry. Too lethal. Wanta Scott Anderson never saw a king in his way. It's the Steph attention. On right, able to get all the way to the iron. Just rejected the screen. You want to force him to it. The help's on the other side. If you let him go the other way, it's going to be easier for him. Oh, man. Curry, two for one, <laughs> and he drops in at three. <laughs> Yo, the <laughs> unlimited range is bamboozling everyone. Steph hits that from Union City and then it runs back on defense, knowing that the Warriors will get the final possession. There it is. The shot put again. This one a little flat. Draymond to Curry running the floor. Steph hung in the air and then finished with the right hand. He just looked back, saw Buddy Yield trailing. How do I finish this? Figured it out. Steph Curry answers. The guys who have made the most threes in the league, Yield and Curry going back and forth. JTA taking a turn on Harrison Barnes. In and out of the hands of Damian Jones. 
Bond and Draymond. Again, the passing of those guys. Touch pass by Steph. Nicely done. So usually Draymond hits that roller, but Steph saw it before Draymond did. Two defenders stay with Steph, and he just touch passed it to him. Curry high off the window. It touched the ceiling, but they switched it. He just sealed his man. Again, they top blocked him. Oh, Steph. The little crossover, the drop off, and the lay in by JTA. Steph's move was too good. Look at him doing the goggles. I see you. Come on down the lane on the draw and kick. Steph, a very deep three. He's got a flamethrower. Just the movement without the ball as soon as he gives it up. He can never take a break because he does it. Halliburton having that knocked away. Goaltended. He's got 13 of his 22 here in the fourth. Impressive. Raymond attacking downhill. It was a dangerous pass that Oubre saved the day with a catch and finish. When in doubt for Oubre, just cut on the baseline. Pass inside to Holmes. He will flip it up and out and another foul. Oh. Missed them both. There you go. So talk to me about the clock here. Minute 20 left, you're up one. You got time working with Steph. You got Holmes on a switch. Banging and bumping down the lane. Curry flips it up and out. Draymond guides it home. The offensive glass has been huge for the Warriors this quarter. Halliburton, he, he goes in, you still have the lead. And he get it to the best free throw shooter in the world. And Curry oh, threw it no. away. Oh, he and lost he it. gave it away. Oh. <laughs> Steph with an inexplicable turnover, and then Buddy Heald with a gift. And now there's the foul applied. And Curry makes the second. Harrison Barnes has it to work on Wiggins at six. Down to five. Harrison Barnes a three in the lead. Rimmed it out. Curry knocked as he grabbed the rebound. And the Warriors are going to win this game. Steph actually should miss this free throw. He could. Because if he makes it, they can still throw it the length of the court. He's like, I already missed my Seven. free throw. And they don't even attempt it. No. So the Warriors get a win. It was not easy. But you got to find different ways to win games. It is a Western Conference showdown tonight in San Francisco. The NBA on TNT Tuesday is presented by State Farm. The Dallas Mavericks and the Golden State Warriors final meeting of the season. They split the first two games. Curry, first attempt, bottom. Steph Curry from downtown. Jimmy, it is unlimited range for Steph Curry, and he has been on an absolute tear. Driving layup for Steph Curry. Their season low for any half is 35, and it was in that game against the Raptors. They have 25 right now with 325 to go in the second quarter. And Golden State gets a bucket from Curry, a three ball, adding to his already record-setting total. The most three-pointers in a calendar month in NBA history held by Steph Curry, and it's this month, April of 2021. Steph right back. Curry, downtown hit for Steph Curry. Ball leaks out, scooped up, Wiggins the bounce, Curry the fill and the bucket. Eighty-three, fifty-two, ridiculous. Curry with a hand in his face. Nails the triple. Backdoor cut. Put two on the board for Steph Curry. He's got 27 points tonight. Curry draws two defenders. Oubre. Book it. A three. A blowout win for the Dallas Mavericks. They take the season series against the Golden State Warriors. And they do it in a big way. 133 to 103 the final. A 28 to nothing run after the Warriors led this one 12 to 11. Last road trip of the year begins in the Twin Cities. Third and final meeting. Warriors and T-Wolves. Warriors won the first two, but Minnesota's won five out of seven. Beat Utah twice, and the Warriors, uh, the less you bring up the Dallas Maverick game, the better <laughs> off it is for everybody. Move on. And Draymond Green starts the scoring. Start That's with a good the, sign. Start with a fake handoff. 
Steph coming off. Anthony Edwards takes a step that direction. Curry off the curl. Nice drop off to Looney. Well done. Add a little sauce to it, too. A little no look coming off of that stagger. That's the execution we're talking about. Steph, again, draws three guys. Can someone else score for the Warriors? And Wiggins, two-handed hammer. Looked like Carl Anthony Towns got hit in the face. He's spitting. Yeah, that was not a good possession for him. He was on Steph, and then he switched on Andrew Wiggins, and Andrew Wiggins went at his head. Curry just turned, and the ball was there. It is NFL draft night, and Draymond just threw him open like a quarterback would. He didn't know he was going to be open. Draymond knew it before him. Catches it, and it doesn't, doesn't even need to watch it go in. And D'Lo with the three. He's got that quick release. So tough to guard, even if you're there. Yeah, D'Angelo had a little knee scope earlier, and Watson Scott Anderson. Boulder set that screen for him. Make sure they couldn't close out like they wanted to. That's just the unselfishness. Boulder's not getting a stat for that. Good three-point shooting both ways for both teams. Steph with the three. And rim that in. The Warriors will take that, and Curry will too. Shooters roll. And the steal. Curry with McLaughlin on him. He'll lay it up and in. So Steph, a little two-way play. Forcing some turnovers of their own. Baysmore didn't catch it cleanly, and that might be it. Don't catch it cleanly, and then make the three. <laughs> okay. The ball's out of bounds. It's not off the Warriors. It's not an offensive rebound. <laughs> Minnesota had four chances to score. It came up empty. The top block, Hernan Gomez. Raymond down the lane, and Draymond laying it in. Two defenders stay with Steph. Roll to the basket. Draymond Green, and he just read the defense. They didn't give him the pass there. They let him go all the way. He took it. On Toscano Anderson. Here he comes. Setting up Mulder. There's Steph on the relocate. And there's the three. Perfectly done by the Dubs. They finally got that. Steph gave up the ball on the baseline. He just keeps coming. You got to release it. If you catch the ball on that wing, set a down screen for him. Michael Mulder got the quick tip. Steph thought about that three. Now launches and drops it in. Here we go. So Draymond wins the tap, but it's Mulder that really saved the day. That was nice. You can feel the momentum. Hurry. The handle. The finish. And so Steph bottled up early. Now that one three, then another one. Now the layup, then the free throws. You can tell he's starting to feel it. Curry down the lane. Ties the game. The, the floaters, right? He, he'd been trying to get to the rim. He got their last possession, but sometimes you just got to stop short and trust that float game. Curry deep three. Got it! With an opportunity for a four-point play from Minnetonka. He drops in the triple. He is the game breaker. You're not supposed to be able to shoot these shots with this kind of accuracy from these types of distances this often. D'Angelo Russell, he's seen him do it a million times. He even played with the guy, and he's still shocked that he shot it from this far out. He's just got unlimited range, a quick release. He knew he just had to get by his defender, and. D'Angelo wasn't going to offer much resistance. It's also very good officiating that McLaughlin had his hand on his hip. Very kind of a casual shove that definitely will affect most normal human shooters. Just not the greatest shooter of all time. So multiples of three. Down nine here with two minutes left. Steph, that is a continuation. He will lay that in the old and draw the foul. The old-fashioned way. Houston beat Milwaukee tonight. It's a little, a little scary. It's Kevin Porter Jr. had 50 in that game. And so the T-Wolves have now won six of eight. They back up the two wins over Utah, and then the Houston one, they take care of the Warriors. The Warriors did a great job on Carl Anthony Towns again. He was six of 18, but the three-point shooting was far too much. Nine games to go in the NBA's regular season for the Warriors as they take on the Houston Rockets. NBA Saturday. Presented by State Farm from Toyota Center in Houston, the energy capital of the world. The Warriors looking for the right energy here this afternoon. Steph gets his first one to go. You could tell that the chemistry and the spirit of this Rockets team, despite their record, is very high, much like the shooting of Steph Curry right there. Steph with the hit ahead to Tosano Anderson, and he gets the layup.
At the other end, Brooks couldn't finish the layup, and Curry back the other way. Wiggins with a sweet finger roll and finish. Golden State trying to take the lead for the first time in a long time. Curry trying to do the honors and does, and lets out a relief scream to the couple thousand fans here in attendance. That's a lot of frustration coming out yes. so far. Yes, and this is something Steve Kerr has said in the midst of that incredible April run, that Steph's mind is as strong as it's ever been. Mm -hmm. And I know we just saw that reaction, he said, but there's remarkably little change in demeanor, whether he's making or missing shots. Yeah, he has done a lot of heavy lifting for this team virtually carrying them for most of the year. He relocates for three. Somebody fell asleep, and Curry looked at the Houston bench and said, don't sleep on me. He talked about the special training that he does with his personal trainer. They practice lowering his heartbeat during timeouts from, you know, 120 beats per minute down to about 80, 85, so he can have better cardio moving forward in games. And at this rate, He's going to wear out and tire out Houston. Well, let him keep his breath because he takes <laughs> ours away. Wood switches on to him. Oh, deep in his bag like the fries are at the bottom. Oh, almost got that layup. Christian Wood at his mercy. And he'll go to the free throw line. Christian Wood off the mark. Hurry in the front court. Little high step on Porter Jr. Got the layup to go. And Steph Curry officially hotter than fish grease here in the third quarter. I asked Draymond if he thinks that Steph feels any pressure to get the Warriors into this play-in game. He said not pressure from the outside. He doesn't care what people may say or think. Steph's motivation, as always, is internal. Co comes from within him. But whether we make the playoffs or not, Draymond said, that does not change who Steph Curry is or what he has done this season. Yeah, certainly won't. And, you know, one of the things as he drills another three, Lisa, Steph hates to lose. Here's Wood on the edge. Green defending him. Good help defense and Curry with the steal. All year, this has been Steph Curry's quarter. He's averaging over 10 points per game in the third. He's got 12. What did you just say? <laughs> what did you just say? I think, I think you might want to trap him in the third. <laughs> Steph Curry has been combustible here with 23 points in the third quarter. This guy is just too much. Again, Draymond gets a screen assist, hangs up that defender. And this is one thing Steven Silas was talking about. He said, you can't, as soon as he's coming across half court, you can't be relaxed. Everything's got to be on point. You've got to meet him as soon as he comes off that screen. And even when you do that, Mark, it may not be enough. Yeah, good luck. You know what? When you win, get your dance on a little bit, Doris Burke. Get oh, they, your little bounce. They were over there cooking with the dancing. <laughs> and that's going to do it. This one is cooked, glazed, and sliced. The Warriors win it and improve to 32 and 32 and move into ninth place in the Western Conference. Welcome to NBA Monday, presented by State Farm. As the Pelicans host the Warriors, Golden State at 32 and 32. The Pelicans at 29 and 35. On the outside looking in right now, as far as the top 10 in the West is concerned, they're three back of the Warriors, and they play the Warriors three times in the next 12 days, including tonight and tomorrow night. Here's Ingram on the drive, has it stripped by Steph, and Curry in the open floor. Goes at Lonzo Ball and gets the layup. As Curry scores again to make it 10 1. Steph Curry knocks down the three. So seven points for Curry and a 12 point lead. Curry getting into the lane for the layup, so that's nine points for Steph. Lead is five. That ends a 9 0 New Orleans run. Great pass by Steph. And the three, Toscano Anderson. Here's Curry coming off the screen. They double him quickly. So he throws up a lob that's right on target for Wiggins. What a gorgeous play overall by Steph Curry there. You've got New Orleans 
three games behind both Golden State and San Antonio, but they lose the tiebreaker with the Spurs because they lost the season series. Here's another turnover forced by the Warriors defense. They have a chance at Golden State, but not if Steph keeps doing that. The trained assassin with another three, and the lead is up to 17. Steph has 14 here in the first. Steph against Zion, lets it fly. It's good! 17 for Curry. The Pelicans have 19 as a team. And a timeout by Stan Van Gundy. Here's Steph faking the three. What a pass underneath. No look bounce to Toscano for another deuce. Curry triple teamed. It doesn't matter. Steph to the goal. And off it, the glass you said triple team but that triple team was chasing Steph Curry to get in front of him Jordan pull from outside another assist for Curry another three for the Warriors he drives past the defender here and scores with the left hand they can't stop him outside or inside 21 for Curry Whoa, Steph Curry put Bledsoe on the deck, buried a three. He now has 27 points, five threes. He averages 5.2 made threes per game. That is the most in his career. Here's Looney faking the pass, driving, and getting it to go with the left hand. Now Curry, catch and shoot. That's all it takes. It's down. Steph Curry with his 6-3 and his 30th point, his 33rd 30-point game of the year. Green pulls up at the free throw line and connects. As the three goes for Mulder, second year pro from Kentucky, 26 years old. He made 18 threes his last five games. He's really stepped up. Steph's got ball on him. Step back, three, hit it! Steph Curry with his seventh three-pointer. He's got 36 points. And I want everybody to understand, that was great defense by, by Lonzo Ball. Curry gets rid of the defender's eye just pushed Williamson out of the way and then cans a three 39 for Curry you see Steph Curry coming back in showing a little flex a little excuse me sir let me shoot this three ball in your eye Golden State up 18 As Curry goes around the rim and scores his 41st point, his ninth 40-point game of the year. Here's Curry in the open floor, giving it up. Baysmore corner three, and that's probably the dagger. Timeout, New Orleans, but it's a 19-point lead for the Warriors. Golden State will win it 123-108. Warriors now a game above 500. These teams will meet again tomorrow night. Golden State greatly improving its chances of making the play in tournament while the Pelicans are just about done would take uh, a, a miracle finish with seven games to go for New Orleans to get in the Western Conference player of the month was the easiest voting ever in NBA history <laughs> for the month of April uh, if you wrote those numbers down nobody would believe that let alone for a 33 year old man and Stephen Curry who is the Michelangelo of basketball right now. Steph has yet to shoot the ball. That one knocked away. Here he comes. And Curry rimming that in. <laughs> and the craziest shooter roll ever. Front iron back and off backboard and down. And Curry, he's got, <laughs> he's got the two craziest shooters rolls ever. Are they just all going to go in like that? He's, Don't switch sides at halftime. He's good with it. And if Mr. Curry decides to really start making threes the Pelicans might have an issue Steph is three of four shot clock down to five for Steph through three guys flip it up and in and draw the foul Marshall just had no chance because Steph was not taking no for an answer
Tonight just feels like both teams are engaged and ready. And Steph hiding behind Draymond, and he's got 15 in this first quarter. Uh oh, there's blood in the water. The shark by name is Steph Curry. He's attacking. Okay, first rule of this trip down, get a shot up. Okay, there's a shot. Good. Go. <laughs> and, and get that guy shooting. <laughs> Steph for three? Why not? Uh, that's just Draymond and Steph. Nonverbal communication. Wouldn't mind a Steph three as the half was expiring, though. And he's thinking the same thing. Getting it back. Uh, Little teardrop. Got him. <laughs> the give and go. Just outsmarting the defense. Lonzo from deep. And off back iron and Curry with the rebound in motion. Running with Baysmore. How about that? They pass up a layup opportunity and trade three for two with Curry. <laughs> Baysmore knew something we didn't know. We're going to get a three out of this. I'm not laying this up. Steph, nearly the turnover. No way. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this dude is wild. He just plays with no fear of consequence. This dude is crazy. Yeah, I lost it. I don't feel like you're close enough to me. I'm going to shoot it because I'm the greatest shooter that's ever lived. You want to take advantage of these non-Zion minutes, and there's Looney exploiting Adams and others in transition, and Curry with a beautiful look. That one... What is going on with that basket, by the way? We've seen some of the craziest shooters roll, and that's like Boston Celtics old garden soft rims. And Curry, they just never stopped the ball. Bledsoe was just on his side the whole time. He just kept him there and just kept going. Wiggins saved the turnover there. JTA setting up Steph. There's <laughs> three number eight. So Steph set the back screen for Wiggins. Set a pretty good screen. They didn't get it, but it worked out because Steph just kept moving. They found him up top. The highest floater ever, and Curry drops that in. He had missed seven shots in a row, but for Steph, that's not going to matter. He's got 37. Mulder, a little cosmetic three. 108 103. New Orleans wins it in the fourth. Lonzo Ball with 33. Zion Williamson, 23. Steph at 37. The final homestand of the year, and it's not a short one. Six games will take us to May 16th, and the Warriors will not be getting on any more planes. And they battle, really, for the eighth or ninth spot in this play-in tournament. And the battle for me tonight, I want to watch Lou Dort guard Steph Curry. Long three rimming out. Now, Basley is at 20, is one of those guys in year two that looks like he could be somebody. And, you know, for OKC with the rebuild, as Steph will flip it up and in and draw the foul. Draymond looking from that post feed. Multiple men jump at Steph. Looney, good catch. Shot clock down to eight. Backdoor cut. So, Lou Dort is so intent on getting Steph off the three-point line that Curry and Draymond, just like the top of the telecast, working together. Steph for the quick shot three. But not good enough for that guy. It's too much movement, man. Valadon missing the three. The outlet to Wiggins. Walling off and finishing beautifully oh, done. He sealed this small defender there. The pass was great, but it wouldn't have worked as well if Wiggins didn't do what he did. Steph right in the passing lane, beautifully done. Push ahead Mulder, running with Juan Toscano Anderson to lay it up and in. And Steph was in good position because he didn't overhelp. He saw the play happening, knew they had it under control. Let me stay with my guy. Wide open three. That was the one that Roby wanted against Sacramento, too, but missing there. Steph, Ooh. that is over Moses Proud, the shot blocker, as he floats it home. Curry, the three. <laughs> he hit behind the screen and made it again. They're so smart. They're just using Moses Brown. He's just too far away from those screens. As Bazemore hits the three. Mm. Bazemore knew that was going in before it went in. So now, you know, the eight and four point leads have now given way to 17. Baisley off back iron. There's Steph. We compliment those throw ahead passes. And Bazemore was off to the races. He contested and just took off. 
So Steph, a third three. He's missed all three to begin the quarter. He is not going to miss this shot. <laughs> I like that. I like the call on the shot there. It's, with him, sometimes you can do play before play. I see him shaking his head, and he was resolute. He was going to keep shooting threes until they went in. There's the better ball movement, and Wiggins hammering that. Lou Dort jumped at Steph, and Steph's like, I'm not shooting a three. I got a guy in the baseline who's going to dunk it. Steph will foul line jumper. Ian Draymond. You know, when we said top of the telecast, 435 assists between that duo, Draymond and Steph, the next duo isn't even at 300. Mm. I mean, that's how crazy that Warrior tandem is. Draymond was saying the other day, you know, you don't get an assist unless the guy makes the basket. So passing to the best shooter, that's probably a really good idea. Like here? Yeah. You give it to that guy, and Steph Curry hits another three. It's again, saying Draymond's defender isn't close enough. So he can set those handoffs and just get a piece of Steph's man. That'll do it. <laughs> Jordan Poole came and took it. And Draymond is not happy. He's frustrated. Draymond was ready to throw the ball out of bounds. So he just gave it to Steph. <laughs> So Curry's at back-to-back -back threes. He's got 28 now. He's still barking at Jordan Poole right now. Lou Dort, a little strength, and then a little finesse. The defenders just bounce off his body. It's easy to see why. I'm telling you, I'm having Lou Dort rush the passer on third down. I mean, he, he would be one of the greatest weak side linebackers ever. He could do it. And he doesn't get to Curry in time. And Steph with another three. Nah, he just left Steph's body. He tried to go under that screen. You can never do that. That's a cardinal sin against Steph. Mulder, corner three as Curry was fouled. This will be an interesting four-point play opportunity. As Steph passed and then was shoved to the ground, and Mulder hit the three. Well, he was trying to box out Hall so he couldn't close out. <laughs> Steph was willing to take the punishment. He's a team player. Steph just said, um, I get to shoot the free throw, Michael. It was just a brain fart. Yeah, that's, like, you know, give him a pass. Just saying. It was a... It's just a... It doesn't happen very much where you shoot it, you make it, the foul is called, and the foul is not on you. It was just a nice interchange where Steph said, um, you know I get to shoot the free throw. <laughs> there is no shot clock, and so Ooh. Steph getting all the way to the rim. English. Right now they're saying, well, let's pack it up. We have to go... Oh. No more road trips. No more. Homestand the rest of the way to finish off this regular season. You get to hang out with your family like Baysmore said. That's it. And that's why he shoots so much better. Draymond, it's good to have fans back in the building saying hi to a bunch of people. 118.97 is the final Warrior Post Game Live is coming up where they're going to talk about Wiggins and Steph and Draymond, but more importantly, Michael Mulder, Juan Toscano Anderson, Jordan Poole, and the other Warriors that were double figures. A busy weekend of basketball commences on a beautiful sunny Saturday night in downtown San Francisco. And for the second consecutive game, the Thunder will face off with the Golden State Warriors from Chase Center and try to avenge that loss on Thursday night. But in order to do so, they will have to contain the top scorer in the NBA and that man, Stephen Curry. What I'm liking now for the Thunder is, is not give this guy right here an open three. That's why, but the last possession, they forced Draymond Green to throw the basketball away, you know, because they couldn't get it to Steph Curry. As Curry from way behind the line drops in another one, and just when you think that his game can't go to another level, it has here over the last couple of months. Curry, again, way behind the line, and he's got three first quarter threes already, and you do not want him heating up. Well, the, the threes and the scoring spree for Curry continuing. 14 here in the first. All four shots may have been from downtown. Here is Sfi Mihailuk speaking of shooting it from the outside. He did not play on Thursday, so first time getting into the series here is Toscano Anderson running the floor, and he beats everybody down. Thunder kept it relatively close. Curry again trying to get the call, and this is going to be a foul on the deck, I believe. He's lobbying that it's going to be an and once. Somehow rainbowed that. Basket style up off the glass. And he's still going to get free throws because the, the Warriors are in the penalty. Tough call. Tough call. Man. It's not like defending anybody else in the league. It is a unique experience as Williams got caught deep in the lane. 
Curry, high arcing three, and a hand in the face, and he rainbows it in. That's a tough shot. And that, that's a contested three. As he has 22 points in the game right now. As Curry will likely go to work here and close out this first quarter. Keeping the ball and his dribble there and at an open lane to the rim. Curry, hand down, takes advantage. And that is three number six. As he has taken his game to just a, a complete different level. Curry going to go right by Moses Brown. And there's a little teardrop for you. Yeah, that was a nice one too. Curry, quick trigger, and the feathery touch from the outside puts him at 32. Keep in mind, Bradley Beal has been the leading scorer for most of the season until just in this last two or three weeks where Curry has just been lights out oh. shots like that. You know, he's one of those players you just can't fall asleep on. And he's got the green light to take that. We've seen I him know, do I mean, that. Michael, you just have to watch in awe. I yeah. mean, well, he's done that to everybody, and he's done that his entire career. Oh, Stephen Curry with two 34th footers here in the third quarter. And if you're a fan of basketball, you, you just have to appreciate the range. You know, I was watching the Buffalo Braves and the Cleveland Cavaliers, Randy Smith. Swin Nader throwing a hook shot. Moses Brown, watch those tapes and then continue to pick a few games from the 80s, 90s, and then look at where you are right now in the 2000s. Curry's up to 41. As there's that screen by Draymond, I tell you, he, he's always in the picture when Curry's taking a shot. It's the most deadly play in the NBA. Yeah, I'm convinced that the Curry Draymond pick and roll is the most deadly play in the NBA because of Curry's ability to shoot and the potential odd man rush if Draymond keeps it. That's right. There's a lot going on in this game without a three point line that's still very important to the game. Driving the basketball, posting up, and, and making. But nobody posts up anymore. No, well, well there's no post ups. There's Jokic. I mean, I mean, look how Jokic starts his whole game from the mid-range. Michael, you can't help but but chuckle a little bit yeah. at the, the, the shot making of Curry, who is up to 46. And that's not going to count, but it's just incredible. He's got 11 threes and dazzling the crowd at Chase Center. And just putting on an absolute show with his ability to shoot the basketball. You know, you got to make an adjustment. You got, you know, one of your top players out. As Curry went missed 60 of 65 games last year. And, you know, they struggled big time. Thunder certainly been in that situation, not having their top gun at SGA. I don't know if that's a foul, but Curry is going to get the whistle as he has another free throw and is a point away from 50, which is probably why he's still in the game. Oh, that's, that's the only reason why he's in the game. Steph Curry taking over in this one with humongous quarters in the first and the third. Another big time performance, but the Thunder have a chance to regroup tomorrow night. Put this one behind them. And as Mark Dagnall says, start with a 0-0 mentality. And the Thunder will be able to put this one behind them and get right back out of the court tomorrow night against Sacramento. Chase Center houses the best team in the NBA tonight. The 50-win Utah Jazz come to town. And the Warriors, that is a big obstacle in the way of the playoff push. But I think the game on March 14th where the Warriors beat the Jazz is the best win they've had all season. Steph on the relocate, but you see Royce O'Neal right with him. Curry hit a three anyway. That's the crazy part. You could play amazing defense. Royce O'Neal didn't take a break when he let go of the ball. But Steph doesn't care. It's that crazy quick release. As Curry will get to the line, body bump there. 
And Steph mixing it up early. It's just the movement without the ball. And picking up Steph very high, and then Draymond, who made three threes the other night, opens from distance tonight. That was a quick, confident release for Draymond. Neal doesn't normally drive there, but the quick hands of Curry. The push ahead to Bazemore, and the Warriors will take the lead. The Warriors have been really using these turnovers thus far. We'll, we'll have a graphic on this later, but when you say top three offensive rating, top three defensive rating, that's what Utah is. The last two teams to do that were Warrior championship teams. Mm. That, that's how rare it is to be top three on both ends of the floor. That's what I'm saying. Everybody keeps saying they don't have the experience. Sometimes they got to break through as Steph breaks through there. Two defenders around him. Float game. Steph on Mieoni. And they're running Steph off the three-point line, so he's hitting twos right now. Curry's got eight. There's JTA, who is, has Mexican heritage as well in full global display. And if you're going to play with Curry all at the three-point line, he's going to cut back door. They top blocked him. He's not going to fight the pressure. He's such a smart offensive player. Clarkson wheeling and gave it up. That's why he doesn't pass right there. Steph went through the entire roster. He passed by Mark Eaton and laid it up and in. He went through the Utah history book right there. He just gets rid of, discards Joe Ingles, and then really no one else was in position to bother him going to the rim. Steph, an open three, and Royce O'Neal's like, you got one on me. Mm. Steph beat the double team that time. Teardrop, and so Curry's got 22. They left some space in between the two defenders. Steph can burst through that. He's more. Nice crossover in on favors. Get himself to the line and flip it home. That was one of the best moves I've ever seen Baysmore make. That was an incredible skip pass from Steph over two defenders. And Clarkson just had the awkward closeout. It looked even more awkward after that baseball move. Steph turned the corner and got it up on the glass before Gobert could get to it. Just using his quickness. If he's up on that, he's just going to turn the burners on and get around him. And now Curry with a steal. Bubble and get out of the way! <laughs> and Curry... <laughs> Letting it up and in. I'm glad he did his job, though, and, and cleaned up that area so Steph could have some traction going to lay it in. Raymond in on favors and able to cram it home. Man. He was able to bank it in with two hands there. Curry running teardrop. Big perfect. shot. Big shot at a big time. And another game of 30 for 30. Just used the two defenders' momentum against him. They're both selling out for him. He just blew by both of them. Clarkson makes it five. Okay, here we go. How can you execute, close him out here? Raymond in on Gobert. Little teardrop is flat. Gobert with a big rebound. Plenty of time for the Jazz here. Clarkson will put it in and draw the foul. This is an opportunity for the three-point play. Well, the sixth man of the year most likely has 35 points off the bench. Begins with Gobert lurking. Step back, fade, fire, and rim it out. He didn't get much movement there like the Warriors normally do. He didn't give him some options. Cut, move. Clarkson driving, looking for the tie. He did, and he was fouled. If you're going to foul him, foul him. If you're beaten, let him go in. Utah takes the lead. Wow. Looking for Steph. Royce O'Neal's with him. Baysmore, better go. pump fake and a good finish. Yeah. Steph set the screen. That was going to be the pick to picker action. He got a piece of Baysmore's man, but then the patience, the pump fake, let the defender fly by. Clarkson again. Face up on Baysmore. He'll launch the three and cash it in. Jordan Clarkson with 41. He is red hot right now. Scorching. And you tie or take the lead with the three. Curry for the lead. Rattled it out. Looney will track it down. Steph one more time for the advantage. Good! If at first you don't succeed, you know what they say. Try, try again, especially if your name is Stephen Curry. What a big shot. Yeah, you missed the first one. This is the movement without the ball, that little juke move without the ball. Got him the advantage against O'Neal, and again, using Gobert. So here's Clarkson against Wiggins. Down the lane to flip it up and out. Rebound, Draymond, he called timeout. He called timeout to move it into the front court. 
and also so he wouldn't be fouled. Curry gets it, and now O'Neal will foul him, so that's perfectly done. I like what Steve did. He put two bodies in the backcourt. You had to at least honor them because if you throw it and there's no defender, you could dribble out seven seconds. So the best free thrower in NBA history will shoot two here. And drops the first one in. Curry's got 35. Curry gives the Warriors a three-point lead. So Ingles is the inbounder. They get it to Clarkson. He gets the three off. Top of the backboard. Still loose. And out of bounds to the Warriors. And there's only a tenth left anyway. There you go. Win number 36. You know the Warriors are going to be in the postseason. The play-in tournament, its inaugural non-bubble version, will feature the Golden State Warriors. Mr. Curry, the uh, the second reload three off the Looney rebound, you had a great little smile after that went in. You make those, like, breathing. We knew with the second opportunity that was going down. Get, tell us about that play, because Royce O'Neal had been all over you all night. Yeah, they're, they're a top three defense for a reason, and, um, you know, they make you win. Obviously, down the fourth quarter, we kind of lost control of the game. Jordan Clarkson went crazy. We had some slip-ups on the defensive end. But for us to uh, claw out of a situation like that, I don't, I don't remember the last time we've done that, where everything on the book said we were supposed to lose that game the way that the fourth quarter went. And uh, and we obviously got a, a great reload. I think Wiggs and, and Loon chased it down through the Draymond, me and him and our connection. He knew exactly where I was going to go and, and got it to me on time. And, and obviously, we, we, we live with that shot, and, uh, and it was a big one. What was your thought process throughout the whole game when they're sending two defenders at you? You've seen that before, but they, they were able to take your three ball away for the most part, so you are able to get by sometimes two defenders, get to the floaters, get to the paint. It seemed like you were content to score that way. Yeah, it, it's the adjustments from game to game. They're a very long you know, you know team and, and a pretty physical big team, so when they decided to try to take something away you got to do something something different obviously i got a, a, a decent amount of you know threes up but uh the, the other stuff trying to get in the paint trying to make plays um you know getting into the paint and, and, and hitting the floater all those type of things just try to soften them up a little bit but i mean they're a great defensive team and they make you work now steph your game winner will be replayed but really it was baysmore and jordan Poole. You expect you and Draymond to be brilliant. You guys are Hall of Famers, but the other guys tonight and Looney double-digit rebounds again, it really was a team win all the way around. Absolutely. I mean, we have, uh, what, an eight-man rotation, and it's uh, it's one of those situations that everybody knows their role, and when we play games uh, like this where you need everybody to contribute, it's great for everybody to step up in their own way. So, you know, we've been feeding off that energy for, you know, these last couple of weeks since, uh, you know, we, we've been so thin. And it's a good vibe when you know, you know you're going to get minutes, everybody's confident, they're going to get an opportunity. It's, it's just a matter of what you do with it. So that's the NBA for you right there. You can never really predict what's about to happen. How much is your team confidence building defensively? Because you guys are top five defensively for a reason, too, and you guys did a stellar job, job guarding their three ball. Obviously, Jordan Clarkson started going off there for a while, but the whole game, you guys really made it tough on him, really inside the paint and outside. It's, it's how we're going to win, um, causing chaos, using our speed, uh, versatility, being being able to switch things, and obviously Draymond doing what he does, leading the charge. But um, it's a huge opportunity for us to, like you said, build confidence to you know play in situation and hopefully a playoff series where, you know, no matter who's out there, we have a job to do on that end of the floor, and that fuels our offense because we're, we're pushing in transition. We got shooters. Um, you know, I'm able to get the ball and, and, and transition and make plays. So it's a, it's a good thing going. Um, fourth quarter tonight, we got to tie that up, and, you know, and, uh, and get a little better there. But, uh, you know, like you said, we, we put together a good run on the defensive end. All right, so Steph will go off with a silly one. You get the jump ball against Eric Favors, and Kalena says early in his career, Favors would rip the ball away from him. All that, all that weight room work and those biceps, he said, Steph tied him up and forced the jump ball. Yeah, you're swole now, bro. You guys know uh, that was all an effort to save a turnover. <laughs> <laughs> I lost my mind and, you know, trying to go in the paint. As soon as he tied up, I wasn't going to let that one go because I need, I need that turnover back. Hey, I, I'm saying those are all the golfing muscles. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Hey, nice. Thanks for stopping, Steph. We appreciate it. Unbelievable win. And Oh, by the way, don't rest too much you got the suns tomorrow absolutely <laughs> appreciate it guys yes, sir. Right. good work brother that is steph curry with just another 30 for 30 game 
And then you just think of the cold-blooded three that Curry makes to take the lead. Then he makes the free throws to get up three. And the Warriors, after the 22-7 Utah run, they came back and closed the game. Right. And Steph is the closer. In their continued pursuit of the top spot of the West, Phoenix makes their only stop in the Bay for a matchup against the suddenly surging Warriors in another possible playoff preview. It's the Suns and Warriors here on Valley Sports. And there is where Curry hurts you as much, if not more, than his three-point shooting, EJ, and that is just the constant movement. Not hesitating. Curry shows up his passing skills there, sets up the easy two. Curry down the lane. He wears you down. And that's why he averages 30. Curry on the dribble penetration and with three Suns defenders running at him. Drops it off with the easy dime. Little show and go sets up the two-hand slam for Descano Anderson. A 10-2 Golden State run. Look Curry. Curry got him now. Curry moves to his right. Connects for his first triple. Like I said, you know it's going to happen. Uh, the storm is there every game he's on the floor. Curry. A lot stronger than what you think. And I think that's the most underrated part of his game is he's extremely strong. Watch, he takes this hit from Carter. I mean, from Crowder. And, and look at that, the concentration level to put it in. Early in his career, probably would have fell backward. Pass into Steph. Another finish, another foul. So, so now he's outsmarting Bridges. And McHale has to just let him go off the screen. You see, when you try to get slick with Curry, see, see McHale? McHale tried to shoot the gap. No, you don't do that with him. He will go back door. It is a sign for him anytime you try to shoot the gap or try to beat him over, he's just going to move you out of the way in the direction you're going. He's going to go back door. That gives him the easiest layup that he can get. Book rising up over Toscano Anderson. He's got 11 on the last Suns points. Can't connect on that one as we're just under a minute to go in the third. Quick catch and shoots from Jordan Poole as I mentioned he had 20 last night. He's got 10 here tonight in his nine minutes. Curry on the crossover, takes the pull up. Tied again. Green on the show and go, kicks it out. Again, I mean, you know, I know DeAndre Cook, Green might go for a layup, but again, all he's trying to do is really draw you and find a teammate. I guarantee you this guy right here with the ball is going to take this shot. If he doesn't, it's because he's really highly double teamed. Kicks it out, wide open shooting. First lead since 21 20. Book on the drive, tied up, stolen by Curry. Boy, Curry wanted to shoot the three, try to fire the dagger, then nearly turned it over. That's Wiggins on the spin. Goes down. Crowder, straightaway three, cash it in from deep. That's big time, there. Yeah. Curry thought about it, Suns close out, gets a switch with Ayton. So he had to make him shoot. He leaves Ayton in the dust, kick it out to Draymond, back to Curry, and a good closeout by Booker. Steph down the lane to beat the shot clock, buzzer! Put it in with the left hand! It just kept working. Four-point lead. Yeah, Suns need a, yeah, yeah that's, that's miscommunication right there. Mikael Bridges running for the three, and he actually had a layup. They were the Warriors. They will push their win streak to four. They will pick up their 37th win of the season. They will improve to 23 and 11 at home. The Suns fall to 48 and 21, 22 and 12 on the road. Back-to-back -back losses for the Suns. They will head home for their final home game. Welcome everyone to NBA Sunday, presented by State Farm, on an overcast. 55 degree day, one of the venerable landmarks of the Bay Area. It's all part of the Sonic playoff push from San Francisco, the jewel of the Bay and the Chase Center. Big game today, the Memphis Grizzlies and the Golden State Warriors, both with identical records and men. What a difference a season makes. 
Warriors winning only 15 games a season ago. Look what's at stake right now. The winner of this game today is the number eight seed. The loser will fall to number nine, and what a great matchup we have with a couple of dynamic and prolific point guards, Steph Curry and Ja Morant. Curry off the bounce, gives it up. Toscano Anderson knocks down his first touch. Juan Toscano Anderson just 48 hours ago signing a multi-year contract. Draymond Green trying to wrestle, good help that time by Curry. And there was a foul on the play. As Curry gets all the way to the basket. Steph blows by his defender and knocks down his second field goal on a soft floater. Morant out front. Spins, hangs, got it! Boy, what a tough drive. I mean, that is Morant at his best. He, he's got to be more consistent with his three-point shooting because the guy will be unguardable. Right now, he, he's, it's amazing he can get downhill at this point. And speaking of amazing, Doris, Steph Curry has made his last couple of shots. Valanciunas inside, blocked by Curry. Valanciunas claiming he was hit on the head. But only Ray Allen has made more three-pointers overall than Steph Curry. Look at that impressive list that he's on. Multiple championships, multiple MVPs, and multiple scoring titles. That is greatness. Curry inside. He's got a scoop for the Grizzlies. In the first quarter against Dylan Brooks as his matchup, Steph was 0 for 4 and 4 for 5 against everybody else. Like, Dylan's not going to let the nine points he scored as he gets a bucket there. He understands, okay, it's a long night. This is one of the great scorers in the league. He's going to score. Dylan's got to just stay disciplined and keep working. Steph Curry off the nice dime by Draymond Green. Wiggins from deep. Got it. Anderson off the Valanciunas screen, throws in the floater. Boy, Allen, Kyle Anderson having a nice quarter here. Wiggins with the lefty layup. Going to cut the Grizzlies napping a little bit in transition. It's good pass, yeah, this oh, feels dangerous. Pass. Yeah. Oh, Toscano Anderson snuck into the paint, and Curry with that laser-like vision to find him. Steph trying to deny Morant the ball. Brooks fires again from deep. And another miss, rebounded quickly up court. Toscano Anderson, and that's going to be a goaltender. Boy, Valanciunas way back in the paint. Great ball fake by Wiggins, and drills the baseline jumper. Boy, Wiggins has had a heck of a year, right? That is point number 14 on 6 of 11 shooting. And Steph with a rebound, quickly back the other way. Got to pick him up. Brooks got a good look at that three that fell. So you have to wonder when the, the Warriors are going to start to unleash threes, right? That's their first here in the half. They only had four in the first. Curry, sidestep three. Butter. It's typically a matter of time. The Warriors are third and made threes. Green out to Steph. Clean look and makes no mistake converted. Their last four field goals are all threes now, Marcus. The point I just continue to hammer home, three beats two, and Memphis struggling to make threes. Steph with the floater, it's See, nothing but net. I don't know why Kyle, number one, was standing up, and number two didn't, you know, give a little step back. Like, you just opened yourself up to the drive floater game, Steph. Off the backdoor cut, Curry with the layup, counted and won. Uh, that's the tandem you're talking about, right, Mark Jones, that sort of sixth sense, the innate Man. understanding of the strengths, what one is going to do at any given time. Draymond was saying earlier, Doris, that he thinks Steph should be in the thick of the MVP conversation, and he reflected on a time back when, in his early days, he remembers when the brain trust of the Warriors was actually debating whether to give him a four-year $44 million extension at the time. Steph coming off of various ankle injuries, and he remembers one time when they were sitting around the court, the brain trust, actually watching Steph shoot and work out and wondering about his health. Boy, that seems like 
decades ago now. Another drive stymied by that suddenly impervious defense. Steph, are you nuts? Wow! The temerity of Steph Curry. Three second difference between the shot and game clock. Tough jumper, good by Poole. Curry in traffic against three defenders. And he draws the foul. Uh, you can hear the chants. I, he will definitely be top five in MVP. Where he finishes will be an interesting one. But that uh, free throw is now notch 2,000 for the season. One of many marks that he's eclipsed, historical ones included. Been a much quieter second half, though, for Valanciunas. Warriors have done a better job. Can Steph get another one? Yes, sir. There's your answer, his sixth three of the game. And he's up to 35. Desmond Bain all over Curry. Poole for the lead. Got it! He seemed to hesitate on the last one. That time he just is reacting off Steph, getting himself into Steph's line of vision. Slides to the corner, big time delivery from Poole. Steph got open on the split for three. Flushes it home. Green with the ball. It's Curry off the split. Easy money. 38 set, for Curry. Yeah, he sets the screen mark and then comes out of the screen. And so often you see him do that. Set the screen, come out, and he touches the basketball immediately. Steph gets it back against Durant. John Moran drives baseline. Wiggins, pool for three, clean look. Chases down his own rebound, another possession for the Warriors. Shot clock down to eight. Curry gets it back, lets it fly from three. Butter! Mark, how about the Warriors beating Memphis at their own game? They actually have 16 second chance points, three more than the Warriors. Nine point lead. And you sense Curry and the Warriors moving in for a little bit of a kill here. Steph in his bag. Deep, like the fries were at the bottom. So the Warriors understanding how to close games feels like a lot of the hustle points in this period late and for stretches of this game have gone to the Warriors. You know, Jordan Poole gets an offensive rebound and Steph puts that home and then gets to look at the crowd. And again, you're sending multiple defenders at him, give it up, get it back. The average touch time for Steph Curry is minuscule compared to the other great scorers in the game. He doesn't need to keep the ball in his hands for that long. This time he's dancing with it. Melton gives him just enough space. This guy is just, he is magnificent. Mm. Light work for Steph Curry. It must be Sunday because he's got a 44 piece. That's it. The Golden State Warriors are the number eight seed in the West. They will play either the Lakers or Portland. It'll be Portland if the Blazers will f fall to seven. Steph, thanks a lot for joining us. Can you hear us? Yes, sir. Yeah, I got you. Got Mark Jones and Doris Burke with you here. Hey, uh, congratulations on the win and the eight seed. 46 points tonight from you. What was uh, the thing that flipped? after that slow start and Dylan Brooks was really top locking you and you know all, all over you defensively it's the the markings of uh, playoff basketball um, you know we had a time to both teams had time to really study up on you know game plan um, you know he's obviously an aggressive defender and they were trying to take away some of our actions early 
And in playoff basketball, you kind of just got to stick with the program and, uh, you know, the endurance pays off and then things start to open up. Obviously, I wish it's crazy, you know, as crazy as it sounds, I wish I shot the ball a little bit better because I had a lot of good looks all night. But, you know, we were in sync. Set guys were setting great screens for me, um, you know, and just kept pounding the pavement for the entire game and things start to loosen up. Look Heads out. Up. That's, a, that's a good one right there. That's a good one right there. I'm going to drink that. Appreciate you. <laughs> Kent Basemore, <laughs> he was behind Ooh. you, giving you the belt signal like you're the champ again. But I, I, as important as your contributions oh, are, Steph, on? the – no, you got me? I can't hear nobody. Steph, can you – oh, boy, I can't hear nobody. Again. You got us back? Yes, I got you back. All right, so I'm so glad. Steph, as great as you have been, and congratulations on, on yet not. another incredible season. What seems – oh, nope. Did we lose you again? Steph, you got me? I can hear you now. We did. We lost him. You can. <laughs> Steph, you're, you're so hot, you're burning the mic out. Listen, a quick question about the others, because it feels like your group, and if you're going to win big in the playoffs, the guys around you have got to be good. What have guys like Wiggins and Poole and JTA found with your group, and how significant is it? It's just confidence and, uh, you know, the expectation and, you know, just the ability to know that they're going to have opportunities. They're going to play significant minutes. You know, we're running an eight-man rotation right now. And um, when they're out there to be aggressive and be confident, knowing that if I get a lot of attention and we move the ball, they're, they're out there to make plays, to make shots, to impose their will. And, you know, JP, especially this year, that's, that's what he's done. He's, he's really honed in on just scoring the basketball and being – aggressive um, and, and that's really opened up the floor a little bit. Juan T knows he's going to be a, a force on the defensive end but he you know moves the ball so well and knows where to be so uh, like you said everybody has to be confident knowing that they're going to make an impact on the game on both ends of the floor um, and, and we need every single one of them if we're going to you know do anything in the postseason. Steph speaking of postseason we will see you on Wednesday night. Thanks a lot for joining us. Appreciate it guys. Y'all have a good one. And now we continue the NBA play-in tournament. It's the Golden State Warriors and the L.A. Lakers. Brought to you by State Farm from Staples Center. It's not officially the playoffs. It is the play-in. And we've got the marquee matchup of the first couple of nights. Golden State Warriors led by Steph Curry finishing with the eighth best record in the Western Conference. LeBron James and the L.A. Lakers with all the injuries they've had to deal with. Finishing in the seventh spot. And the winner gets that seventh spot. Will play Phoenix on Sunday in the first round of the playoffs. The loser tonight, as Mark Jones just said, will face off against Memphis on Friday night. Ken Bazemar for three. That's good. Curry on the drive. Flips it up, back shot is good. Steph Curry with his first field goal. Schroeder misses the three. And Curry the rebound. Curry averaged a career high five and a half rebounds per game this year. Gets inside, draws the foul, count it, and one. And to me, that's the most underrated two things about his game. The rebounding aspect and the finishing aspect. That's just beautiful touch around the rim. This year he became the oldest scoring champion in the NBA in 23 years. When Michael Jordan was 35, he finished the season with 46 points on Sunday against Memphis. He was just absolutely sensational. Of course, a lot of the talk this week, LeBron James saying the other day about Steph Curry. He's the MVP. He had the best season all year. On to Scano Anderson, knocks down a three, turns and says something to the fans and runs down the floor. He has one, been a, one of the great stories this year in the NBA. Curry for three. His first three-pointer of the half. And from way downtown. And it makes it a ten-point game again. Curry. Another three. Back-to-back -back threes for Steph Curry. Now he's got 12. Curry step back three. Bang! At the buzzer. Steph Curry from downtown. And the Warriors will take a 13-point lead into halftime. 
What a first half for Golden State. Defensively putting on a clinic and then Curry coming alive from three-point range in the second period. Curry long distance. That's a three. Steph Curry, his fourth three-pointer of the game. It's back up to a dozen. Six-point Warriors lead, four minutes to play. Pass inside to Curry, missed the layup, but a foul. We got to show that. that. That is brilliance moving without the basketball. And not a foul, a goaltending. This is brilliant. Comes off the initial screen. Sets it up like he's going to come off the stagger, back cuts. Oh, that's just... Well, Anthony Davis was saying, you know, usually when a guy gives up the ball, the defender can relax a little bit. He goes, but that's when Steph Curry is his most dangerous after he gives up the ball. Curry on the drive. Curry for three. It's good. Steph Curry from way downtown. His fifth three-pointer of the night. You know how tough a shot that was? Davis, jump shot. Got it. Anthony Davis has come alive in the second half. Curry for three. Answers. Steph Curry with his sixth three-pointer. He's got 29. Matthews inside. Kuzma. Shot clock at four. Kuzma, tough fall-away shot. In and out. And a fight for the rebound goes to Draymond Green. Curry on the drive. Scoop layup. He banks it home. Oh, what a sweet move from Curry. Davis left alone for three. Got it. Anthony Davis, his first three-pointer of the night. He was 0 for 5. And it's back to a five-point Laker lead. Jordan Poole. Oh, beautiful crossover. Tried to jam it. Ball knocked loose out of bounds. And it's going to be Warriors ball. How is that not a foul? Why are you looking at me? I'm not reffing. Wiggins. Poole on the inbound. And it's back to three. Entry pass knocked away by Draymond Green. Poole ahead to Wiggins. Wiggins drives, floats it up. Shot is good. 19 points for Wiggins. And it's back to one. Timeout LA. Just past the midway point of the fourth. Schroeder draws the foul. Shot won't go. Russo back in the guard. Curry. Finds Wiggins. Wiggins gets inside. Draws the contact and banks it home. Chance for a three-point play. Kuzma back out to Schroeder. Shot clock at three. Puts up the three. Shot won't go. One of the foul. Davis the offensive rebound. Back up and banks it home. Anthony Davis discarded people. Curry reverse with the English off the glass. A little more magic from Steph Curry. He's got 33. Mulder up and into Schroeder. Drives, layup, shot is good. Oh, what a tough shot from Schroeder. And Draymond Green wanted a push off. Pulls for three, puts it in. Warriors back up by one. Dennis Schroeder tries, drives on Wiggins, flips it up, shot no good. Rebound, rebound Draymond Green. And here come the Warriors up one. Curry fakes, Curry drives, floats it up, banks it home. Timeout Lakers. 35 for Steph Curry, and the Warriors are back up by three. James Jumper, short. Rebound, Matthews. Back out to James. Pass to Caruso. Corner three. Side of the backboard, and Bazemore gets the rebound. I talked about it earlier. Wiggins forcing LeBron into that shot. That's a shot you're willing to give up if you're the Warriors defensively against a bigger, stronger LeBron. And, and Caruso's defense forces the turnovers. Curry dribbles it out of bounds. And Caruso now inside to Davis, the runner, no good but a foul. One point game, under two and a half remaining. Curry on the drive, the floater in the paint, short. Wiggins tips it, but right to Davis. James running the floor. Pass to Caruso, back to James, and he's fouled. Draymond Green would not let him get a layup. And James goes down, holding his head. That's going to be a flagrant. It's going to be a flagrant, and it shouldn't be, but it... It will be. Ties the game with 2.07 remaining. This is the second. And a loose ball foul is going to go against LeBron James. Bazemore to Poole. Wiggins, Green, and Curry. And an offensive foul call on Draymond Green on the moving screen. Wes Matthews draws that turnover. Steve Kerr can't believe that call. Norkin Green, who picks up his fifth. Shot clock at six. James looking to get a running start now. Pass to Caruso. Caruso on the drive. Inside. Davis for the slam. Lakers back up two with a minute and a half 
to play. Curry the drive, looking to draw contact, and he does, but they say before the shot doesn't matter. They're in the penalty. So two free throws for Curry to tie the game. Curry ties the game. They get it to Caldwell Pope, almost lost it. Shot clock at seven. James, two defenders on him to Caldwell Pope inside. He's tied up by Green. Throws it back up top. James puts up the three. Oh, it's gone! LeBron James from downtown! As the shot clock expires, a desperation heave, and the Lakers are up three. It's a big-time shot. Awful execution. Realizes that the clock's running down. The good chase down by Curry, and LeBron elevates and knocks down the biggest shot of the night. That's a 30-footer, and you see Curry, who's had that look on opponents' faces after he knocks down threes. The same look as LeBron James with a clutch shot. Green back to Curry. Curry sets, leans in, knocked away, get it back from Curry. Shot clock at seven. Baysmore on the drive, kicks it out. Pull for three. James the rebound with 32 seconds remaining. And I'm LeBron James, I'm putting my head down and attacking. Lost the ball, gets it back. Matthews for three. Fight for the rebound, tipped twice, picked up by Paul. 10 seconds remaining. I'm in a foul, I'm not letting them shoot a three. They have a timeout left, but won't call it here. Curse trying to call it, and finally he gets it. Poole coming free. Curry trying to get free. Lost the ball. That's it. The Lakers are in the playoffs. The Warriors need to play on Friday. What a thriller here at the Staples Center. The Warriors will play the Grizzlies on Friday night to keep their season alive. And the respect from the two former MVPs. It's the Grizzlies and the Warriors as we welcome you to the State Farm NBA Play-In Tournament. A play-in tournament that concludes tonight at the Chase Center in downtown San Francisco, home of the Warriors. The final playoff spot is up for grabs. They expect about 7,500 fans in attendance. Curry gets inside and a layup for his first field goal. Good adjustment by Curry, kept the ball. Live, got to the paint, and attacked. Had his mind made up that he wanted to get a deuce. Curry, count it, and the foul! That one was close to being deflected. That was a dangerous pass. Instead, it turns into a possible three-point play. What a near deflection that could have turned into a turnover. Instead, three-point play possibility. Draymond Green's playmaking. Terrific this season, third in the NBA in assists per game, just under nine per game. It was a career high from Draymond Green. It's Curry oh. with a <laughs> deep three and a foul. Well, Curry a chance for a four-point play. And this is bad defense. Jaron Jackson, you got to get up. If I'm Dylan Brooks, I'm letting him know, but that's a great job by Steph Curry, taking the hit and doing what he does best, shoot the basketball. And the chance of MVP named a finalist for the MVP, along with Nikola Jokic and Joel Embiid. Morant on the drive, gets inside. Tillman back to Jackson, shot blocked. Wiggins got a piece of it. Here comes Poole, cross court Curry. Curry for three, puts it in. Curry erupting in the last couple of minutes and it's a two point game. Curry, nice feet inside with two defenders on him and Mulder able to finish. Curry, corner three, got it. Third three-pointer for Curry. And it's back to 12. Brooks gets inside, has it stripped. Bazemore and Curry, nice advance pass. Bazemore reverse, using his offhand. And the Grizzlies, one thing you don't want to do is turn the basketball over because this Warriors offense can get going in a hurry. Curry behind the back, fakes drive, scoop layup is rolls around and drops in. Timeout Memphis as the Warriors back within 10. Baysmore with the deflection and steal. Baysmore back to Curry. Curry gets inside and gets the layup. Steve Kerr thought he got fouled. Curry throws it up and knocks it down. Right on cue. Anderson against Curry, using his height advantage, shot short, 
Rebound deflected and picked up by Toscano Anderson. Ahead is baseball running the floor. Layup is good. And it's a six-point game. John Morant was in the open court attack. He attacks the rim, comes up short. Rebound tipped. Poole throws it ahead. Curry. Curry on the drive. Up and under. And gets it a go. How about that finish by Curry? My goodness. Poole pass inside to Curry. Curry draws a foul, shots good, and one! That is one of the most incredible shots you can see from Steph Curry. We know about the deep threes, we know about the, the finishing, but this one is awkward. He's running off a split, he continues his cut. Loose ball, takes a hit, pirouettes and finishes the chance of MVP and he gets the bounce 80 to 78 high anxiety here at the Chase Center a two-point game still nine and a half to play Curry fakes fires three-pointer it's good Steph Curry from downtown it's a one-point game Valanchunas calling for it Double team, back out, John Morant, puts it in. John Morant, clutch from three. Five of eight from downtown. Green to Curry. Curry splits the defense. Kicks it back out, throws it away to Morant. John Morant down the lane, foul from behind. Oh, a hard foul as Green holds on to Morant. 87-81, six-point game, just over four minutes gone by. Morant floats it up and in. 27 for John Morant. The lead is back to eight. John Morant gets inside, loves that floater, and nails it. 29 for John Morant. That's a great read by Morant. Curry, good luck for three. It's good. Steph Curry, a big three-pointer, and it's back to six. Anderson tied up. Morant, another three. Not that time. Valanchunas, two tips, misses. Knocked out of his hands, and he's fouled. Anderson finds Valanchunas, has the height advantage, and takes advantage. Valanchunas, just his third field goal, but it puts the Grizzlies up 10. Pool. Now on the drive, goes inside, shot's good, and the foul. Jordan Poole attacks the basket and a chance for a three-point play. Morant gets it back, leans in. Scoop shot is good. A beautiful play for Morant, he's got 31. Some spectacular plays. Draymond Green gets inside, tried to draw a foul. Valentunas with five personals did not bite. Brooks looking for some room, jump shot. Rebound Curry. They are swarming Steph Curry. As soon as he crosses half court, Draymond Green down the lane, layup, shot is good! It's back to five. Two minutes remaining. Morant again on the drive on Toscano Anderson. Blocked from behind by Curry. Still got the shot off and Curry comes the other way. Curry, Toscano Anderson back to pull for three. And a foul called on the three-point attempt. Desmond Bain can't believe it. I am stunned that they're not challenging it. I am too. Absolutely stunned. Jordan Poole, most important free throws of his brief NBA career, knocks down all three. Two-point game, minute and a half remaining. John ja Moran to the rim, layup, it's no good. Rebound taken by Wiggins. Curry on the drive. Curry inside, missed it, but foul. And Steph Curry will shoot two free throws and a chance to tie the game. The best free throw shooter in NBA history ties the game. Nine straight points now for Golden State. Morant back up top, Anderson. Seven on the 24. Anderson drives inside, he's fouled. Shot won't go. And Steph Curry just picked up his fifth personal. Clutch free throws from Kyle Anderson. Curry chased by two defenders. Finds Draymond Green. Green pass to Poole. Poole fakes a three, trying to draw a foul, gets it back. Pull inside, clutch inside the Wiggins. He ties the game. Kyle Anderson, two to shoot. Anderson drives, back out, three-pointer. 24-second violation, five seconds remaining. Curry makes his moves, finds Green. Green drives down the lane, the floater's up, no good, overtime. 
To Scano Anderson, to Draymond Green, to Wiggins, and Andrew Wiggins backs it home. Brooks sees an opening. High off the glass, won't go. Ball tipped nicely by Poole, and the Warriors get control. Curry pulls back, a two-pointer, got it! 39 for Steph Curry, Warriors by two. John Morant throws at Curry, spins, throws it, deflected. Ball goes to Tillman, out to Allen, hits the three! Grayson Allen from downtown! And Memphis back up by one. Dangerous pass by Curry and a turnover. This Got is one. when they got to attack. Morant back to Allen, tries another three. Puts it in! Back-to-back -back threes from Grayson Allen. And the Grizzlies go up four. Wiggins backs in, up top to Green. Left wide open. Connects! Clutch three from Draymond Green. His first three-point attempt of the night. Three-pointer Morant. Rebound Wiggins. Brooks pounding Curry. Green pass inside to Scott Anderson. Back to Green. Green looking, finds Curry. Curry for three. Bounces twice, won't go to Scott Anderson. The rebound. Pull for three. Bang! Pull picks up John Morant. Morant gets in the paint, stops. Kicks it back out in the corner. Tillman for three. Puts it in as the shot clock expires. Xavier Tillman, what a performance off the bench. Wiggins tries a three. Way off, and Morant the rebound. Morant picked up by Curry. Again, Curry with five fouls. Shot clock at three. Morant gets inside. A little push shot is good. 33 for John Morant and a three-point Grizzly lead. Wiggins double team back out to Green. They go to Jordan Poole. Pull dribbling, lost it out of bounds with 27.9 remaining. And Golden State down by three, four to shoot. Morant makes his move, spins in the paint, turns, puts it up, puts it in. John Morant knocks it down. It's a five point game with 4.5 remaining. 35 points for Morant. And the Grizzlies on the verge of making the playoffs. Pull, corner three, it's good. Knocks down the three with 2.2 remaining. It's back to a two-point game. Anderson looking, finds Bain, Bain inside, he throws it down! And that will do it. Count the basket and the foul. The lead is up to four with 1.2 remaining. Morant was the leading scorer, but players like Kyle Anderson, Desmond Bain, Xavier Tillman making so many big plays. And that will do it. The Memphis Grizzlies are in the playoffs. They eliminate the Golden State Warriors. And the Grizzlies will now play the Jazz in the first round starting on Sunday afternoon in Salt Lake City.